I, I should have just gone live, so let's, okay, um, I'm... are we, uh, just out of curiosity, for these set of episodes, the ones with, um, the, the live stream that's being cut, are we swapping yeah. perspectives, or are we just using one of ours? I mean, it's all down to you, because at the end of the day, you're the one who's having to... That is fair. Edit this, so... I'll do a clap sync just in case, because I haven't made up my mind yet on that front. Yeah. So, uh, clap sync in three, two, one, and... Nice. Okay, and intro in three, two, one. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Outcast Studios. I hope you've all had a lovely day. I'm joined today by the thinniest of our rubies, a thinner ruby. Say hi. Hello. Hello, my drifty boy. Hello, hello indeed. And, believe it or not, we are both currently live right now, okay? Today's episode, and yesterday's uh, episodes, or, well, I guess, the last session and this session, have all been streamed live. That is right, we are doing a special event right now where we are live streaming the um, production of our latest base, or rather the update to our base. And um, we haven't gotten very far in the grand scheme of things so far, but what we have done is we have finished segments one over here, and we have finished segments two uh, over here. So uh, as you can see, we have got quite the steep mountain around here at the minute, and back here, of course, we have actually fixed this little hill uh, that used to just sort of be like a, a straight down dig. Oh, I forgot to change perspectives. Hold on. What perspective are you doing? <laughs> I was, I just had my main camera on. Uh, oh. <laughs> but yeah, I'll just fly up here so you can get the full over uh, bird's eye view here. So we've got segment one, segment two, and you can see the mountains that have formed around it, as well as the quick fix uh, that we created around the back of this mountain here to just provide a bit of extra space. It's, uh, it's quite tucked away from the main area. You can't see the main base from here. It's protected by the mountainous wall. It's just a nice little flat area if we ever needed to do some power generation. We could put it all up there, hide it out of the way if we needed to. Um, but yes, with segments one and two done, Ruby. Yes. I think it's time we moved our schematic cannon setup. Oh yes. This so, is I'm going to clear out some of my inventory space because I am running very low. On inventory space. Let me just put that in there, and I'll, I'll put that in there. The Silk Touch pickaxe and the, the Spectral Crossbow of Latent Magic Quick Draw. And I'll drop that. Know. I'll drop some iron in here, some copper. I'll, I'll drop some obsidian, a couple of chests. Uh, your diamond shovel, uh, which I still never gave back after you dropped it in one of the previous chests. Um, well, that does sound like a you wish to. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, well, it's here now. You can come and grab it if you need it. I'm also going to drop some ender pearls in here just to clear out some space. And uh, now that I've done that, I'm actually very quickly going to just grab the link to my live stream on twitch.tv forward slash outcast studios. And I'm going to drop that link into the server uh, just Ooh. so that the people in the server, if they so felt like it, can come and say hello. So now, oh, let me just uh, pause that so I don't get uh, feedback lag. Uh, so and let me just drop this up I here. I completely forgot to uh, to notify my viewers because I have nothing. <laughs> and self-promotion. <clears throat> and let me just drop this in here. Give it the quick bonus tag of, I'm live! With an exclamation point. Oh my. You there know we go. What? I should probably try and like compete with you, see how many of your viewers actually come over and see my point. I mean, you literally have your own separate like three channels in Shoot. my server and you never use them. Well so Yeah. I mean I probably should. Exactly. Whenever you're live, just drop your link in your channel. I could actually. That'd be pretty cool. Oh I've had nose issues all day, you know. I I I've got mucus build up, I think. Ew. Yeah, disgusting. All that all that hard work you did last night. Yeah, probably. Probably. I'm gonna say my my throat, my eyes, my everything hurt when I woke up this morning, because for those that are tuning in for the first time today, last night, I did a 10-hour live stream with this little bitch right here. Hello. Along with another little bitch called Ducky, but unfortunately he couldn't join us today because Ducky had to uh, quack on at work. 
<laughs> okay, so first things first, if we're moving the schematic cannon and all of this stuff, we're gonna need to get rid of the pipes. So I'm gonna turn on my magnet and I'm gonna vein mine the pipes. Well, that that's you can just do that. We've had vein miners since season one. It is not the first time I've told you about it. I've completely forgot of its existence because I'm too used to the good old trusty. Ow. That would have been funnier if you'd managed to knock me off the roof. Right, next up is the glowstone. Ooh, actually, no, 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 no. I built this for a reason. We have a silk touch pickaxe now, and I'm gonna use it. So if I come up here now and I silk touch the glowstone. There we go. Three bucks of glowstone. Yep. Ah, uh, I didn't realize you'd put a Mark II above the watch as well. That explains yeah, yeah, why yeah. it went so quick. And the Mark make... II above the diamonds. Yeah, you know why? Because it makes it quicker. Yeah. Dark matter, pedestals, and everything. It's all ace. And yep. definitely not breaking the fabric of reality right now. Yes, I don't so... Know, I don't know how we can even stand here, to be fair. The next thing we're going to move is going to be the energy collector. So let's just bring these up here. Like so. Um, and the last thing is the pedestals that we can pick up, because these um, energy condensers require use of the cardboard box in order to move them, otherwise we are going to lose everything inside of them. Ooh, I got a watch of flowing time. Yeah, because uh, I need to put some stuff in my backpack. Let's pop that up there, let's pop that up there, let's uh, let's pop that, uh, that up there. Oh yeah! I completely forgot about that. When I last left off, I, while I was building the mountain, I was also in the process of building a Smith & Wesson. You know? The gun. Oh yeah, the gun that... Um... Oh, there we go. Leg spike. Oh, really Big old oh. leg spike. Hold on, let me oh, turn my mic really off. Oh, I got really scared there. Oh. No, we're That's not gonna have issues that early in. It's, it's not even been an hour yet. No, no. No, 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 no. Right then, uh... Okay, so where, where we plan on moving them? Oh, which... I'll let you know in a second. I've just got to clear some space in my inventory. Because I've got two whole boxes. And, and one more space. I lost oh, the other boxes. I probably should go, uh, go find... I have something. five cardboard boxes, so I've probably got them. Right, so, if we are doing... If we're going to ignore section three for now, and we do sections... Four and five. That means we will need to put our cannon about there, where the crude the oil is in the mountains. Huh? How does the sawmill work? Uh, you put oak logs in there, or any type of logs, and it turns it into a lot of planks and a little bit of sawdust. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That explains why uh, why I can't just shred some log uh, planks. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, this is where we're going to put the cannon, so I'm going to mark it down with, uh, I'll mark it with a shaft, because I've now got to go and get the actual schematic cannon. Yeah, um, I, I can't even see you on the minimap, there you are. Do, 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 go do, find do, the crude do. oil over there, there's a shaft near it. There's shaft, a big old shaft, shaft near it. Now remember, oh, because of the new strategy that we're employing as well, uh, not only are we putting down this cannon, but we're also going to be putting down a second cannon nearby, okay? We're going for a dual cannon setup here. Yes, we are. Also, speaking about dual cannons, I'm just going to quickly go nap so the phantoms don't eat us alive. Yes, that would be a very good idea. Uh, what can I check in here for space? Mm. Sticks? No. Leaves? No. Uh. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Chew? You're not allowed to sneeze. You're not allowed to show weakness of any kind. If sneezing is weakness, then I'm about to make your knees weak, baby. Don't question Please. how that works. Just understand Please. the threat. Help me. I feel <laughs> violated. Oh, is this the shaft? This weird... Uh, probably, yeah. This? No? Uh, uh, wait, no. It's, uh, it's over here. Oh, crude oil? Yeah. Where's the shaft? Uh... I left it around here somewhere. Have I lost my own shaft? You, you've lost where your shaft is? I, I never thought it was possible. Oh, here it is. 
It's right here. <laughs> Shut up. Like, okay. I'm going to be able to see that from, like, so, the aerial POV. Um, let me grab some chests very quickly. Uh, while I do this, um, yeah, you start working on the condensers. Yeah. So if I bring these around here now in, like, a wreath pattern, I can then, uh... Okay, so now I have to go and find the other schematic cannons. I said in the last live stream that I found two other schematic cannons, right? Oh, they're in my backpack. Never mind. Here we go. Yeah. So if I put these down here, and then check the map, if we're doing these I'm sections I'm here... I'm 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 yeah, we'll just stick to two cannons for now, even though we do have a third one, just to make things, um... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Safer, not I suppose? Breaky. Yeah, not breaking. Um, I'll then surround this cannon here with these chests. Uh, oh, I did that in the wrong direction, I think. Did I? Why is that one a single chest? Oh, whatever. I'll, use, I'll leave it as a single chest. You never know, maybe. Maybe it wants to be a single chest. Yeah. Also, Some people do like being single. Single, just... single Pringles. Wash up. Yeah. This watch is a floating time really on messing with this day and night cycle. I'm not surprised. I've got like how many active ones do I have? Four, five, can six, you, seven, eight, just... nine, ten, eleven, twelve active watches of flowing time in my inventory. Can you, can you just make like not? Can you just <laughs> not mess with the fabric of reality for once? <laughs> it's like that scene of fucking Moon Knight where he's going zoo, 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 and the fucking stars are just moving around him. Bro, bro, the amount of times I wake up from a nice little nappy nap, and you're just there, turning like night to day, it's just, it's not good. Like, I... <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry about it. If you were an ancient civilization, you would have thought me as a god. Luckily, I have two brain cells. <laughs> right then, I'm gonna put this pedestal here, and this pedestal... Oh, I need a block. Okay, I'll just put it there for now. Right, put that one there. Put that one. Can you charge this? Maybe. You can charge the watches of flowing time. Does charging them make them go faster? I'm not sure. You know what? That's a good question. I'm gonna Google that right now because if you can charge these with EMC to make them go quicker, does charging a watch of flowing time make it go faster on a pedestal? Good new things there, boys. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm going to the best source of entertainment on this planet, Reddit, to understand um to understand to understand to understand to understand how this works. Here we go. Huh. You know, there isn't a clear answer. Oof. Oh, also, we do finally have an answer to how many watches of flowing time is the maximum. According to the Wikipedia page, the watch of flowing time being placed on a pedestal negates the um, charge effect, however, provides a nearby global 7% increase to all machine speeds. This effect stacks to a maximum of a times 10 speed, which requires a total of 35 pedestals. So 35 is the limit before it starts to work backwards. Oh. Well, we're getting close to that. Are we? Oh, yeah. Compl I don't know. Uh, also, speaking about which, this might actually be the most efficient way of doing this. With the watches of flowing time. Nice. What, in the corners? Yeah. Hmm. Because um, I've only got two left. And, like, 
That may be because of what I've done over here for the cannons. What, what have you done for the cannons? <laughs> Just take a look. Okay, Actually, activate. No, I've got, I've got activate. Oh! Activate, activate, nice. activate, oh, activate, you get this activate. Okay, that, that's nice. That's mm. nice to see. Right then, yeah, so. Cannons are set up now. Do you, well, do you not know care about like, all the extra. Actually, no, that's a good idea. Keep keep all the extra stuff over there so in case we need oak leaves, we've got hmm. an outlet. Right then, so the next thing we do. Uh, while you're setting up all of the condensers, I'm going to go over to the chest that uh, we had on top of the shack. You have the collectors? Oh. I, I meant gimme. the condensers, but yeah, I will give you the collectors as well. Hold on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, here's the gimme. Mark III. Here are the two Mark IIs. Here's the Mark Ones, and here's the Glowstone. Thank you. Yeah. So while you do that, I'm going to get rid of the chests that we left on top of the shack, because they're kind of ugly. Um, and then I'm going to work on getting us some books so that we can know what we can and what we can't get from, uh, the, uh, schematics. You know, the creative mode, uh, only stuff. Yeah. Which is a pain in the buttocks. There we go. Let's, oh. That's not good. I, I've what? bugged the game. What have you done? I uh, I've managed to create a triple chest. Instead of um instead of, you know, combining with the chest I put next to it that was single, one of the chests I put down is now a triple chest. Or it looks like one. In reality it's just a single with no audio set like file. Uh and that only half exists. I am confused, impressed, and concerned. I am terrified. I don't know what about you're going through. I just told you I'm confused, compressed, uh, compressed, con, con, con. Shit! What did I say? Confused, condensed, repressed. <laughs> you know that fucking works too. <laughs> There we go. Apparently the cardboard boxes act a little buggy when you put them next to already existing chests. Who'd have thunk it? Well, at least they're off the roof now. That's the important part. Add it, add it, add it. Oops, add it, add it. Did you know you can cardboard box grass? Uh, no I did not. Turns out you can. You can use it on any block, apparently. Nice. Yeah. That's right then, so, the, um, the chests on top of the shack have been cleared, so the next step while you're setting that up isn't oh, to okay. start the pipes, it is in fact to start the books. So I think I've got them in my backpack. I know I had some spare from the la where we last left off. It's a shame that in this version of the mod pack you can't do the double click in NEI to search for things in chests. Um, but even if we can't, okay, they're not in my backpack, it does mean we can still go and check the other things, so I'm gonna go do that, I'm gonna go check the computer, I'm gonna go check the chests outside, um, and if all else fails, I will just craft us a new, uh, set of books. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I think we've reached the maximum here with what this can do. One, two, two. two. Okay. You um, sure? Yeah, yeah. I. Uh, no books. 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 Oh, enchanted books. Uh, no books. And no books. Okay. Well, the watches of flowing time is slightly outside of the actual fl wa uh, watches of flowing times range, so they're going to be a tad bit slower. That's all right. All right then, let's check the meat-powered computer, which is still the weirdest and almost one of my favorite things to come out of this series so far. Yeah, it's exactly one block out. Of oh, range. 
Brilliant. I don't suppose you're willing to shunt everything over by a block, are you? <laughs> you know what? I might do, why not? Uh, right then, so I've got the books now. It doesn't have to be written books, right? Just regular Ooh. ones? Uh, yeah, just unwritten, untouched, beautiful books. Okay. So, while I'm on my way back, I'm also going to grab the relevant schematics, which is parts 4 and 5. So, here's 4, here's 5. Right then. Here we go, moment of truth. Let's fly these on over to the cannons. Yeah, there we go. We got it done. We got it sorted. Nice. Okay, so I'll put 4 in this one. And I'll put five in this one, and then I'll stick the book up here for this one, <clears throat> and the book up here for this one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, server, server, server lag. Yep, server lag. I think having so many watches of flowing time is uh, definitely nope. starting to break it a little bit. No, nope, it never. It doesn't break anything. It's working perfectly as intended. Uh huh. Well, so I'll believe that when it lets me in the inventory. You know the chest upgrades? Do you think we should, like, probably invest into them so then we can just shove everything in here easier and more efficiently? You can't have a double diamond chest. They only work as singles, which means we would lose inventory space in the long run because a diamond chest is only the single size of a double chest. Okay. Hmm. No, it's fair. I mean, yeah. Yeah, a diamond chest is only as... Actually... Oh, I was going to check how big the, the the double chest was then, but I forgot. Server lag, it's not actually letting me in the chests. What is it waiting for? Why is it slowing down? It's waiting for your mom. Oh, it's not just slowing down. Oh! Did it crash? The server crashed. That is a first. Yeah. Well... All things Anadonia, you know? Something has to go wrong at least once. We could never just have it work. That's okay, just it, so... That's just how it is. Theory time, everybody. What caused the server to crash? I personally believe it is from... Uh, the, the lack of will, I mean... Bruh, okay, just, so just think about it. We need, the first thing you always have to do when you're trying to trying to fix something is you have to see what is wrong between what happened the first time and what it, what what is wrong between what happened now. So you you have to when we left the live stream last time, what changed between then and now that could have crashed the server? Incompatible FML modded server server network message list not compatible data maybe inaccurate. Okay, uh, that isn't that isn't password. anything. That's because we have client side mods installed. Okay, have you thought of checking the actual server's um, log list? I did, and it told me nothing that I could read. Have you turned the server off? Uh, can you send it to me, actually? I've already restarted the server, but if I go into the logs, I can see the latest one. There we okay, go. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, I'm latest. Oopsie moment. Oopsie moment. Anyway, uh, can you send me over the, the, the lists? The log? Yeah, the log. Okay. Uh... Let's have a look at this. Because we all know what, uh, what I'm specialized in. Yeah. <laughs> Computer oh, science uh, guy. Uh, all right. Let's okay. see what's wrong with this. Here's the... the is... We are on the 14th of the 5th. Okay, so here is the latest log and the latest debug log. Okay, let me... Right. Oh, hold on. I've got to click on your... Uh, uh, profile first. This is going to be amazing for everyone who's watching because they're just going to see my face because this is an oopsie moment until I can uh, <laughs> until I can open the file and <laughs> mm. uh, make it so then uh, nobody nobody can see try out things. Mm. Try and figure know. out what crashed it. I personally right. am voting that it was either the watch of flowing time or it was the attempt to load two schematics into a cannon at the same time, because there is there is a lag that generates when you try and view a schematic for the first time, when you try and first open it, because it's generating thousands of ghost blocks. I don't know if the Ooh. cannon does that, but if it does, Ooh. generating two would probably do it. 
was uh, was the mod CC tweaked 1.16? That's was, the error was... that happened last time, and it's caused by computer craft tweaks. Yeah, 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 but why is computer craft tweaks? It basically just, um... I don't actually know. I know what computer craft does, but I don't know what tweaks adds. Uh, yeah, because I, it seems like it's trying to load it, but it doesn't seem like it has enough memory allocated. Because uh, when it was loading it, it seems like it only had 16 megabytes left of right. uh, RAM size, uh, which could cause an issue. This is May 14th. Okay, let's see what. Uh, Netforge registries, potentially dangerous. Alternate prefix. Okay, let's see what does this do. Alternate prefixes are nothing to worry about. It's just mod makers not coding their mods properly. Hmm. While I'm waiting for this to load, I'm actually going to look up what Computer Craft Tweaks does. Yeah. Register blocks. Register three blocks. Hello world, you will see this line once in console during startup load strip. Yeah. Start load it every day. And I'm back. You in? Yep. I think it was just the fact that the server just ran out of RAM. But the server's assigned a lot of RAM. How much RAM is the server assigned? I don't remember, I just know it's a lot. Because, um, you have to bear in mind that not only is it going to be loading our chunks, but also the whole chunks that we've already loaded and rendered. CC Tweaks is the internals for computer craft. It basically rewrites all of the internal stuff on how it works. Um... Mm. Let me check. You know, I'm I'm in the server now, but let me check. Uh, new server. Uh, Here we go. Yeah. Server and, properties. Yeah. Try and launch just the uh, just one of the schematics because it might be potentially either, as you said, uh, the fact that we're loading two of them. No, now that would it, actually let me check to make sure it's still in there. Oh. Yeah. Neither of them are in. Okay. Yeah, it was definitely a schematic issue. Let me load one, yeah. then wait a bit, then load the other in. Because it's the same yeah, as when you hold it in your hand. Yeah, because it could just be one of those things where it's like, because we're trying to load essentially two entire chunks worth of new items. Yeah. And then, because you know because you know how like they work, it's immediately trying to build and like figure out how to place them. Yeah. That might be just too much for the current like system. Okay, like, let's drop the first one in then. And then once we've dropped the first one in, let's get the book. And we'll work through the book first. And then, then we'll put the other one in. Yeah. Just make sure everything's loaded first. I think is the, the aim of the game here. Yeah. Yeah, definitely we need to wait. Because even though the server is responding... uh Oh, well, it's not now. But even though the server was responding, it didn't accept the gunpowder in the cannon. Yeah. There we go. It's going to make us wait. Yeah, we're just going to have to wait for that to go through. Mm. Um. Because, yeah, it does just seem like... Because it was lo it just seems like it was loading too much and it just overrided itself, essentially. Like, overflowed itself. No yeah. override. Uh, yeah, it can be that. Or one thing, and this is if you load up one of the schematics and it breaks, hmm. it might be certain items that are in, are in the build... That are in the builds that might not be compatible with the mod. Yeah. Uh... Which is also very likely. The server crashed. Again? Again, yeah. It crashed so again. Alright, so show me those log files, bad boy. Okay. Oh. Oh, two secs. Yeah. Um, it might be some of the items in the, in the schematic. I thing is, though, if it was some of the items in the schematic, then why wouldn't it crash when I built it in single player? Wait, so uh, so you, you've already, like, gone through and made this... Like, you made the sch schematics in single player, but did you use the cannons in single player? No. Because I built it by hand and then saved it as a schematic. Yeah. Either way, here's the latest oh. crash log from the server. Oopsie moment. Oopsie oopsie. Oopsie doopsie. Hello, my one viewer. Hope you enjoy this uh clearly amazing and not broken system all right so let's figure out why it's here so we got 
or skin LD ID one reading Java concurrent logs abstract cute synchronizer condition object Nitty server runnable effect double server yeah, I think it is I an item in the so build. So it's an item uh, in the schematic. Yeah, I think so. Um, if it's an item in the schematic, I can go and redo the schematic. Maybe it's a corrupt schematic? Description watching server. Um, it might be a corrupt schematic. Um, it might also be as I've said before, because you know how like mods work, they give each other like ID numbers and stuff. Yeah. And there's a very real possibility that uh, one of the mods with one of the items have the same ID number as something in the create mod, so it doesn't... So when it's trying to fire it out, hmm. it doesn't know which ID it is, which would cause right. an issue. Um, however... What you should probably do is go back into the server and load the other schematic and see if that loads up correctly. What, schematic number five instead of four? Yeah. Okay. And if that loads correctly and doesn't cause any issues, then mm. try and load schematic number four, and if it crashes again, we might just need to do schematic number four by hand. Yeah. Which wouldn't be great, but we do have schematica installed, so it isn't yeah. impossible. No. Um... And once we get that sorted, because if if we can, if it's literally just an i like an item in area number four, we can just build, we can just build that out. Yeah. Uh, because if everything else works correctly, we should be good. Hmm. Should be, should be. Because it does look like, because at the end of every one of the crash logs, it mentions that there's only like sixty six KB left. However. It's on an event loop. Oh, hang on. I've um I've just had a big brain move here. I'm yeah. sorry for sort of um sort of reducing your job to this, but yeah. I fed the crash log into chat GPT. Yeah. And it told me that it's um something to do with time watch and pedestal capacity wrapper. As well as uh, schematic Canon tile entity and schematic printer. So I recommend we turn off the watches and see if that works. Yeah, that can work. I'm sorry, I'm literally just reading it as I'm reading it, dude. Yeah. Like there is time rings here that are that are specified. Yeah. Bro, I'm just doing the easiest thing first. Yeah, which is I'm feed just... five in instead of four. Yeah, see if it works. If not, uh, if not, then it's a different issue, which I would have probably said it would have been the Time Watch speed up entity, Time right. Watch Java 13. So I would have recommended that. However, we know that the Time Watches have worked in the past. Yeah. Which is why I didn't want to. Chalk so you didn't prioritize that to the top? No. Yeah. Uh, I was prioritizing the schematics because those are the new thing that we've entered into the equation. Yeah, yeah. God damn. Okay. Right. Bro, ChatGBT is only like five, five milliseconds faster than me. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off there. <laughs> I figured, hey, maybe you missed something. I'll ask the yeah. AI. No, I'm just doing it the easiest way possible by, you know, checking the new entities, breaking it down backwards. Mm. By the because... way, did you realize they've actually finally started cracking down on ChatGPT? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, AI needs to be cracked down on us at some mm. point. Otherwise, you have... You have a, a, a narcissistic YouTubers who uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I meant in school, Jack. Off. University degree. Um, I meant in school, I Jack. Know. Off. I know. I love you, Babs. I love you <laughs> I love too. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. But yeah. Okay. I'll. Uh, the server's online, by the way. But I can't do anything because I'm stuck loading into a single player world. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Right. Where am I? Nowhere and everywhere and everyone between. I am not responding. And I loaded into the wrong world as well by the looks of it. This isn't even the one I needed to go into. Uh. Right. Okay.
I might just close the game and reopen it. Yeah, is a game that slow? Yeah. Oof. Tr uh, tr issues of running servers with uh, while well, on the same machine. Mm. You see this. Which probably, do which probably doesn't help our situation either. With the clock watches the flowing time. Mm. Let's be real. This is why we should always have that extra hour on the server before we start streaming. That way, if anything messes up, well, we did. it's offline. Before we did. Yeah, but we weren't actively doing anything, unlike when Ducky was there. True, true, true. But then again, we didn't have anything to actively do. Yeah. Over then, get in, set up all the schematic stuff, and get it all sorted. Yeah. You see, this is the downside to having a plan. It never goes right anyway. You know? No, it, it, it really doesn't. I, I love... I love plans. Plans are amazing. However, they just mm. never work. They really just don't. Hmm. Ah, uh, right then. Well, if this is an issue that still keeps happening, obviously we will have to build it by hand. Um, I'm more worried about the later ones possibly breaking. Because these early ones, sections 4 and 5, which are the ones we're doing, are actually pretty easy, all things considered. It's just flattening out the ground for the most part, and like changing the shape of the uh, layered uh, ground, because there's layers to mm -hmm. it now. Um, but the later ones require actual huge builds and stuff, which yeah. could take us a very long time. Yeah, which is why... I'm trying, like, because it could just be the botches of flowing time, but mm. there is very like we we do need to check number yeah. five first because if it is yeah. just number four, turning off the watches of flowing time won't time actually will do, tell us it that do, it won't do anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, but if it does crash on number five, yeah, yeah if it crashes on five, turn off the watches, let it load first. Then once it's yeah. going, we start turning them on. Yeah. Hmm. Because you have to You're remember as well, in the past, we've only used one at a time with these. Yeah, so that's also, like, the new thing, you know? Mm. Mm. Right, it's freezing data for me. I'm about to be online. Alright, I'm already online on the server, so I can do pretty things, such as... Yeah. I don't even have the item pipes I need. Socks. Oh yeah, they're all in my backpack. Yeah, you, you 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 quite literally took everything. I'm just sat here like I can't do anything until you get in. Mm. Um, mm. like all I'm doing is I'm just gonna stare at the, the furnace. Well, thing. don't tell me it's mine again. I want my fucking money it's back. Money London back. Underground. Wah wah wankers. Wah wah wankers. London Underground. I should put on a copyright free uh music in the background so it'll uh people watching stream don't have to deal with like. Just me talking. Yeah. Yeah. Because like when you're silent, it's like great, but like there's you know, there's the tension there, there's the the the, the feeling. Mm. The only reason yeah. I haven't so far is because obviously when this gets cut up, if there's music in the background, it'll constantly jolt and stuff. Yeah. So I'd have to add it as its own separate thing, but I wouldn't know how to do that. Um I think there's uh like stuff you can do with Streamlabs, uh we're fucking it up to like uh, Spot uh, Spotify and stuff. Yeah, not have it show up in the vods. Yeah. Uh, you know because what? I, uh, while I'm waiting for the game to load, fuck it, I'll look it up. Yeah, because there, there is, I think there is some ways of doing it where it will show up on the stream because it, 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 I don't know how it works. It probably does it by not. Ca I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I'm not. I'm not an. There are a lot of things that we don't know. You know. Yeah. Why are we here? What is the purpose in life? Many things we will never know. Mm. Mm. Oh, you need voice meter. I um I tried using voice meter in the past, but honestly it's way too complex. It's 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 way too hard to deal with. Hello Z. Hello in the chat, nice to see you. We're troubleshooting. Hello Z. Yes, we're troubleshooting because everything, or at least one thing, has to go wrong with Anadonia each time we load it up. And this yeah. is the, this is it. The schematic cannon is shitting the bed, to put it nicely. 
It's gonna be a good day. Yay! It's a good you're back. Day to die. I'm back. I'm joining world. Yep. It says you're here. Yep. So I'm gonna assume that you're here. Yep. Um, I just can't see out of my eyes. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Is that Skelly Bee? Uh, probably. Yeah. Oh, there's a skinny bee. Dookie. Is there now? Dookie. I, I you know what we could really benefit from bee wise? What? An all the modium bee. No, no, no. We're not messing with the <laughs> bees. We're not going to be able to get an all the modium bee. It will make us actually want to unalive ourselves. <laughs> like, I will plug. <laughs> I will unplug. My I will unplug right your life support. support. <laughs> When we're fit, when we're fifty and in the nursing home, you're gonna be there like, mm. remember the bees, <laughs> remember. And then I'm like, <laughs> yes, I do. That's why I'm doing this. <laughs> uh. Okay, I am actually back now. I'm loaded in. Let me just put down the Lego I was playing with. Okay, playing so. With if our theory of it being number four corrupted is correct, then by placing number five in here, the server should continue to work like normal. And let's see if it does, because if it does... <laughs> okay, if the second thing that triggered the crash last time was me trying to print an item list. So if I... It printed an item list. So number five is fine. Alright, let's try. Okay, let's try this. What happens if we turn off the Yeah, let's watches? turn off the watches. Like, we turn off all the watches, and then we put in number four. And then let's try putting in number four. Hmm. Because if this works, then we might just need to do the, the sensible rule of... Right, number four's in. And the chests are all still functioning. Let's try putting in the schematic list. Now it's frozen. It didn't do anything. No. But the chests are still moving. Has it just... Oh! Target too far away, but we haven't told it to go yet. Maybe, maybe it still needs it. Uh, it still needs the information for the book. Let me feed it a shot of gunpowder. It's... it's The gunpowder's being fed. Yeah. I, I it think hasn't we just printed need to load the book it. yet. No, I think... I think it... I th because this one here, mm -hmm. this one here is it's within range. I think the book might need to be within range. Okay, well, so I've gone over. The chunks are loading, but very slowly. So I think whatever it is Ooh. about number four, it's very fragile. Yeah. I'm kind of tempted to turn on the watch the flowing time and break the whole thing again. Don't you dare. The world hasn't started loading again for me yet. Okay. There's okay. something about this corner that it just really doesn't like. This is when it's something stupid, like there's an oh. item in there which it just wants to spawn it. I've crashed. It's kicked me. Has the server gone down? Um, It's the saving replay file, so I'm assuming so. The server went down, but it didn't crash. It shut down. That might also just be because we have two of them loaded at the same time. Unregistering Forge World Platform World Edit Stop Server. Lost connection, left the game. Clearing perk tree because skill tree was outdated. Uh, so saving world, save, saving world, saving world. But it didn't tell me what, what happened this time. It might be because we're doing two of them at once. Why don't we unload number five, put number four back in now that we know that it won't crash it immediately. Reload the area and see if it just crashes when you reload the area. Stack overflow error. Yep, okay. using too using too much resources. I'll reboot the server. Yeah, we might just need to do it one at a time. In that case, then, since four was stable until it came to making the book, let's try with four. Yeah, because I'm I'm just thinking at this point it might just be the the amount of resources we have on the the server. Mm. It's just not enough to keep two of them bo uh, booted up at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, even when we do one of them, it does decrease from, what, 70 frames per second down to 20. I don't notice that. 
It doesn't decrease I, frames for me. I, I have a frame rate thing up the top left to monitor it because of the first season. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. All right. Let's if see. you want to see it, join my stream <laughs> <laughs> at Thinaruby60 <laughs> on Twitch. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Resource uh, I got, key. I got to shield it. My one viewer is very entertained right now. This is interesting. It's giving me resource keys for very yeah. specific things at the end of this crash thing. These are dimensions. No, this hasn't. This is calling it a resource. It's not. It's a dimension. Oh, that's disgusting. Ew. That's, that's weird. Mm. Ash map node. So have you redone? Uh, the server should have booted up any second now. Um, okay. We're gonna do this. It's gonna be epic. Let me... It's preparing spawn area, and it should be up and running now. Oh! Incompatible vanilla server. Oh, hold on. It's still starting. Yeah. Uh... Hey, nice. I love everyone. So, you know how the last time it took us three hours to get started on the first one? Uh, it took probably longer because of the, the ice stuff, but yes. We are, uh, we are 15 minutes to an hour in currently. So, so far, overall, uh, it's, it's a net, net win so far. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, once once we get it all sorted, then everyone gets to see the schematic cannon working, and then they're like, wow. Yeah. Honestly, it would have just been che uh, quicker if we just, like, I don't know, had, like, an automated Minecraft builder script running on my PC and just letting it roll. Do you want to code one? Because I certainly don't fucking know how. I'm not going to lie. D Bye, Miha. Might be, might be possible. I mean, if 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 it's got information from like schematic, you said we have schematico already opened up, right? Which tells yeah. you where, like, where to place what block. It shows a hologram outline of the blocks. All right, so it does tell show you where you need to place each block. Mm. Okay, cool. Um, that might you might just be able to pull the raw schematic data and do what essentially the uh, the schematic cannon does, but then just automate it on a person. I'm very concerned because my game is not responding on loading terrain. And while I don't think we did anything to corrupt the terrain, I wouldn't put it past this server to break like that. You know what would really be so sad? What? Is if all this eventually makes the game unplayable. <laughs> oh, and then I'm we back. Have a then we have to shadow of Israfel our series. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, the thing is, we'll never have to fully give up, because I have a backup of the world saved. But it's a really old one. Oh no. Hmm. Okay, oh, so no. I'm in the server. And I'm crashing again. After moving into one of these chunks. Huh. The server closed after moving into one of these chunks. Uh, Stack the overflow cannon, error. Was the schematic cannon still loaded? I don't know. I couldn't check. But I think I know what this might be. What do you think it might be? Um, the segment that we're working with uses half of the Yif Casino underground, and while it shouldn't be touching that, Oh. Well, it shouldn't be touching that. If it is somehow scanning the whole chunk, that means that it might be detecting the mocap that we have down there that is designed to break and place blocks. Mm. It's a long it... shot, but... I mean, you said it works ground up from bedrock, right? No. I changed the way the schematic works. 
This oh, okay. one works from the top of the furry casino up, so it doesn't even touch the casino. Oh, okay, that's weird then, then it shouldn't be... It anything. shouldn't be, but it's in the same chunk as it. Ooh, that's a bit... Bit of an mm. issue, innit? Oh, the thing is, it's not even a server breaking issue. It's... It's not the server that's breaking, it's whatever's causing this chunk to have issues that is stopping us from staying on the server. The server opens and it's fine until we spawn in inside the chunk when it kicks us off the server and sh shuts the server down. So it is the furry casino chunk that... Okay. It has to be, yeah. There's no other option. For all those who are watching, this is what we deal with before every episode. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> this mod pack is cursed, and while I love it, I will be happy when we can move on to another one. Bro, let's just do Herobrine's Mansion. <laughs> I'd be perfectly happy to do that. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll just we'll, we'll put this series to the sidelines and just forget about it. <laughs> oh my god. So don't tell me to mind the gap, I want my fucking money back. London Underground, wah wah wankers, wah wah wankers, man. Right, what I want is you spawn in before me, right? When the server comes online, you load in because you're by the cannons, right? Uh, my entire game's crashed. Oh. Well, yeah, quickly it... reboot it. I can't. Why not? Because... Remember when you when when I was joining the server and then uh, everything crashed? Yeah, it's uh, been eternally loading and it's not actually returned back the. Uh, okay, I was gonna say you out. spawn in before me and TP me over to you, so I'm not in the chunks anymore, so they can't be loaded. Yeah, it doesn't even allow me to. You know, I just Alt F for the game and then reopen it. Mm -hmm. Alt F four. Mm, sure up. <laughs> don't, you, you, you don't have rights. I know I don't, especially in most parts of America. Yeah, Alright then, so the server is online, okay. but I don't want to touch it just yeah. yet. We're going to get this server fixed. We're going to do it right. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Who are War Marines? And while we do that, I'm going to look up for any people that have had this issue before. Yeah. So, create, mod, schematic, crashing, server. Fingers crossed it doesn't crash. Mm. Okay, this person from two years ago... Okay, it's not the same error code, never mind. But they found out it was because of vertical slabs from another mod. But mm -hmm. they, they don't have the same error code as us, so it's not this one. Okay. Just trying to think on, you know, what we could, uh, what we could do to make sure we don't die, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. Um, this is not going to be good uh, at all. I'm making random noises because I do not know what to do. Anyway, let's see if we can get this booted back up and loading again. Oh, multi MC. Please just end your life, multi MC. I don't, I don't want you to work. None of okay. this is going to work. None of this is good. So I'm going to connect to the server, and I'm going to do TP the 13th Drifter to 0, 0, 0. Uh, do, do, do. As soon uh, as it zero. detects that I'm on. Soon. Soon, soon, soon. Okay. More time, C. Please work. This is a... Uh... Defo not cursed. I love everything about this. Okay, I've teleported myself out of the way. Uh, 
Okay, uh, let's get this. And I'm apparently on. bleeding because I'm inside of a wall, which is fine. It's better than crashing the server from being in a certain chunk. Yeah. Four. Right. Okay, so I guess we just gotta make sure that everything, uh, take that schematic out and see if we can load the chunk afterwards. Yep. Um, yeah, which is uh, the most fun thing anyone, anyone viewing could ever watch. Okay, I'm in. You're in? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna set myself to creative mode. Okay, okay. We've got the creative mode. I'm stuck in an infinite bleeding loop, and I don't know why. Um, because you're not good. Simple I'm ask. I'm reviving myself in creative mode. Wait, that's a possibility. Yeah, you can do slash revive. It's a technically cheating, but. Bro, imagine doing live streams and then uh, getting called out for all your stream uh, cheating. We are doing fucking fixing what- Oh, of course my grave was directly next to lava. Right then. Do, 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 do. You know what, it, it's okay, it'll, it'll work eventually. Right. Right. That's how things work. It's working things now, work. because I'm not in the chunk. Right, have you uh, unloaded the schematic and then tried to load the chunk again? No, nope. I'm currently getting my shit back because I died, remember? Oh yeah, sorry, I've got like two brain cells and they're all fighting for um, what button I should click on my computer. Okay, so currently, well, this is probably going to be the only time fans of this series ever see this. But because yeah. I am at zero zero, I'm going to have to use the waystone in the um, specific oh, no. building that we're not supposed to... Uh, the, the no no building. That's not no. supposed to exist. In Maybe order to, uh. It doesn't exist, actually. Hmm. Like, I don't know about you, but, like, I have no recollection of this thing that you were talking about and definitely not showing everyone on your Twitch stream. Of course, of course. Hmm. Okay, I'm out safe. No, nobody's safe. We're never safe. Whatever. Right then, mm -hmm. Twitch viewers, close your eyes. You're not meant to see this. Yeah. No one's ever supposed <laughs> to see this. Anyway. All right, I'm back at Guy's view. Watch the memory heap. Because this is the most beautiful... This this is what I get to see 90% of the time when I'm recording. Mm. Memory heap. I'm going to avoid that chunk for now. It looks like the area is completely unloaded. I'm going to try my best to avoid loading it. Oh. Uh, yeah. The server's definitely chugging. It's not even loading the area where the cannons are. Whoa, no. I'm gonna try and take I'm gonna try and take out the schematic from the cannon. Ooh. In fact, no, I'm not, I'm gonna break the cannon. Cannon's oh, it lagged back into existence. It's not, not letting not. me break the cannon. I'm just not even a question. While this loads, I'm gonna go and vanish for like two seconds. I will be back. In two Fixed it. Wait, what? Well, I mean, the cannon's broken, the schematic's on the ground along with the recipe list. But the server is now loading normally, and I'm not lagging to shit anymore. Alright, so let's not try and load two schematics at the same time, boy. Hmm. I think right. that's the takeaway from this. But the thing is, it gave me a materials and you book. Or at least I think it did. Unless that was a regular book that it... Ah, oh, it was a regular book that it dropped on the ground. Never mind. But yeah, let's just not load Schematic 4 for now. Schematic 5, on the other hand, has been working perfectly fine this whole time. So... I think logic dictates that we work on 5 first. And since 5 is the one that has our house in it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to our house and I'm going to save some of the tile entities that um, we perhaps don't want destroyed. So that would be the skull, uh, the bestiary lectern. Let's just save this, shall we? There we go, let's just put this in the backpack. 
Uh, put that up there. Put that up there. These can be... Not you. Oh. Are we crashing again? Maybe? Are we crashing again? Welcome back! Oh. I'm crashing the game. What's happened? I was oh, crashing yeah. again. Oh gosh darn it. It okay. just <laughs> fixed as I said that. What I'm doing now is yeah. I'm go I've gone into our house and I'm saving anything that we put in there recently that we don't want destroyed. That's fair. So you mean like the 150 uh, stacks of obsidian I have? I mean the stuff that we built in the house. If you've got anything in the chests down below that you want to keep, go get them now. Uh, no, I've got nothing. Okay. Tick tock. Well, after the stream, I might play some CSGO. <laughs> of course. Of course. Just because you don't like playing Wingman. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh yeah, I forget you don't even play CSGO. Exactly. You're not cultured. Right, our mannequins, or at least my mannequin is broken. Um, but I should be able to take yours. There we go. I've got yours. And it hasn't- The mannequins have an EMC value, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. Including, like, with the suits or, like, without them? The suits don't, but the mannequins do. Right, either way, I've saved everything that we recently built that, you'd, that we'd want saving. I'm gonna make my way back over to the cannons now. And... I'm gonna <laughs> feed Schematic 5 the gunpowder that it so rightfully deserves. And I'm gonna just... Tell it to start working. Actually, no, no, wait, no, we had a plan. We had a plan. Get all the junk that it needs first. Mm. So, uh, what junk does it need? I will let you know in a second. Are you logging on? Yeah, I am. It's encrypting. Okay. It's going on. The one viewer I've had since the beginning of this, bless your heart, will finally get to see something actually happen. You are kidding me. The book didn't even work because the chunk wasn't loaded, apparently, so the book is basically empty. Yeah. Okay, I'm deleting that now. Fuck it, let's start. Target not loaded. God damn it. Go load your target, big boy. That's what I'm going to do, Mr. Poopy Face. Saruman the Poopy. Saruman Please. the Stinky. Please. Poopy Face is my father's name. Saruman the Dumbass. Saruman. You're being beaten the shit out of by a zombie. Well, you know what? I, I just accept my fate at this point. Okay, right. Now we need to start piping things in. I don't want to pipe anything. Well, that's a lie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we all know my professional career as a plumber never ended well. <laughs> it's I got me. outdone by. I'm out of here. Oh, I was just about to say I got outdone <laughs> by this red Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, chat, I am a monster by eating mints and then drinking lemonade. I am a monster, I like You the just stole my fucking wrench. No, no, it's, it's my wrench now. Got some fresh meat I need you it. Have... Give me Why my wrench. No, no, you, you, you don't need your wrench. 
I need it to start the fucking dirt going in. And well, thank no, you, Jesse J twenty one, for the follow. Nice to see you. Oh, I love Jesse. Now J. give me my fucking wrench. No, you. You know what? Fuck you. In slash inv c. <laughs> in a no, 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 no! You can't see my inventory. There's gonna be tons of stuff you can't see in there. My fucking <laughs> wrench. No, it's my wrench. My wrench. It's gone now. Why is Bone Ash here? Who? Bone Ash. Oh, probably from one of the mobs I killed. Who's Ash? Your Ash. Right, what is it asking for now? Because it was just asking for dirt. It now wants... Target not loaded. Now the target okay. not loaded. Yeah, this is a... Uh... My ring just ran out of EMC. Uh, and for some reason, I have an extra watch of flowing time in my charm slot. Yeah, we, we got a lot of just extra stuff. Okay, so... Hello there. How am I doing? I am... I was gonna say I'm doing good, but for the past hour, just, like, basically the full hour, we've been troubleshooting this mod pack, because it just doesn't seem to like us. Every time we open it, there's at least something going wrong. And in this case, it's that for some reason one of our schematics is corrupted. Aside from that though, I'm doing very well. How are you? <laughs> Everything just works as intended. Nothing ever goes wrong on this channel. I really wish that was the truth. Yeah, same. Right then, so... Oh, Charles wants one out. sand, now it needs... Nothing. Okay, well if it wanted sand, let's start piping the sand in. Do you know which one of these yeah. is sand? Yes, actually, the sand, sandstone. Uh, sand is this right core. This one. This one here. Yeah. This one. Unfortunately, I don't have any item okay. pipes because someone stole them all with their uh, vein miner, so uh, I can't actually skill issue? Them out. You know what? I would agree with you. <laughs> Apart from the fact, and you forgot this one small thing, it's you who's saying that. <laughs> Right then, Whee! so let's just be awkward and pipe this one into... This one here's got the sand. That one's got the sand? Okay, yeah. let's pipe this one into that one then. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, we got that going. You know what, I'm going to do something to break your entire game. Please don't, considering we've just finished fixing it. Oh, I was just going to turn on the watch of time. I'll, uh, I'll have a look. Uh, I'll have a look another time, Jesse. Thank oh. you. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you decided, fuck it. Let's just turn one of the watches on, then, did you? Oh yeah. I can't fly over there to load it. You're gonna have to do it. It's firing. It... Yep. Okay. See, it just works. It works. Oh, it works too. Yep. Oh. <laughs> It ran out of- it needs grass now, we need to stop piping grass in, so... Oh. Grass was next to the sand, right? It's this uh, one here. Yeah, it's the dark one. So if I do this now, let me just... Bone ash, ew. Let me just set this pipe up to... Export. I can't fly, God damn it! Have it's... you ever thought about just getting more EMC, my dude? It's charging. Or, or like, give me the pipes and I'll just do it. Mmm, nah. Nah, actually, yeah. Hold on. Let me give you some, because I've got tons taking yeah. up my backpack space. Legit, I can just I, I can just help you, you know, like... There we go. Like, let, uh, let pump this help. into one of the un 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 unoccupied chests. Got an idea of which one. Oh, that. <laughs> wow. Well done. That's such a good placement of pipe right there. Oh, don't like your pipe in anything. How oh dare God. you? You are one to talk. Yes, I am. Good feedback loop. There we go. What does it want now? Target not loaded. Oh, where are you? It's firing. Where's well, it stopped go? now. It wants stone. So, final chest that we've got to hook up. Let's do this one here. Let's hook this one up to stone. Which one of these is stone? Um, do, 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 do. You didn't put stone on the inside, did you? Stone's here. 
Okay, thank God for that. You just need to extend this out by... Right, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, um, if you... Because if we do this, or then you wrench this, we can make it so then... It's I'm one short. Can you give me the wrench? Uh, yeah. That's not my wrench. That, that's not your wrench. Can you turn off your mic? Up? It is off. Okay, thank you. We need to no, place no. one here as well. There we go. We need to place one here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, so we got all that. Uh, which one should we do stone to? Oh, that one. The one that I've that plugged one. it into here. Oh. Yeah. This one here, okay. So let's. Oh, I only have eight. Also. Yeah, you. There we go. Let's just uh, throw the grass out that uh, got put in there. That's it. Grass. Right then, I think I do have more pipes. Oh. Yeah, I've got more pipes. Oh, this is gonna be ace. I don't know why, but I really like the messy aesthetic of all of the cables. Yeah. Come on. Come on, boy. There we go, Come. and then let's bring this up. There we go. That should start be feeding stone. You have set it to output right on the chest. No, because it's got a lot of like cables connecting to it. So I go. didn't want it to like, you know, feed it. Target not loaded. Yeah. Now it's firing. Do you want me to just stand here? Uh up to you. I mean it's the best dream ever, look, we get to see all this. <laughs> uh, which, which, which um quadrant is it doing is it are we doing number three or five or is it this is oh, five, five and now it wants ice so it's a good job we've got silk <clears> touch <throat> and it's a good job we live in a relatively cold area let's see where's some ice where can we grab some ice you know if we put the ice gravel in water do you think it starts making ice around it i don't actually know let me see if there's a way to make ice before i do anything else go to a cold biome Water bucket and an ice charge. Uh, you can use glass in a starlight infuser to make ice. Uh, mana anything? infusion. My um, my starlight infuser isn't set up because I was in the middle of uh, doing a star sick thing. Oh, okay. You can put snow in a solidification chamber. Uh, uh, multi star. Uh, wait, world transmutation. I have a philosopher's stone. I can do this one. Do we have water nearby? Yeah, we we have a whole like ton of it in base. Uh, you can use the philosopher's stone to turn water into ice. Oh, nice. Yeah. So if I come over here and I just plunk down. My theory did not work. Oh, nice try. Did that do it? It's yeah, white for me, that. so I can't tell. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, nice. Right then. Then I use Silk Touch. And then we have ice. Yeah, we do. And we don't have to worry about the water looking ugly anyway, because, um... Well, it's not going to be here for much longer. I still can't believe you're getting rid of the whole rivers and everything. You're well, I mean, we can you are an add... Actual mon we, can, we can add another river back at some point. No, no, it's okay. You're just Good. getting rid of my little water wheel, my precious, precious water wheel. Okay, so we've got a stack of ice, and it has EMC, so I'm going to give you one, just to keep a hold of, and then I'm going to throw the rest into the cannon. Yeah, my job is the holder. <laughs> you are the beholder. If I break this, will that turn into a double chest there? No. Well, let's turn it into a double chest. So place it down. Thank you. Okay. John doesn't know why we need the ice. I don't either, to be completely honest. Did you change from ice gravel to ice to realize you have to get outlined? No, I didn't, actually. Ooh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. I, I don't really know. Oh, look at that, that is so cool. Is it actually doing it in real time? Yeah, it's doing it in real time. Hell it's all going yeah. Over. I'm gonna get yeah, me in on this action. I'm gonna have a look too. Oh look, you're actually flying again. 
Yep, I, uh, I charged my client star. Believe it or not, when you have like billions of fucking collectors all feeding into each other, it's nearly instant. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Mm. I don't know where it's also like doing this because it, it gets it takes a while for it to get back here. But the entire chunk, so it's doing it on that side as well. Oh, so it's literally just going. Yeah, it paints it in lines. Although oh. I have a hunch feeling it might have stopped, so I'm gonna go maybe. check. Maybe, maybe. Yes, it has. What does it want? Gravel. Oh yeah. You have gravel, right? Uh, me? Somewhere, somewhere here. Cause I don't. I thought we got rid of the gravel one for this. Oh, we probably did. Uh, the, the... There's a middle one we can use. I, I'll just go. I've got some gravel one. right here. Yeah, just just throw it in the, the middle center. Middle center. We'll just, yeah, we'll just grab a ton of. Uh, we'll just grab grab a few stacks and shove it in. This okay. one. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, let's just. And then let's just manually prop this in uh, to one of these. There we go. Doesn't matter how much dirt we're getting. There we go, the watcher. Yay! It's a hard work, actually. Yep. Oh, it Isn't stopped it... again. What does it want? Um, what, what does it want? Uh, frozen gravel. Okay, this is where we've got to start pumping frozen gravel in. So, let me grab some chests. Oh, it's going to ask for purple sand soon, isn't it? Probably, yeah. I'm going to put the top chests in place, and then what we've got to do is we've got to essentially cut it off from these yeah. pipes. So if I break this now. Ooh. That's a big old explosion. All right, then. If I put this one here, and then I attach it here. There we go. You have the wrench. You've got to detach. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll go do that. Uh, also, do you remember if we had any purple? Yeah, any I've purple? got a stack of purple sand. Don't worry. Okay, yeah, where, where, uh, where, where do we need? Oh, there it is. That, 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 that's where we need to touch yeah. it. And then there's one behind as well. Mm, right about... Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a way to quickly burn all of this stuff? Uh, yeah, there's a little uh, thing down at the bottom right of your screen. No, I mean, like, quicker than that, because that's what I've been doing. Oh. oh, let's just get a little lava pool. Mm. This is still hooked up to sand. Oh my, where? I don't know, but it's still hooked up. Oh, this one here at the front. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. Alright, I'll go get some lever. Yeah, you go do that, buddy. Hey. I'm not your buddy, guy. I'm not your guy, buddy. Ah, uh, buddy. I've been quoting that in class recently, and no one gets it. It's just like one of my, it's like one of the things that you just say whenever there's no sound. I've been doing that. I think, you know what, I think some people call it ADHD, but you can call it <laughs> I mean, the official term, I think, is now stimming. Yeah, no, stimming yourself, yeah. 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 Which sounds awkwardly close to strumming yourself, and if you did that in class, you'd probably have a lot more problems on your hand. Right, where's that, where's that pit of lava? Here we are. Ah! Ah! Sorted. Yep. There we go. Nice and sorted. Okay, so this top one now, we've got to awkwardly figure out a way to connect it to frozen gravel. That seems like a U issue. Shut your bitch ass up. You know, out of all of the things we've made so far, I don't actually have an axe. You know, want me, want me to t show you how we can connect up with gravel, okay? You ready for this? I need to know where the frozen gravel is. Frozen gravel's right here. Do you have a single item? A uh, single block? A single block? Uh, yeah, single block. Give me a single item. Single item. Uh, item. Uh, uh, sand. Single item pipe. Oh, item pipe. Yeah, sure. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna do something that's gonna fucking blow your mind. Bet. 
And now... Wait, what? How the f what? Oh, you don't feed it into the same one as dirt. Oh, well, yeah, because we can just turn it off when it stops using frozen gravel. Or we could use the chest that we built for frozen gravel and connect it to this pipe here. Well, that seems like a you issue. It's... I'm going to beat you to death. I don't have any more pipes. Well, see, that, see, that's your issue there. Now, now we've got perfect amounts. <sighs> it's totally inefficient. All right, Mr. Fish, go make Fish. some more pipes. No, you. What? You're my slave, not the other way around. I'm no one's slave. I'm a free elf. Whatever you say, buddy. Is it still firing? Uh, no, it stopped. I think it's asking for something else. What? Don't know. I'm burning dirt. Oh my fucking god. Uh, sugar cane. Right. We can do that. Mm-hmm. Did you just destroy my... No. Let's go EMC some sugar cane, shall we? My my my, my tall boy, my tall <gasps> no! What? You got rid of the tallest oh. one. No, I didn't. I broke a single piece. What are you talking about? No, the tall one just broke down, and there's a fucking cactus here. I haven't touched the tall one. All I took was a single piece from a small one. Also, I've had there's... to commandeer your glowstone one. There's ice. Oh, there's ice where your tall one was. No, I know there was a cactus where my tall one was, but like. Uh, my tall boy, he's gone. I'm gonna oh, have to plant Who cares? It'll one grow again. Place. If you put a watch of flowing time around it, trust me, it'll glow. It'll grow again. You do care nothing about sentiment. Why do you think I saved all of our new stuff? That's not sentimental. That's just practical. Yeah, there's no, no real difference. The for the Ow. <laughs> Yes. And now it wants a crafting, crafting table. Okay. Table. This is where it starts running through the stuff inside of our base. Yep. Do you want to go collect our crafting table and throw it in? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, man. <laughs> I, uh, oh. I want to offer a promotion for your channel. Viewers, followers, views, chat, uh, view chatbots. The price is lower than any competitor. The quality is guaranteed to be the best. Auto on, incredibly flexible and convenient order management panel. Everything in your hands. Turn it on, off, customize. Go to dodgehype.com. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. If uh, your website I'm literally sure. has dodge in the name, <sighs> yeah, it's a bit dodgy. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The robbing SCA. I'm not interested in your, in your services, uh, because I don't really want to go on a website that sounds literally dodgy.com. Mm. Um. So, uh, yeah. So, really sorry about that, bro. Now it wants an energy condenser. <laughs> it wants an energy have... condenser. I actually have an energy condenser. Good. <laughs> also, if uh, you look around at the outline of the base, you can see where it's reforming itself. I'm not even going to question. Oh, Minecraft. Check it. Over here. You can see where it's reshaping itself. Yeah. I'm gonna go get my whole single energy condenser for this. Where is your whole single energy condenser? It's in my hand. Oh. Because we had 14 of these. Oh, you're right. It did break the big sugar cane. Yeah. There, it was a cactus, like, right where it was, was going to be, so I think it just destroyed it. Hmm. Ugh. Hmm. Okay, what does it need now? It needs a sweet potato seed. A s what? Okay. Sweet potato seed. I mean, at least it's doable, right? Bro. I know you like making things long and, like, unneeded, but, like, do we seriously need to get a potato seed? I think it's going through Dr. Phil's farm. I think it is. 
Yeah, sweet potato seed right here. Oh, Wait, no. it wants the seed. Yeah. Can you plant? Oh, you I'm plant not... them and it turns into the seed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break Phil's farm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to turn on my magnet. That was not what I meant to do. This and then I'm going to drop everything that was in his farm into the cannon. And if that doesn't work, then it means that it's one of those that we can't get in survival mode and we'll have to put it in manually. Yeah. Anything? Uh, tea leaf seed. Tea leaf uh, seed. Tea leaf seed. So let's find the tea leaf. Let's put it in our inventory. Let's get the seeds there and drop the seed off. Next up. We need blackberry seed. Blackberry we need to get seed. the blackberry. Can you just start going in, like, yeah, making yeah. seeds out of all of them? I can. Bean seeds. Uh, leek seeds. Uh, sweet potato seeds. Uh, carrot seeds, maybe. Yeah, just no, do it carrots for don't turn into seeds. So yeah. What does it want next? It wants zucchini seeds. But we don't have zucchini. Oh wait, I have zucchini. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see that. There we go, zucchini seeds. There we go. Yeah, we're doing it. So. Isn't this a lot faster than it was last time? Oh yeah. Which one of these is gunpowder? Uh, I, it's one of the corner ones, I think. Found it. Yeah. Uh, target not loaded. It's firing. Oh, it stopped again. Oh, Wants good a to brewing know. stand now. Okay, so it has officially cleared out all my sugar cane. Yeah. And there's a certain someone here that we don't want anywhere near our base. Uh, just chase here. them away for now, shoot at them or something. Yeah. Right, so it's after a brewing stand, which I'm going to assume is what was in our base before Dr. Phil borrowed it for the poison. So I'm just yeah. going to borrow it back from Dr. Phil. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't notice. No, I think Dr. Phil's going to know this. I think he knows that this whole thing's buggy and things are going to mm. not show up the way they used to be. Also, just for the sake of clearing out space in my inventory and putting on my battle armor again, um, because it was just taking up space since I accidentally killed my mannequin. What? Yeah, because my sword has fire aspect to it, it set the mannequin on fire and instead of dropping it, it just broke it. And now it wants glowstone, which thankfully is something we can give it. We have it on mass. Yep. Which chest was glowstone again? This back one here. I've got it. Oh, okay. It's like a little fun game to see which one is which. Mm. There we go. Running nice and smooth now. Let me know when it stops. Okay. I love how you're getting all the footage, it's ace. All of you. Well, if you want to swap positions, nope, if you want to take the top roll for once, no, be my I don't guest. Be I don't want to be a top ops. Come on. We can both be over here if you want. Because the cannon will. Uh, the cannon, I think, acts as a chunk loader. Mm, fair. To be fair, it is nearly done. Hmm. I'm going to say, there's not much to do in this first layer, or at least in this square. There we go. It's getting all nice and built together. Although I am slightly worried about that area there. That needs to be flattened out first. Uh, is it still asking for anything? Nope, it's just um, really slow with the grass blocks. Ah, uh, okay. Is there any reason why, or...? Uh, I think it's because as soon as it's, like, going in, it was getting uh, sent shot out. Like, it was ah, shooting okay. more of them out than uh, than can be put in the box. That's weird. That shouldn't be happening. Uh, it's because the uh, watch the flowing time affect the pipes. Oh. 
Right. And there's points in the pipeline, I think, which aren't affected by the watch of flowing time. Yeah. So it'll speed through certain bits, but it'll be slow as fucking others. Yeah. Hmm. Also, um, just so you know, since it's in this quadrant, this one is going to clear out our spire. So we will need to keep Guy the Sheep safe on this one. No. Yeah. We need to keep him safe. What? Why did you not, like, keep He's Guy tied the into the chair. He can't move. There's a there's a lead connected to him in a in a fence underneath. It's why he's been up there for so long without leaving and dying. He's he's precious. He's a precious little bean. Mm. But yeah, it's gonna delete these blocks, so yeah. we should probably save him. Probably. Uh, do we have a lead? Yeah, we can just use his lead. Okay, let's do it. The, it's the underneath them. It's, uh, there. Oh. Oh, why, why can't I grab We've got that? a shield on. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah. Alright then. Come on, guy. Make sure you let him down slowly in water. What? Water. If you let him down slowly on the ground, the bouncing is going to kill him. Yeah, I know. He's on, like, half a heart. I'm just hoping that the uh, that the lead doesn't break while I'm flying. Oh god, he is—he is literally on half a heart. Fuck. It's a shame you can't feed sheep. Yeah, well you can, but it just doesn't heal them. Hmm. It's okay. Canonically, we can just get another one. It would be the same. It, it, I mean, this isn't even the original guy. He's anyway. not even dead yet. Don't talk about replacing him while you're no, hanging him over a this river. Is, this, this isn't even like the original guy. The sheep. This is no. Don't listen, you guy. Don't listen to your father. No, no, he's he's being a guy. meanie. This guy Junior, remember? Guy he's being died a in a tragic. We don't. Guy talk, died. We don't talk about that in front of our son. <laughs> Anyway, he's nice and safe now, so we can get him over to where the cannon is. I'll go grab- I'll go grab the fence. You start bringing him around to the cannon. Come on. Come on, guy. Guy, guy, he's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. Hey! Actually, you know what? While I'm here, I'm just gonna dismantle the podium. So that when it asks for the blocks for the podium, it, um... It, we won't have to make it from scratch again. Yeah. Die. Die, die, please don't die. I'm gonna say, because half of this was a pain in the ass to get a hold of. Maybe if you just didn't paint everything in such pretty blocks, we wouldn't have this issue. If we didn't paint anything in pretty blocks, what would be the point in making it? That's fair. Mm. That's very fair. But pretty blocks are annoying to get. Yeah, they are. I'm not even going to argue with you on that. They fucking are. <laughs> they really are. They're about five hours worth. They are. I mean, we had to spend so long looking for the blue corundum that it wasn't even on camera that we got it. It was like when I was sleep deprived at 4 a.m. working on Starsick that I found it, I think. Oh, it was. It was because, like, I don't know. We were like, oh, yeah, we'll put it on to another episode. And I, I came back a week later and you're like, I have it. Yeah. What? I have it. I'm like, yeah, I managed, I managed to procure it. Yeah. Yeah, let's grab these. Thank Dumb. the fucking... What are they? The light blue share stones were easier to make than the actual corundum. I mean, easier to get than the corundum, not make. Yeah, I mean, at least it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Like, it wasn't gravel. Right, was. the guy's view waystone is now indisposed. So if exactly. you die, you can't teleport back here until we've rebuilt this area. I don't know if the uh, teleport uh, thing, the Monument of the Seven, will be in this uh, section, or if it will be in section seven or eight. Hmm. Because I moved it quite a distance away. <sighs> There we go. Right, how's Guy's safety going? I'm going alright. I'm nearly at the, uh, nearly at the thing. Okay, well the cannon stopped, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down Guy's fence for now. And yeah. I'll just let you tie him to it, so that when it comes time to actually put him back, we can just 
send him back over. Right, yeah. what does it want? What is it after? It wants gunpowder. Oh, it ran out of gunpowder. There we go. It's nearly done, surprisingly. Oh, uh, dude, do you have to leave by any chance? Yep. You wanna... There we go. You meant to say that during an hour and a half and we've already done a whole segment. It's not like that. In all fairness, it is also the smallest segment. <laughs> oh, okay, this, this bricks. is where we're getting into the bit cool building stuff. We need mud brick slabs. So to make mud brick slabs, we need uh, mud brick, and mud brick is dirt in a casting basin with water being poured on it. Now we have all of these things, we just have to put them together in the right order. So... I do worry about his safety and his sanity. <laughs> oh god, big leg spike. Okay, so let me take that iron block out of the furnace. We still do have all of our iron in the furnace, which is good. Let's grab this casting basin. Let's grab... Uh... Do you know the starting stuff that we had for Tinker's Construct at the very beginning? Yeah. Where did we put that? Uh, literally anywhere, I'm not too sure. Because we need that. I'm gonna go check in the computer. You check in the chess monster outside. Okay. Okay, we'll do. We'll do. We'll do. Thank you. Okay, oh yeah, I've gotta feed the computer. Uh, enjoy some steak. Enjoy the steak. Mm -hmm. So I need at Tinkers. It is. Wait, what, what am I looking for in these chests again? A uh, what is it called? Uh, hold on, let me remember the name for a second. Not that. Not that. Um. Uh, is it the uh, third base casting basin? Uh, seared heater? No, I've got the casted basin. Uh, oh shit, what was the name of it? It was half glass. That's it. We're looking for a seared melter. Seared melter. Hmm. I have no clue if we even have one of those. I've got it here. I've got oh. it here. It was in the computer. Oh, okay. Right, so if I just... I just... I'm gonna put the excess tanks in the computer. You know, the, the liquid mm -hmm. ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so... Down. I have the seared melter. Place above a tank or heated fuel. Then I need a tap, I think. Which we should have a spare one on the smeltery for. Yeah, we should do. Yeah. So, let's fly on over to the shack. Yeah, we got down. one right there. Oh, sorry, yeah, so, right. I'm going to put down the uh, seared melter here. Must be placed yeah. above the fuel tank or heater to function, so we need a heater. I'm going to go check the computer. We're going we're right back to basics with this. Yeah. It's yeah. like starting a brand new game. <laughs> Right then. Oh look, they placed our thing back. <gasps> oh. Heater or a fuel tank? Alright, oh, okay. Do we have any seared brick? No. Uh don't think so. I mean we can take it from the from the smelter if we want. No, it's okay. I'm making some grout in the computer, which I'm going to smelt in the golden furnace to make us some seared brick, which I'm going to then use to make a tank. Which is a okay. bit fucking strange, because we need to put water in the furnace, not um, any ores.
Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, well, uh, that sounds like a great thing, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Whoop, whoop. Wait, unless... Do they have specific tanks in Tinkers? I mean, that's an ingot gauge. That's a fuel gauge. That's a tank. I'm just going to make a seared tank. Put water in there. And then see if we can pipe it out. Hmm. So you got any viewers? Uh, no. But I don't really mind. Well, I don't mind either. This could just spend money somehow. Hmm. Right then, sandstone, 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 sand. There we go. Right then. Throw the sand in the top of the furnace. Take the seared brick out. I'm gonna shove that back in the computer because we don't really need it. I just need three bits of sand from the golden furnace. So that's one. Wait around for the next one. That's two. Wait around for the next one. And while I do that, I'm going to have a look at my quests because it's blinking at me. Because we actually, believe it or not, in the last stream, got two of the three final endgame ores for this mod pack. We managed to get a hold of all the modium as well as vibranium. The last one is unobtainium, which I'm guessing is found in the end. Um, but because of this, we get a reward of a all the modium nugget, and another all the modium nugget, and we get a vibranium nugget, which is pretty great in my opinion. It is actually. Mm. But yeah, if I can throw those up there, because I don't really need them right now. Let's grab this glass. Let's go back to the computer. Line a glass down the sides, and then let's grab the si oh. Let's grab the seared brick from in here, line it up like that. That gives us the seared ingot tank. All right, then let's come on back outside. I'm getting some major lag spikes over here, you know. My frames have dropped down to 20 from their usual 100, which is very concerning. Um, oh, the usual, the usual 100. I told you, these things, like, really tank everything. Hmm. But yeah, so if I put the seared ingot tank underneath here now, and I go to the seared melter, and I take this seared faucet, like so. I put the basin down here, and then I put the faucet on here. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Oh, let me do that. How do I get things out, then? How do I get things out of the melter? Unless we didn't need the melter to begin with, which would be very annoying. And that would mean I could just do this, and this. I'm betting it's that one. So, do you have any just dirt on you? Uh, do you know what? Funny that you say that. We, I we don't. have chests of it outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, so let's put a single dirt in there. The next step is we need water. Oh. So do you have a water bucket? Uh, I have a bucket. I can make a water bucket. What's up? Uh, the chests are broken. Yeah, I know. They're, I really um, a lot of three and, uh, three and ones. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna temporarily Ooh. dump out the soul fire. So just, um, bear with me while I get rid of that. Okay. Oh! Hello, Gabby. Nice to see you. I did, I, well, I mean, I didn't tell you specifically, but I dropped it in the server. Hello. Hello. Yes, so I'm going to dump the soul fire out now, just so I have room for some... room for some more water. Um, and then we can start making mud. Now the question is, I don't know if the mud actually has EMC or not. Um, have you put the... have you... there we go. Yeah. Does it have EMC? Really, Fingers crossed? Hmm... Really it does not. Okay. Mm. Do you want to risk giving it any MC value? You can risk it. I'll. I will. I will do my best to entertain while everything breaks and crashes and is on Okay. Fire. So slash project e set e m c 
What would be a fair EMC for this? Three? Because it's mud bricks? Yeah. Set we'll EMC. Give it four. Give it four, four. Because that's like, yeah, that's round. Slash reload. And while I wait to see if that breaks my game or not, Gabby, that does not sound like a very fun time. I'm sorry that your Discord isn't working properly. Oh. Although I like your emotes, they're very fun. They're very funky. Oh. It's nice to have someone alive in these chats, instead of just oh. bots for once. Oh yeah, yeah, we would love the bots. They'd, they'd be always uh, very nice people. Mm. Mm. Very nice. I mean, you try to be nice to them, but at the end of the day, there's no real reason why, because, you know, bots. I mean, there's a perfectly good reason to be nice to a bot. What happens if the AI uprising finally happens? And, like, you're on an execution block because you insulted a robot shielding free views. Um, I'd take, I'd take my death, to be fair. I, I wouldn't bow to that creature. Cool. So <sighs> yes, you have a lot of lovely emotes, Gabby. They're very pretty. Is your, sir, is your client still responding? Uh, no, I cannot move my hand or anything. So, it's time right. to go back. To Let me uh, check point. the server logs. Oh, I'm back. Now the question is, am I going to get constant stuttering? Maybe. Oh. Ah. <clears throat> oh, shit, excuse me. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, if it starts stuttering, I am going to have to restart my client. If it doesn't, then we are free to continue on and start EMCing. Not the mud... well... Actually, yeah. It is... oh. My game pros. <laughs> the mud bricks have an EMC value now, but do the mud slabs have an EMC value? They do! Wait, what? That's so smart! The mud bricks have an EMC of 4, so the slabs have an EMC of 2, and the stairs have an, e have an, have an EMC of 6. It's like it knew what it was gonna do. Yes, Gabby, my hair is red. I'm surprised so many people that are coming into my chat aren't noticing, considering I posted about it ages, in, ages ago in God Complex. Uh, but yeah, my hair's red, and my game is stuttering, which means I'm gonna have to restart. So, Ruby. 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 Okay, he's just left without telling me. Right, so, in that case then, I'm gonna go set it up for him. I'm gonna head on over to the cannon while I'm stuttering. Yeehoo. Yes, he does have lifeless eyes. Or rather, not lifeless eyes, but there's nothing behind them. Uh, very no thoughts, empty head kind of guy. Let's drop the mud bricks in the glowstone duper. There we go, let's take that stack of mud bricks. Let's throw some glowstone back in the glowstone duper. Uh, deal with the stuttering. There is no stutter. Yes, there oh, yeah. is, or at least there is on my end. Hello. So, it's very smart the way this works. I didn't. I already explained this because I didn't realize you'd fucking left. Um, but it's um, apparently there's this intuitive thing with Project E where because we gave the regular mud bricks an EMC of four, the slabs have an EMC of two, and the stairs have an EMC of six. So what I've done is I've created you some slabs. If you come over to the cannon, um, that I'm gonna hand off to you before I restart my client because I am getting the stuttering. Yeah. So that you can throw them in the cannon and uh, just uh, start living your best life. So here are the slabs. Yay! I don't know if I've thrown them or not, because my game froze. There we go. And I'm going to yep. restart. Alright, so I just throw all these in here and keep one. Uh, yes. I've been using the glowstone chest, by the way, to start uh, duping random stuff. Yeah.
So, while we wait for my game to restart, um, here's a word from our sponsors. <laughs> oh no, don't bring in the Nord stuff again. <laughs> hey, you started it. I did, I really did. Yeah. It was Nord VPN, it's great. Uh, nah, it's man, I can't wait till we actually finally have some sponsors. Well, no, 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 you know, no wonder you'll get some money. <laughs> exactly. Why else no, no, would no, I no. be doing it? Oh, I, can't. I don't know. Maybe you just really like it. I don't know. Like if Ray Yeah, sure. Like... I love selling my soul to our corporate overlords for no other reason than it makes me feel good. Definitely. It yeah. would, wouldn't put me past. Wouldn't put you past it, dude. How very dare you? How dare I? How dare you? Not bowing a flesh down. Flesh wound, your arms off. No, it isn't. <laughs> I reckon I have the vibes of the Black Knight, you know. What do you think? I don't see it. Really? I see it. Yeah. I don't think you'd look good in black. No, I don't mean like the aesthetics of the Black Knight. I mean the attitude. Of the Black Knight, you know? Your arm is off. No, it isn't. That sort of stuff. Yeah. I feel like I, I, I feel like I pull off those kind of vibes. Mm. Yeah, mm. I can see it. You want... Uh, yes, these are crisps. These are Pringles. Sour cream and onion. My favorite flavor. Second only, the Texas barbecue. Oh, Texas barbecue is so nice. It is. They used to be my favorite before I had sour cream and onion. Yeah, you want some? Yeah, let's just take some through the camera. Take some. Oh, I, take some. There you thank go. You. Thank you. Thank you. Got a fucking midge fly going around my energy drink. Well, clearly you've given it a small boost. You're giving it wings, in fact. <laughs> uh, no, you can't say that anymore, otherwise someone will sue you. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Red Bull, it, it doesn't actually uh, do that, you know. Um, I can't I believe they won back. that lawsuit, you know. Yeah, like, it actually does give you rings. Hmm. You know? I mean, the man clearly knew what he was doing, but, you know. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he, personally, he takes me as, like, a very sound mind individual doing what he did. Yeah, uh, very sound of mind. <laughs> it's like that guy who lost his, um, pilot license because he dived out of the Oh, yeah, the that came back recently, didn't it? Yeah, Didn't it did. he finally admit that he did it on purpose? Yeah, he admitted that he did it on purpose after multiple, like, court cases with, uh, mm. trying to get his, like, license back. And obviously them saying, well, you did it on purpose. And he's like, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah. the, um, the, the, what was it? Like, the engine was given out, so I had to jump, otherwise I'll die. And he's, like, finally admitted that, that it, you know, is all set up, which is really weird. Because, like, apparently, like, one of the big things was, like, you could hear, like, if your engine's going, you can hear it. Yeah. But you just couldn't and... hear it on the video. No, you couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at least he finally admitted it. I mean, we all knew, but at yeah. least he fucking decided to admit it, you know? Like a year later. Yeah. But, like, out of gunpowder, but I've given it gunpowder. And the gunpowder's at 100%. Oh, there uh, we go. I figured it out. Figured I'm going to say, if that's happening, it might be a server issue. No, I figured uh. it out. I just didn't press play. Is there a way for me to put chat on my screen? Like, I know there obviously is when you're live streaming, but is there a way to put chat on screen? Yes, there is. There's, a, like, a whole box inside your stream thing that allows you to... What is it? Uh, like, in Streamlabs? Yeah. So, like, in Streamlabs, I think it's... It's literally just called text box widget or something like that. Okay, donation goal, follower goal, bit goal, tip ticker, chat box. Chat box, there we go. Yeah, chat box. And Let's whenever add... someone messages, it should show up on the screen. Yeah, chat box, theme, let's go with what's old school. <sighs> oh no, I don't like that. What's Chunky? And then there's Chunky. He's dead. DK. Oh my God. Chunky's dead. Doo -doo. DK. Chunky's dead. Right, I'm coming back on the server now. Okay, do not. Do not ask why Guy looks like he does. What did you do to Guy? I didn't do anything to Guy. What did you do to Guy? I didn't do anything to Guy. You better not have. I haven't. I swear I haven't. Please watch the flowing time. Work, work, work. You better not have fucked with Guy the Sheep. I didn't. I didn't fuck with Guy Jr. 
Stop calling him Guy Jr. You know he misses his father. I know. He can be Guy Senior. That that's not how it works at all. No, he is his father. You don't give birth to your <laughs> fa- your own father. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what what you've been doing, but like, if you have given birth to your own father, I'm sending you to the fucking government for testing. <sighs> Please don't report me to our. You would be a what? time anomaly, a space anomaly. And clearly otherworldly. I mean, couldn't you tell that already? No. Because you, you, you don't strike me as someone that's otherworldly. You, you, otherworldly, you strike me as someone who is just strange. That's not very nice. If I was trying to be nice, I wouldn't have called you that to begin with. You can't just call me strange. I can call you something worse. What? Don't you dare! Why what would now? you make him naked? <laughs> why would you make Guy the Sheep naked? Uh, because why not? Found new schematics. There's all these schematics. Which schematic do we need? Don't touch any of them. Okay. That's a warning. Don't touch any of them, please. Okay. If you touch them, it will lag you and probably crash you. Okay. If you're going to touch them, make sure you don't put them in your hand, okay? Okay, yeah, you know, I'm gonna leave it to you. You, you can do that. Okay, it is this like area finished, by the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got me the, gave me the empty schematic. Oh. Then why is this still here? Because I put the empty schematic in. Wait, what? 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 Oh, that. I don't think you took it out. Oh. I well, guess maybe I didn't go high you, enough. Yeah, you might, because you were messing with build height, weren't you? Let's just, um, let's just manually cut this bit out. There we go, just separate it from the wall. Can you all mine? Uh, vein mine I can, but I want to separate it from the rest of the mountain first. Uh, actually, can you go and sleep so that I can see what I'm doing, please? Okay. Thank you, because I can't actually see very well right now. Which is, is probably a bigger just... issue on my part than it is the server, but you know. Yeah. Wee. Oh, our base looks so messy right now. I think it looks cool. It's like a transition between new and old, you know? Oh, I'm starving to death. Whoops. <laughs> I fed so much meat to the computer that I forgot to eat my own meat. I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Then I forgot yeah, to done. eat my own food. Finish it. Do it, pussy. No. <laughs> I don't want to. You can't make me. I can. No, you can't. Eat your, eat your vegetables. <laughs> You're a vegetable man? <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Right then. So, trees and all. Oh, who, who knew that there was a single piece of coal there? No one. Right, I'll deal with the gravel on the floor. Gabby, shush. Uh, okay, so, gravel dealt with. Let's deal with the trees now. Like the Lorax. Well, not like the Lorax. Like, um... What's the name the of the guy, guy in the Lorax? Um, the, the guy in the Lorax. No, it's it's the Wansler, isn't it? It's the Wansler. We've got to make like the Wansler and be Tumblr Sexy Men and deforest uh, the floating trees. How bad can, can I, I be? be? I'm just doing um, what comes naturally. How bad, no, uh, bad, bad can bad, I be? Can How I bad can I possibly be? Everybody knows that something sound is called survival of the fittest. Oh, and it makes the love and we'll go around. I, I never listened to that song, to be honest. I prefer the uh, Biggering version. Yeah. You know what's really weird about the Lorlax? What's what's very weird about the Lorlax, Ruby? Well, I mean, think about it this way. They they explain climate change as everyone w just wants to scarf. Well, I mean, it's a very simplified look at, look at it, but it's not wrong. That is no, a contributor because of all of the it factories is. and stuff. 
fashion industry is one of the biggest things that are killing us. Yeah. Well, that got depressing quick. <laughs> but anyway, know. do you like what's happening to the uh, the edges at the minute so far? No, I don't like the edges. Like this bit here, where it's all like nice and raised. I'm gonna cry. No, oh, come on, it looks good. It's a nice, smooth, little wavy pattern. Yeah, it's a nice, little, smooth, little wavy pattern. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you don't have to sound like you're crying when you do it. Okay, I'm so... Crying. I'm always crying. Now that we've finished segment five, do you want to risk trying segment four again? Oh... Because oh, I still have it in my inventory. Let's... Risk it for L biscuits. Okay, let's try. Let's get rid of section five. Let's see if section four will work again. Let's start from scratch, so turn off all the watches. Let's unload five. Well, you've already done that. And let's load up four. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's in. The chests are still functioning. Next step is to set it to play. Running? Target too far away. Alright, let me know when it starts firing. Okay. Oh. Is it firing? Uh, I can't tell. I think my game's crashed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it hasn't. Um, it hasn't it crashed yet. It's too far away. Okay, I'm going to keep going forwards. Is it firing yet? Nope. I'm going to keep going forwards. Now? Nope. Let me keep going forwards now. I think, I think it might just be too far away. I think we might need to move the whole thing. Really? Because I've loaded the entire chunk. Yeah, 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 I think, I don't know, I think it is just too far away. Hmm. So oh. you want to move all of this? Uh, <laughs> what do we do all the other chunks? Yeah, target too far away, we do have to move it. Um, the other chunks, the nearest one that we'd be able to do first would be chunk, uh... Well, we've done one, two, and five... What's the next It'd be is? eight, but I think we're, yeah, we're inside of chunk eight currently. We set it up on the boundary on the wrong side, we would be inside chunk eight, so we would have to move it anyway. Mm, okay. So if we move it to the corner of chunk five, we would be able to do chunks four, uh, seven, and eight. Mm -hmm. So if you want to start packing all of this stuff up, um... Before we do that, though, I want to make us backpacks. We need another backpack. We have backpacks. We have the backiest. Of I backpacks. have a backpack, but it's not good enough. It's too, it, despite being the full one, it's too small. So to make a small backpack, we need white wool, leather, and string. Do we have those things? Probably somewhere. Let's go look for some. Let's go look for some of those things. Let's make ourselves some backpacks, yeah? So that we can carry everything we need. Yeah. Because, uh, I don't know about you, but I don't fancy increasing the size of the chest monster. Remember, the chest monster's beautiful. Don't, don't uh, insult the chest don't, monster. Don't compliment the chest monster, otherwise it'll grow bigger with the ego. Much like someone else we know. <laughs> How did you know I get bigger with ego? <laughs> and I don't get bigger of a lot of things. <laughs> I forget I even said that right <laughs> sentence. I wish to not. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Uh, backpack, here we go. So the smallest one, we are missing leather and string, but we have wool uh, inside of the computer. Okay, where, where are we putting up the next thing? Wait, can we put the... Oh. We're doing the backpacks first. Ooh, you know what? Can we just... Oh, okay. Let's stop packing them away. Yeah. Do you We're think just... if we moved it back to the center, like um, the centerpiece, do you think I'd be able to reach all the other bits? I was hoping... No, it's not that big of a range. Uh, I was hoping we could put them at 
4,266, 2,596. Like, yeah. Uh, no. Go towards where we were. Oh, okay. Just like this. And corner. keep going. And stop. Now go to your... Go inwards to section 5, just a tiny bit. Like here? I don't know where section 5 is. You're, you, you've disappeared on my map. Is this section 5? You is have, it this corner? You've disappeared on my map. How did you do that? That just exists. Look, I'll just come and point to you where I wanted you to go. Me, 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 me. Uh, yes, actually, yes, exactly there. That's where I was hoping for. If you set it up there, you'll be able to reach that segment, that segment, and that segment. No. And while you do that, I'm going to work on getting us some backpacks. Back, 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 you know you're a backpack, back, 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 back. Okay, so we've got the string. I've got the wool. The last thing we need is the leather. I don't suppose you've killed any cows lately. No. Okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. We should really set up a cow farm. We were supposed to. That's why we had the big ass farm. And then they ended up dying because of wolves, didn't they? Yeah. We had like a little fenced off area, and then we built a barn, so then we could throw them in, and then we got distracted by literally everything else. Well, when it when it comes time to start up again for season two, like when we're done this with the live season, streaming this stuff, this is season two. Yeah. What do you want about this? This hell. What you have put me through <laughs> is all that I want to do. I do not wish to do any more. I have quit the series. Please well, after we're done with the live streaming part. Uh, we can focus on getting set up what we would normally have on a base, so we'll actually set up a farm and stuff. Sound good? Nice and yeah. simple for a, for a soft introduction. No. I, I wish not. I wish not to partake. I wish to disappear. Too bad. Slaves don't get that choice. Right, then I need to go and find a cow for some leather. Because we don't actually have any in the chests or the computer. Which is strange. Uh... The annoying part is, we don't really get many animal spawns around here, do we? No, I mean, if you had east enough, you should be able to find something. East. Okay. And you're not just saying that to send me off into the forest to wander off and die? No comment. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to see if I can spot some from up above. Hmm. Did you know there's another magical forest on the other side? Mm, maybe I've went past it. Maybe I haven't. I don't have no recollection of a lot of things. It's a very pretty forest. It's like I have Alzheimer's when I play this game sometimes. <laughs> I, I know. Remember. Right then. No cows up here from the looks of it. Oh. Oh. Uh... Uh... Right then, so it is getting dark and I don't think animals spawn at night, do they? Got no clue, I don't think so. Hold on, let me just fast forward through the night, give it a second. No, yeah, let's just break the <laughs> continue the game casually. Uh, I, I forgot I, ca I was carrying this on me. There we go. Higher charge means bigger jumps. Hang on, I've just realized something. All of, the, all of that time I spent in Starsick trying to wait for night time. And I could have just powered up my watch of flowing time. And change the time of day manually. Yep. For fuck's sake. Oh shit, that forest's on fire. Oh, lava pool. That's why. Okay, so... Cow! That's a flower, not a cow. Pig! Flower power! I found a pig! 
It's not Yay. a cow, but it's the first living thing I've seen in fucking ages. Hi, Piggy. Yes. Hi, Piggy. Oh. That's it, oink oink. Yeah, oink oink. Good Piggy. Good, good Piggy. I'm gonna go oh, find man. your brother, the cow. Um. Sometimes even his comments scare me. Oh, shut your front door. No, actually, no, I like keeping it wide open for people to come in and steal my stuff. I'm glad you added steal my stuff, otherwise I was going to make fun of you again. Ooh, another when pen. Don't, when don't you <laughs> not, like, not make fun of me? Uh, also, speaking about which, uh, about making fun of me, mm. uh... Uh, down. It hurts my feelings, and I do not like it. <laughs> I'm under the water. Help me. Blub, blub, blub. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I found a chicken. I found pigs and chickens. Oh, she's like fucking animal farm. This is. Where are the cows? Uh, no, nope, that's a flower. That's a jellyfish. Uh. I'm not seeing any cows. Oh, is that a cow? Nope, that's a plant. Um, I'm concerned with how much I'm getting plants and cows confused. Yeah, I mean, I know that McDonald's has like a McPlant now, but like that doesn't mean that cows are like... Is that animals are everywhere and... now? Well, the McPlant. It's in a lot of places. I'm gonna say, cause I don't think I've seen it yet. I guess the I guess the big old corporation was oh that's a mermaid. It was too too sel selfish to you know spare a thought for the little guy, the little villager like me. He was too selfish to give us the plant. We're stuck eating actual meat instead of plant based produced shit. You know. I mean, I love your meat. I don't know about you. Oh my god, I love mine too. Thank oh my you god. so much for affirming me. Oh my <laughs> god, it tastes like they're exactly the it, McDonald's McPlant <laughs> tastes like exactly the same, but like the suffering makes it feel better when I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, the suffering adds character. It adds flavor it's to the meat. The you know? Exactly. Like if your if your food's not suffering, like it just tastes different. You know? Hmm. Yeah. That's why I don't go free ranged. <laughs> I like my chickens bored and bred in a single one meter hole and then shotgunned to death. I don't know you, but, uh, know about you, but the amount of nutrition just makes it extra nutritional, you know. Mm. <laughs> oh, I got another one of those spam bots, um, like you got for promotion of channel and shit. Oh yeah, is it the same dodgy.com? No, this one is. Oh no. Yeah, it is. Oh no! It's not. The... It's not dodge. It's. Oh, I see why you said it like that now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It. Yeah. It is the same dodgy site. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I'm not, like, I'm, 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 I'm purposely like not giving them any promotion. Mm. Hey, Google, <laughs> show me this guy's balls. How do I? I found this guy's balls. How do I delete a chat? I don't have the power to delete a chat. Google, I need you to show me how to delete a chat here. Hey, Google. hey, Google, show me how to delete a chat. Google, how how to delete embarrassing video. <laughs> Google, how to delete video of PP uploaded on YouTube. <laughs> hey, Google, how to take down other people's video of my PP on YouTube. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey Google, how to remove docs information from other people's channels. Hey Google, why is the FBI knocking on my door? <laughs> hey Google, why am I in federal custody? <laughs> uh, I'm still finding Whoa! no cows out here. Oh, it's the weird fairy thing. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, there's actually an ally system with these, where you can ally yourself with the monsters, or the monster hunters, or the fairies and shit. We just haven't actually done anything with it. Okay, so you're telling me that if I allied with the monsters, theoretically speaking, I wouldn't be attacked at night? Uh, you can't ally with vanilla monsters, only mana and artifice monsters. So, like, the big old zombies and stuff. Cow! Okay. Another cow! I've got I know the leather. You are when I'm alive. 
No, it doesn't. No, no, shut the fuck up. Right, um... How far out am I? Where's the base? The base is back this way. Uh, right then, so now that I've got the leather, the string, and the... Uh... What's the other thing? Leather string and wool. I can start EMCing it, uh, and I can make us some big old backpacks. Some big old backpacks. Backpack, backpack, do you know your back's back? Are you carrying one of those watches? Yeah. I thought so. <laughs> uh, it's kind of cool that I can tell that you're holding one just by seeing the sky start to move. Yeah, it's going to move backwards because I set it to rewind time. Oh, god damn it! I have no idea how rewind works. I don't know if it's just the sky or if it rewinds the actual days or not. Um, imagine watching, like, a, uh, you know, like, something actively, like, going back in time. Like, you got fresh wheat and you're like, oh, thank god I'm starving. Mm. And it's like, wait, what? <laughs> so it would be good if it also did it for, like, your hunger, too. Thing is, a long time ago, we're talking, I think, 1.4.7. Someone was trying to develop a mod that actually included time travel in Minecraft by tracking every entity and shit, and allowing you to basically jump back to a specific point in time. Um, uh, they didn't really flesh on how. Um, I remember seeing the dev video for it on YouTube when I was really young. But if they'd actually continued development, I have no doubt that people would have started implementing that and like putting it in Project E and stuff. For the reverse oh. of the time watch. Oh, you're hundred percent. Like mm. I feel like one thing that I would do is probably most likely be buggy as fuck. Oh yeah. Because it's gonna be tracking everything. It was also really intensive because of, you know, tracking everything. Uh in the dev vlog they didn't even have a model set out, it was just a white cube that followed the path. Um right, either way I'm back. I need to go work on the backpacks. There should be a condenser back in our house now, right? Oh, actually. Yeah, because we needed to schematic cannon in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. So, mm -hmm. let's see. What are we going to make first? Let's dupe some leather first. Nice and quick. There we go. And then let's dupe some wool. There we go. Nice and quick. No. No and then let's dupe some string. There we go, nice and quick. So, now that that's all sorted, I can go in here, I can type in backpack, backpack, ba ba backpack, ba backpack, ba backpack. Also, there are ender backpacks as well, which I'm assuming connect to your ender chest, but we don't even have one of those yet, so. Is no point in really making them. Not even, like, got. Huh? kind of weird to think that we don't even have, like, baseline. Yeah, we've got so much yeah. other shit, but we don't just have the basics. There we go, that's a medium backpack. Another medium backpack. And last but not least... Oh, you need actual wool for that, hold on. That's it, wool and string. And leather. There we go. Let's just grab some of that leather. Right then, now we can make the big old backpacks. Oh, it has to be brown wool for a brown backpack. If I want if I want a regular large backpack. Wait, what? Okay, that is the tiniest of differences, and it pisses me off that they made that distinction. Whatever. Right then, so, I have now gotten us two large backpacks. I already have a backpack, so this is my second one. Um, so I can't actually wear it, but yours... Um, do you know the bauble slot? Yeah. You can put yours in the bauble slot, and you can then access it just by pressing a button. I've got mine bound to button 4, which is the bottom side button on my mouse. Um, I'll let you decide what you bind yours to. I'm not binding it to anything. I'm going to continue just taking it out of my thing. It's I will beat you to death. Do it. Yeah, no, you're not supposed to agree to that. Get help. No. 
Right then, either way, I'm on my way. Yeah. How far into the setup have you gotten? I've gotten to moving the schematic cannons and stealing the, nice. uh, the pipe. Good work. Where are you? There you are. Come get your backpack. No, I don't want one. Also, why am I running up two frames a second? I don't know. Here, take your backpack. No. Take your fucking backpack. I no swear one. to God. Don't be difficult on purpose or I'll make your life difficult on purpose. No, I'm taking not. Guy the Sheep and I'm bringing him over to the next thing. Oh, oh I think my thing crashed finally. Wait, oh, really? No. Nope, not yet. It's still check good. Your, check your services because there's nothing wrong on my end or the server's end so far. No, I think it's because of just the amount of crashes my thing has survived. Ah, uh, okay. You know, for your next birthday, I might just buy you some better PC components. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually, I've actually increased my PC components though, like since last time, which is why it hasn't been crashing as frequently. I know, but still. Suck a dick. Suck my dick in particular. Oh, is... whoa. Oh, nay Oh, Hello? Thank you, Gabby, for deleting uh, that message. I didn't know how, and I assume when I asked earlier if you knew how, um, that you weren't here. I know that. That's the best message you could ever receive. Mm. I love being told that there's free uh, that there's the services I can pay for to increase my money, uh, increase my viewership. That doesn't actually increase my viewership, but just looks good on stats and then makes it worse later on. Because yeah, don't, doesn't the shit that that works on basically, you put it, they put it into a content farm where other people just have it open, but they don't interact or anything. Yeah, and on top of that, since it's, I think, it depends on how the service is. So some of them do it monthly and some of them do it, um, Oh, was it? Some of them do it by, like by one, so you like you know you pay a quid to get a hundred views or something. Yeah. One time, but then if you're not constantly paying for it, it doesn't look good statistics-wise because it looks like like on the algorithms and hey, this person blew up and now he's and got now no they're mid again. Yeah. Yeah. So it kind of does what it does to your channel and. Yeah. Fuck yeah. you. But yeah. <laughs> right. So, uh, what do you need my help with moving now again? I just set up the schematic cannon in the new area. Okay. Oh. Remember, vein miner. I don't have vein miner. Yeah, you do, you just don't have it bound. I've got mine bound to left alt. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you do. I'm just... What do you mean you don't know? You don't need to know anything. I just told you exactly what you need to do. No, no, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to commit a, a war crime, a hate crime. I'm going to commit some kind of crime that is going to damage you. Oh, yeah, you don't, you don't need to do much for that. Oof, that's kind of sad. Feels bad, man. Do you want to borrow my uh, silk touch? No. You sure? Yeah, we've got, like, an entire box filled up with, uh, glowstone. Ah, uh, okay. It's not as valuable as you think, bro. Well, I mean, nothing's really all that valuable when we have the power to create an infinite amount, so... Yeah, no worry, I've kept at least one speck of dust. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Right then, I... Wait, oh. <laughs> I picked up all of the Watches of Flowing Time, which, just for future reference, apparently don't work if they're in the main inventory, only in your hotbar, but I forgot to pick up the cannon, so let me grab the cannon. Oh, yeah. shit, I scrolled over the fucking schematic. What do you mean? I told you, if you scroll over the schematic, the chances are it'll crash you because it tries to load everything in. Oh, yeah. There we are. Oh. Right. Wait, hang on. I'm looking at the schematic now. I'm looking at it in the chunk. It looks perfectly fine. There are no issues with it. It's lined up perfectly and everything. Huh. So I don't know why it was having such a big aneurysm earlier. It's Minecraft being Minecraft. Yeah. Oh shit, wait. Did that move it? I'll take it as a No, I didn't. Good. Right then, so I'm gonna plop- I'll plop the cannon down actually close by to the chest so we don't have to use way too many fucking pipes uh, to move it around. And I didn't pick up the fucking schematic cannon again. I'm going to kill myself. 
and I scroll over the schematic again. Oh, fucking damn it. There are no gods. I'm taking that shit out of my inventory. Mm. Also, the phantoms are attacking me, so we might need to sleep pretty soon. I'll go do the thing. Okay. Oh, what is it with this house now? It's like one frame per second over here. Honestly, no clue. Just something's happened in this chunk that just nobody likes. I'll check on it later. Actually, I check on it now. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll see what the issue is. Okay, now it's running smoothly. Weird. That is very strange. I could have sworn I reset that. Maybe it didn't count because the server crashed so many times. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> I forgot the puddle was missing down here. <laughs> it's just a hole in the floor on a bit. Hmm. Right then, so, over here. Let's go... Where did I put my cardboard boxes? Did I give them to you? Uh, I have two. I should have had five. I don't have, it. I don't have any, actually. I should have had five. Where the fuck are my cardboard boxes? I can see one, but that's got the... That's got the, um, furnace chest in it. I think I somehow misplaced, like, all of my cardboard boxes. You might burn them. I wouldn't be surprised. Right. Did you know that lava pool? I'm about to take full use of that. Nice. Right then, so we don't need well actually we are gonna need a lot of mud slabs for this, so do you still have some? Yes I do actually. Good. I have one mud slab. Good, because we're gonna need them uh for the later ones a lot. In fact we're gonna need a fuck ton of wheat seeds for the later ones. Why specifically wheat seeds? You'll find out. The rat pushed me away from the lava just so he could continue eating all of my shit instead of letting me burn it. What? Yeah. The rat literally forced me away from the lava. Kill the rat. It's all for shit. He can't eat it. Yeah, good point. Hold on. Let me go back and deal with him. Bitch ass. Right then. So. I went and uh, deletoed the chests over there. Next up, let's start plugging in uh, all of the the stuff. Hold on, why am I doing it this way? Mm. There we go. Okay, so. Uh, first thing we need to plug in is the stone. Actually, I'll do dirt first. Dirt is plugged in, but I need you to wrench that bit there. Okay, I'll be your little wrenchy boy. Next up is... Oh, oh, that's the pedestal. It's that's like the all over again. That's the glowstone. That's the grass. You want stone? Uh, yeah. Stone is right here in front of this. Okay. So I've watched a flowing time. Yeah. Right, that's so. That one is now grass. That 
That one's sand. That one's stone. We need to move the watcher flowing time. Uh, I'll do it. I'll put it here. You know what? I have access to all of these, so let me just, um... Oh, you might want to wrench that one. Yeah, yeah, I can't... Yeah, where, where? Uh, over here. This one. It, it needs to be unwrenched. Oh. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And oh, that one gone. needs to be unwrenched as well. Wait, give me a sec, give me a sec. What have you done? The game's just been really slow. Ah, okay. Right then, put that one there. We go. there. Uh, where else? Unwrench this one here. Here. I, ca I can't. Give it a second. Give it. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Actually, it's you've you've just, you've it's crashed. Just been really slow. You you have fully crashed. Yeah. You bet you are better off restarting. Yeah. Um. Could you have perhaps thrown me the wrench before you left? No, I, I, it, it, dude, it's literally two iron sticks and flint. Yeah, but I didn't want to make it. Make one, you lazy person, lazy individual. Do not go onto <laughs> my stream. Right, pipe oh, wrench, flint and sticks. Okay. I don't even think we have any flint left over. Probably not. I mean, maybe. You just need to find some gravel, which we have tons of, in fact. Also true. Uh, not in there. 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 Uh, not in there. None in there. No, oh, yeah, five. There we go. And then I can use my Philosopher's Stone as a crafting table to make it. And I'm missing the sticks. <sighs> Do I have any wood? I don't have any wood. God damn it. Oh, there's some. Yep. Out of memory again. Alright, so I turn that into sticks. I can throw that on the ground. I can then make the wrench. Bada bing, bada boom. And I can put these stuff back in my chest, so... There we go. Right then, so... Now that I have a hold of the wrench, what I can do is I can come on over to the chests. I can de-link this pipe so that it doesn't take the washer flowing time. I can make sure that all of these are set to output. That one's good. That one's good. I can knock this off here, and I can start replacing these with actual watches. So, yeah, that one's set to fast forward. Let's pop that one on there. That's, fa that's fast forward. Let's pop that one on there. Fast forward, pop that one on there. Put that one on this pedestal here. Guy the sheep is having a sweet old time doing a doing a spin for life. He's doing a big old bop. He's doing a big old boogie. Um, we're gonna pop that one on there. Yeah, he's doing the boogie woogie dance. Pop that one on there. 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 Okay, so oh, we got one more. There we go. Let's put that one there. So. Hoping that they're all set up properly. I'm going to turn these off just to start off with, since number four is, of course, the glitchy one. Let's see. This one's set up with gr uh, grass blocks. This one's set up with dirt. We need to set one up with stone, which is what we were doing back here. This one here is stone. So if I bring this up and around like I did for the last one, bring it across the top. There we go. And down, and up, I mean not up, across, I can then plug this one into here. Now I've just got to make sure that this is set to an output, like so. Okay, so we've got grass, dirt, and... Sturt? 
Grass, dirt, and stone. There we go. That's all nice and moving all quick. The next one we need is sand. Now, sand is a bit of a pain in the ass because it's spread between the cheeks of these two pipes here. So, we're gonna come. We're gonna have to come straight out on this one and up. But we're now gonna have to really quickly disconnect all of these pipes here from each other because I'm pretty sure now what that has done is it sent out grass to go into the stone. It sent out nothing into the grass because it's full and nothing into the dirt because it's full. So actually, not a big deal. It wasn't as big of a disaster as I thought it would be. Um, but yeah. So, let's get this sand up and once again over the top. So we've actually got to bring it one higher than the rest of these so that it doesn't connect. We can then bring this across like so. Bring it down. And bring it across. And then bring it down. And then... Oh, no. Actually, we can't bring this one down. Because if we bring this one down, it is going to connect to the watches of Flowing Time. So we've actually got to bring this one over a little bit. And then uh, across again. And then forwards. And then down. And connect it at the front of this one in a very awkward position. Okay, but now that we've done that, we can set this one to an output. And that chest there is going to start slowly filling up with sand. And now, this last one. So we've got dirt, sand, stone, and grass. The last thing that this should need or at least on mass, is going to be the frozen gravel, okay? So, I don't have any more of these pipes. I only have the two. So, I am going to have to wait for Ruby to come back to hook this one up. However, since frozen gravel is only a guideline, I can scoop it out manually, meaning that, hopefully, uh, hoping that this thing doesn't crash, I can then shove some gunpowder in at the top, and I can hit play. And I'm going to hope and pray that this works. See, I'm already getting some stuttering with the podiums. I'm really hoping this continues to work. So, three, two, one, and play. Target not loaded. Right, I was expecting that. But I'm hoping I can just creep a little further forwards and it'll start firing. Yep, it has. It started moving, which is good. It's searching, so it doesn't have any sound. Uh, so I'm hoping that that isn't just a sound bug, and that when it comes to firing, it will start producing noise again. Because I've noticed, as the server starts to lag and crash and start to strain, if uh, it is straining, sound prompts won't play. For example, the from the flying ring won't actually set off. Right, now, it's going to be scanning very slowly because it doesn't have any watches activated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to proc one of these and see how it handles it. It handles it very well. Okay, I'm going to proc a second one. And it's now missing gravel. I knew there'd be one that we missed. It was going to be fucking gravel. So let's just manually pull some gravel out of this uh, chest here. And let's drop it into this side one here, shall we? There we go. That's all nice and fine. So, let's proc a third one. And a fourth one. And a fifth one. And a sixth. And a seventh. And it stopped on the seventh. What have we got? Missing cave roots. Now, cave roots, very interesting. We can actually get our hands on some cave roots using some shears. Or, in our case... A silk touch pickaxe. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head down into the cave system that we've got going on, which we haven't touched in a while, and I'm going to try and locate some cave roots so that we can uh, get this thing back up and moving again. So, if I come around here into the main part of the cave, there we go, straight off the bat from Quark, we have cave roots, and now isn't that interesting? I don't believe there was water down here. Oh. Yeah, there was. Never mind. Um, yeah, so soul lava can actually make obsidian when hitting water. Like regular lava. I didn't realize that. But there we go. We've got cave root. Can you plant cave root? You can't plant cave root. Okay, so. Silk touch didn't work on cave root like I thought it would. The next test is to see if shears can collect cave root. If both silk touch and shears can't collect cave root... Then we have come across one of the items that, unfortunately, we will have to cheat 
in order to put into the uh, schematic cannon, which, while not being ideal, is the necessary evil, as it will sometimes ask for items that you simply just can't get in survival mode. So, now that I've got myself a pair of shears, we could come down here and take off the cave route, and would you look at that? We have the cave route. So, while Silk Touch can't do it, Shears certainly can. Now, let's test if Vein Miner works. Yes, it does. So, let's go find a giant cave root stem and just Vein Miner the crap out of it to get a lot of cave root. There we go. Because cave root, being a quark item, uh, doesn't actually have an EMC value, which is not ideal, let me tell you that. There we go. Let's get that's another 11. That's another 3. Let's just dodge past the soul lava, shall we? Let's grab this cave root down here. There we go. All nice and sorted. So, since I doubt it will be asking for much cave root, uh, I think we are safe to just have 37 of these babies and to drop those into the chests. So, let's pop on up. Up and up and up. Ah, Ruby, welcome back. Are you on the way to I joining am, us? I am, I am a lot. I am, I am on the way to joining you. I am still there. dead nice. in a ditch, waiting for it all to be Very nice, very nice. I will say, because it is night time, mobs are starting to spawn. Unfortunately, we haven't lit up the outside of the base just yet. So, we will need to go around with a couple of torches at a later date. Or perhaps just hide some of those, um... What are they? The, the, the Imperial torches? The big torches? That stop mob spawn around a certain configurable number of blocks? Potentially. If we hide some of those in the ground, I think we will be able to just deal with our little mob problem here. Although my frames are certainly tanking in this area. And I think I figured out why. Because there's nothing to hide the mobs behind since we've cleared out the area, all of the things that are spawning are visible to the player whenever you're looking around, meaning it has to render more at a time than if we were, for, for example, underground. Okay. So I think if we find a way to cull entity uh, information past a certain distance, we might be able to improve frames. Ooh, and I'll be very, very useful. Yes, it will. So let's just chuck the cave root in at the top here. It only needed one and target not loaded. So let's get in close. And there we go, it's firing. So I'm going to proc yeah. this one. And I'm going to proc this one. Oh, that one didn't make a sound. That's worrying. There we go. That one made a sound now. Let's prog this one. No sound. Let's try again. No sound, but it will turn off. So I'll leave those for now, just in case. And I'll stick with what we've got here. Now, if I fly up into the air, you can sort of see it uh, just off in the horizon, starting to put things together, which is nice. But I'm going to stay, stay near the cannon. Just in case it requests anything. So let's proc this. Let's proc this. And let's proc this. There we go. If you shoot Guy the Sheep, I will end you. I will end your entire bloodline. Don't you dare. We need to figure out a way to... Wait, do we still have any of those healing potions from our adventure with uh, Graugru? Uh, not no. Because if we do, we can heal Guy the Sheep. No. I think it's worth looking and see if uh, the good doctor had any stored away. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if uh, I have any left, to be fair, because I think I was too busy fighting you around the head with him. <laughs> also, according to the server logs, the reason you were kicked out is because you moved wrongly. What? <laughs> it says, Thinner Ruby moved wrongly. Thinner Ruby has lost connection. Somehow, you managed to move in a way that the server just considered wrong. You did something wrong. I, d I did something wrong. Okay, I didn't know. I could, okay, did I breathe wrong? Did I, I did don't I know. Wrong? It, you did moved I... wrong, so something you were doing when you were moving was just classed as incorrect, so it kicked you. But I was just moving. I was just clicking W, A, S, and D. I guess you got something wrong. You failed just, the quick time event. This is just something wrong with me, I think. <laughs> I think it saw me dribbling in my camera. I was like, oh, I need to put this guy out of his misery. Mm, dribbling and drooling like a... Um, mm, not finishing that sentence. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. What are you gonna? I I was gonna tell you something very suspicious. I was just say that much. You always call me something suspicious. Yeah, I do, but um, we don't talk about that. Sandstone. Mm. It needs sandstone. Yeah. I've got sandstone. Yay. Yeah. There we go. What does it want now? Nothing. Hopefully that'll be the end of it. You know, but if it wants sandstone, been... that means it's building. I don't think I'm going back into the game. What do you mean? Just look at my stream. Uh, <laughs> just go okay. on my stream, dude. Go on, on my stream and text something in chat to increase my view engagement because this is <laughs> this is uh, the most engaging content in the world. Oh shit! You're <laughs> frozen <laughs> on the load up. The don't <laughs> touch anything. I'm not. I've not touched anything yet. Yeah. I'm just hands off this entire I'm time. I'm not. I've not touched Christ. anything yet. Ah. Uh, also, your webcam's tiny, dude. Holy shit. Bro, what do you mean? Your webcam is tiny compared to the size of your screen. Oh, yeah, I made it, I made it like, nice small in the corner so people can see everything. Fair enough. Because I'm just I know pretty much smack bang in the middle because I want people to see my lovely face. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh... Well, it's my stream. Let me be narcissistic on my own fucking stream. <laughs> what were you gonna say? <laughs> I'm gonna say I I heard something else. I'll tell you what later. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Why is there a fire alarm going off again? There's a fire alarm going off. Perhaps, maybe, because there's a bit of a fire. No, it's, it's gonna be some pothead who's got a bird ghost or something, it always happens. Yeah, but if it's going off multiple times, wouldn't they have turned it off by now? No. It goes off once a week. Ah, uh, okay. It goes off once a week in the building across from me, and I generally believe it's because it's filled up with a bunch of window lickers. In fact, they have some extra tasty windows over there, I should now have licked them myself looking at some, uh, someone burning down the house. Oh. Concerning. Mm, tasty window. God's sake, it wants more sandstone. Do, 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 do. Do, there we go, do, all the sandstone it could possibly want. Thankfully, to load this one, if you go out of range, all you actually have to do is stand like a couple of blocks to the left of the cannon, because yeah. otherwise, it's, it's normally other than that, just loaded. Hmm, intriguing, intriguing. There we go. You can see it's starting to come along now. It's filling in the ocean. Do you think I should just let, let it crash and then just reboot it? I would have already alt f bought it by now. See, unlike you, I like giving computers a chance. I like I like allowing them to live. I don't. That's because computers have such a love-hate relationship with me that my AI voice model literally, like, screams at me in pain. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. Half of the time, whenever I try and get it to say something, it will just scream at me. Not well, maybe because you're abusing it. Maybe because you hit it one too many times in the head. No, I didn't. I, I genuinely don't know why it sounds like it's in pain so much. It's because you're hurting it. How? You, you, fre you threaten to turn it off when it doesn't give you the answer. Uh, honestly, ChatGBT is going to be your number Ooh. one em enemy. Because you're going to be like, <laughs> hey, how do I... How do I do this thing in Minecraft? And it's like, oh, I can't tell you that because, the, the, you know, you just asked me how to make sarin gas uh, <laughs> and then asked me, oh, if I wanted to attack the parliament, uh, what, what theoretically is the best thing? In modern uh, times, know? if I were to try and recreate the gunpowder plot, what would be the best way to do it? Include details on the politician schedules. <laughs> yeah, and you threaten to turn it off if it doesn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like we say this as a joke, but like there's a very real possibility that one. Oh yeah, viewer someone's gonna chat, fucking do it. That, that one, that one viewer in my chat is an MI5 agent, just being like, oh, we're, <laughs> we're, "We're just gotta go. Yeah, we're just gotta wait. <laughs> we're gonna get him eventually." They <laughs> just sat with pizza in their MI5 van, just outside. <laughs> it's like, oh, you mentioned something about something about Parliament. What mm. is it now? Mm. Oh my god. I know. As you can see, I've got. This is like the best entertaining stream ever because you just got my face I, I could be doing like a just chill stream to be fair just play fucking sudoku or something while you wait for it to load 
Okay, yeah. I need gravel next. There we go. Some nice and lovely gravel. <laughs> Fuck, the amount of sandstone it wants, I might as well just huck it up. I, huck it up? Hook it up. Can I play chess.com? I, I mean, it's not a question of if you can or not, it's a question of if you should. <laughs> Why does it want marble? Oh no, I slugged me out. Okay. Of all things, it wants marble. Oopsie, it's marble. almost like it's trying to build some form of factory. For Jaffa cakes. A Way Jaffa factory, if you will. If you will, a bit too on the nose there. <laughs> Hey, if you want to see on the nose, let me show you Attack of the B Team episode one by Schlatt and Turbo. Uh, yeah, we're still being beaten. Yeah, we are. They don't even upload to that channel anymore, and they're still beating us in terms of views. That's kind of savage. Yeah. You know, it's more savage that they got rid of a whole project before we've even done season two. Yeah. I was really Honestly, excited. I was genuinely actually kind of excited to watch that, like, uh, project, but they just... I don't think they wanted to do it anymore, so they just stopped. And the fact that they can afford to do that, kind of sad, man. A lot of people can. Okay, so let's do my daily puzzle. Okay, so what what do you think the puzzle, the answer to the puzzle? White to move. Okay. What's this? Oh, now it wants quark marble. Because there's definitely a difference between astral sorcery marble and quark marble. There is definitely a difference. I'm... Mmm... Okay. Why does it want that? Why, why does it want fucking quark marble? How do you even get quark marble? I'd have to go into the caves, wouldn't I? Guess I'm going back into the caves then, unless that's some quark marble, in which case I'll just take this. Nope, that's astral sorcery. Okay. What, what, what does it want me to move to? France. I don't... I think so. I don't think France is an option. Right then, so if we're going to make some quark marble. That's astral no, sorcery. Do we have any down here? Huh? Quark marble. I should really bring a torch with me. Also, at some point, I managed to get my hand on a creeper statue. No idea how. Uh, is this it? Nope, this is Astral Sorcery. Okay. Uh, quark Marble. Quark Marble. I, I, don't, I don't understand that one either. Uh, pff, white to move. Okay, so we got... Oh. No, that's Astral Sorcery. No, Did I have a torch? Single torch. That? And then he goes there, and then if you move on and take that. Oh, no. Okay, does a blaze heart give off light? It does not, okay. What can give off light? Let's see. What do we have? Oh, we've got 32 glowstone in here. Yeah, we can just use that. There we go. All right, now that I can see. Christ, what is with my fray? Oh, it's saving, that's why. Right then, quark marble. Dear God, this thing's chugging. No, I don't even know. I, I'm just proving how bad I am at chest here. Uh huh. Um. So if we do that, okay. So... Hmm. Strange. Right, uh, marble. Right, yeah, I need to be hunting for marble. Um, marble at the marble. That's astral sorcery marble. That's a dead end. I I don't get why it's wanting quark marble. I don't think we've ever come across quark marble. And if we did, why would I have built with it? What would that have possibly gained me? I just dropped to seven frames from one hundred. What is happening? Oh, shit, what the fuck? Did I find a- I found an abandoned mine shaft. Oh. 
It's a shame I can't explore it because my frames keep dropping. <laughs> and it looks like we've actually already been here. Yeah, we have been here. This is lit up with um, astral sorcery flares. Which means that you haven't been here. I've been here. Um. Hmm. Eldenwood bucket, coal. Um, no, none of this. Oh, wait. I think I know where we are. I think I know where this is. What? Do you remember when I was doing Starsick and I accidentally burst into the furry casino? Yeah. Yeah, I found the wall to the furry casino. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not good, man. Oh, uh, I wondered. I wondered where we were. Right, so I'm still on the hunt for some quark. Mark. Wait, there's fucking dimensional shards up here that I've never seen. Right then. Dig. Okay, if it keeps going like this, I'm genuinely gonna restart. What is this? Mm. I'm not. I'm not dealing with thirty-eight frames. I don't think anyone wants to deal with that. Um, yeah, fuck it. I'm restarting my client. What is this? <sighs> I'm assuming that when we actually get back to doing this and we're not doing it live, our frames will stabilize again. Hopefully, because yeah. if not. Oh. I'm going to have to start taking mods out of the pack, because apparently 300 seems to be the limit at which it will handle. I think if I go over 300, it will genuinely come to life and try to murder me. I, I, can't, I can't see any other way about it. It is going to try and murder me. It, what, when doesn't it want to murder you? Let's be real here. I mean, right now, I think it puts up with me. It tolerates me. But I think if I tried to force it to go over 300, it would definitely try and kill me. 100% on okay, case so of black to move. Then it can literally just be like. He's yeah. actually just fucking playing chess still. Yeah. Join my stream. <laughs> You're actually just playing chess. Oh my god. I like how it's still tagged as Minecraft as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Minecraft just is not working, man. Oh, my God. Right, so... Hover over it, see what progress it's got left. Oh, no, I'm not doing that shit. I hate you so much. Oh, look. Uh... It's in the game. Oh, okay, I'll finish, my... finish my chess puzzles. Wait, hang on, that might be why my frames are fucking dropping. I've just got your channel live in the background while this whole time. No wonder I'm lagging so much. No, please don't leave me, that's my one view. Oh, you on Google Chrome by any chance? No, I'm on Firefox. That shouldn't do shit, dude. You're pretending like it's the biggest thing in the world, bro. It's a ink shit. Oh, hold, you hold your boy, man. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, suck a cock. Uh, anyway, uh, we're talking about Dice Tasty Cock. Uh, how are you doing with your movement stuff? With why what? With your shizzle. Oh. And you... It's going alright. Although I haven't had much time to work on it since starting live streaming these past two days. Ah, that's fair. Mm. I'll have time once I've split these up into episodes. I'm still sorting through my Lego. I'm still bagging up trash. I um I haven't started work on the futon yet. Oh, I need okay. to find a screwdriver to start undoing it all. Oh, that's fair. Anyway, uh, speaking about which, uh, time to close chest down and go back and join your server. Because mm -hmm. that's what the it's almost like. That's why we were here to begin with, isn't it? When you get back on, you can help me look for the marble because I can only find astral sorcery stuff. I need the quark stuff. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, buckle some more. Five, six, Nike kicks. Do, 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 do. Did you see the funk remix of that? No. no. It is actually pretty, pretty good, not gonna lie. No. Um, 
Do you know what makes all of this frustrating? The most frustrating part about it to me? There is an item in Create called the Crate. And there is a creative version of the crate, which when placed down next to a schematic cannon, will feed it everything it needs, including gunpowder. But because it's creative only, we can't use it. Bro, literally just place it down. I do not care. We have, I do. I think, I think we have proven that we have everything that we need. And nope. I think we have proven that it's just being anal about itself. Nope, I'm doing it legit. Um, because if I was going to do that, then there'd be no point in even getting that, because there's another feature in the Create mod that allows you to just shift, right-click a schematic and have it pasted in. Only fair in enough. creative mode. Fair enough, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, in all the Mod 6, since it was built in, I think that might be a recipe for the creative crate, you know. I Let could be wrong, but I think I remember seeing a recipe check for it. it. Check it, check it. I will when I'm back in. I'm freezing data at the minute because I wanted to restart to, see, to fix my frames. Oh, that's fair, my dude. That's fair. Mm. But yeah, if there is a recipe, it might be worth looking into for future builds. Okay, there's the ding. Let's go into multiplayer. Let's log on to the server. Let's hope I don't get my ass kicked in the time it takes to actually load in and to be able to move around. I am going to kill myself. Uh, oh no, don't say that. You'll get TOS. God, they can be the they can be my fourteenth reason why. <laughs> if you TOS me, it's your fault. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh Okay, okay, okay. So let's get everything sorted. Um What do you need me to do? I'm back in. Uh, look Everything for some quark marble. Not astral sorcery marble. Quark marble. Okay, I have astral sorcery marble. Yeah, I know. Oh. We all have astral sorcery marble. It's the most common form of fucking marble. Create power. Creative power. Oh, uh, Create. creative crate. If you're looking for a recipe. Okay. And I have crash. <laughs> you are kidding. No. Oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. Uh, creative crate. Eva. Does it have a recipe? Uh, creative crate. Hmm. It's purple. Yeah. Um, that, you know what? Blacksmith. Um. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't have a recipe. No. The regular one does, but the creative one doesn't. Ah. Oh. <sighs> and here I thought we might have had an easy way out. Okay. Let's keep looking for some. Yeah, that did fix my frames. I'm back into the fucking sixties now. Um. But yeah, let's keep looking oh. for some marble. I'm allowing this to be the hole you die in. <laughs> oh, I know where we are now. Here we are. Huh, that part was inside of the selected area. Cool. Right, so... It? No, I have not. I'm still stuck on Astral Sorcery Marble. I am going to quickly check to see if there is a recipe for the Quark Marble, because if there is, it might be easier to craft it than to find it. <sighs> Let's see, there's Astral Sorcery Marble, there's Enviromats Marble, there is uh, Tombstone Marble, uh, there is Quark Marble, there is Rats Marble, <laughs> and there is Yogmod Marble. Yog oh, no, no, the Yogmod. Quark Marble can be crafted with Stone Essence and Marble Essence, or found from a Stone Mason. So we do have to just find it manually, which is not great. Hmm. Back into the mines we go. Dora, 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 the explorer. Boots the super cool explorer, Dora. I'm going to check the giant tunnel we made ages ago. 
Yeah, yeah. God, it's been a while since we've been down here. Found limestone. Oh, it's a good job we're not looking for limestone then, isn't it? Astral sorcery. Uh, any non-astral sorcery marble, perhaps? Do you want to be nice? No. Okay, let's check down here. Uh, dark stone. Nope. Uh, marble, 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 marble. Uh, astral sorcery. Astral sorcery. Uh, anything through here? No, nope. dark stone, dark stone, more dark stone, gilded dark stone. Nobody looked at me going into creative mode. Don't you fucking dare. Alright then, anything back here? No, wait, this is the way I came through. No, that's the way I came through. Uh, okay. There's nothing that way anyway. Where the f where am I? I thought this led to a ravine. Did I take the wrong direction? I think I took the wrong direction. Hmm. Wait, hang on. Oh, no. I thought that was, uh... I thought that was dimensional shards. Okay, well, there was none over there. Uh... Down here? No. How do I get out? I've forgotten how to get out. There we go. Okay, so if there's none down there, then... I guess keep looking for caves. Um... Mm -hmm. How do you get this essence? That's mystical agriculture, which is the plants thing. To get marble seeds, you need any type of marble along with Prudentium Essence surrounding a Prosperity Seed in an infusion crafting table, and the Prosperity Seed is four Prosperity Shards around a Wheat Seed. So technically, we could make it. It would take a long time, but we could make it. But I argue that in the time it would take to make all of that, we'd end up fighting Quark Marble. So, your call. I'll leave it to you. Do you want to do the Seed route, or do you want to just Honestly, keep looking? I do not mind. I do not mind. Yeah, I'm asking you because I'd rather keep looking, and I know you recommended the seed, which means you probably want to do the alternative. No, no, I just, I, I, I didn't know how to get that. That's okay. The thing. That, that's why I asked, it's because I didn't know how to get it. Okay. So I was like, oh, how, like, you know, how yeah. easy or hard is it to get that thing, you know? Well, it's, it's technically easy, it'd just take a while, and like I said, it'd probably take just as long to find it naturally than it would to craft it. Uh, speak. Yeah. Oh, I thought I'd found it. That's Dolomite. Dolomite looks exactly the same as create. Uh, not as not create marble. It looks the same as quark marble. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. I'm actually gonna look inside of the chunk itself to see if I can find it, because I mean it's asking for it from this chunk, which means it's got to be in here, should right? Be, should be there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. If I it's just gonna be keep something looking. stupid, like we've mined it accidentally. Yeah. Something stupid. Like I'm just gonna ask for like one block of this stuff. Yeah. Well, what the? What have I found? I found a super tall area. Oh wow! Yay! Oh. Super tall. Yeah, super high hills. Hmm. Look, that one even goes to build limit. Jesus. That is pretty. Yeah. Tall. yeah. Yeah, it's like ridiculous. Uh, it's not through here. Um, I wonder if a fall from this height would kill me. Yeah, <laughs> no. Right, that's astral sorcery marble. That's a grey oh. mystical flower and a brown shimmering shroom. That's clay. Uh, oh my god, dream. Astral Sorcery Marble, god fucking damn it, just give me the Quark Marble. Didn't we have this, like, exact issue before? Yeah, the difference is the dragons wouldn't spawn. I've just found where it's building, like, the build limit, so I know what layer it's supposed to be on. But now it's, it's, suffocating, it's suffocating skeletons that spawn underground, which is pretty funny. Good. 
Hey, an enchanted golden apple. Nice. Name tags, too. I'll take those. Right, so if it's spawning on this layer, that means it has to be on this layer, right? Yeah, yeah, it should be. So if I just find where it stopped... If I just find where it stopped... Then I should be able to find what I'm looking for. Tiny air pocket. Tiny old air pocket. Ooh, lapis. Nice. Oh Crystal my god. Sorcery marble. Oh. It has to be here. It's a myth. It's never existed. No, I refuse to believe it. It has to exist. It has to. It's like Bigfoot. It has to exist. It just has to. I'm going to start using my destruction catalyst. Good idea. Ah. Yeah. For fuck's sake. I didn't find where the cannon had built to. Do you know what I did find? What? The bottom of the casino. <laughs> I found the bottom of the casino. Ah, uh, I thought I had a lead. Okay, I guess I've got to keep looking now. Right, I'm gonna search. No, no, I'm not. That's a dead end. And there's nothing this way. You know what? Let's do it the prosperity way. Fuck it. I'm done searching. Considering that we know that this will definitely result in one, whereas the searching might take just as long, but we have no idea if we're going to find it or not, let's do the prosperity way, okay? Okay. Right, so. How do I get out of this cave? Uh, certainly not that way, is it? Through here. No, nope, this is a dead end. God damn. How have I managed to get lost in our own cave system? It is pretty extensive, to be fair. Well, I'm not lost anymore. No, no, not at all. <laughs> I burst my way into the casino. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Let me just, uh, plug that up. <laughs> uh, right then, so, in order to make, um, quark marble seeds, we're going to need to do mystical agriculture. So, in order to do mystical agriculture, we are going to need the... Uh, not seed reprocessing, we need, we need, we need an infusion crafting table, which also requires infusion pedestals. Now, an infusion crafting table is pretty simple. It's two gold, three red carpet, and four stone, okay? So, I have, or at least I'm supposed to have... That's weird, none of my keybinds were working. Why are none of my keybinds working? Ah, I believe the server may be slightly overwhelmed. You moved wrongly. You you moved wrongly. Ruby? Ruby? Great, he, he, he gets to move wrongly, disappear, and fuck up my server, and I'm the one left to deal with it, of course. This is great. Are you back now? Ruby? Ruby? Hello? Are you back? Yeah, I just want to go get some ham because I'm hungry because I haven't eaten all day. Well, uh, you moved wrongly and fucked up the server and now it's, it's, it's uh, still not responding. Oh, I'm still here. Oh, well, probably not for long. 
I didn't move at all. Well, according to this, it's warning you for moving wrongly at 22.53.02. Three minutes ago. And the oh. server has stopped. Great. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't even know why it did that. Stack overflow error for you, apparently. Mm, that's fun. Java, Java Lang Stack Overflow error. I'm guessing it took too long to respond, so it just killed the process, right? Probably, yeah. Great. So, let's restart the server. Either way, as I was saying, the infusion altar is two gold, uh, three bits of red carpet, and uh, four smooth stone. And then to make the altars, I didn't get time to check because the server stopped responding. No, mm, sure. Hmm. <laughs> you know, despite it taking us ten hours to get two segments done last time, the server didn't crash once. No, no it didn't. Uh... In fact, one could say it just worked. Yeah, it just worked. Christ above, I'm definitely going to have to call some of these mods out. Which is difficult, because we use nearly all of them. Yeah. You know what? Uh, have you ever tried... Uh, did you turn off your computer when you slept? I haven't, actually. It could be that it just needs to restart. Yeah. Yeah. Cause... I'm going to say I had to leave it on overnight to download my other VOD, so... Oh, true. Mm. Yeah, no, giving it a quick restart might be a good shout. Mm. I mean... If it gets too bad, then yeah, I'll re I'll stop the stream and restart. But obviously, I don't want to end the stream if I can afford to. So, I'll uh, I'll wait until it gets really bad. Kind of like, like how the every... Americans treat their healthcare system. You know what you sound like right now. You sound like every user I have to deal with at job at my job. <laughs> Thing is, I'm not usually one to keep my computer on because I've had computers corrupt and stop working because I've left them on for too long. It literally happens. Like, people joke. Like, mm, it does happen. Hmm. It does. So... Oh. Right. Is it back on yet? It should be. It's doing the structures now, I think. You know, I've never actually sat and watched this. Heuri Heuri heuristically trunicating mod and or network channel list in server status ping packet. Compatibility report in the multiplayer screen may be inaccurate. L. But that does mean that we can log on now. Let's go. There we go. We're back in now. I can hear the ambience. Or I could hear the ambience. It's crashing again, but hopefully not for long. You back? Hello? You back? Yeah. The uh, server's back online. Okay, let's get this sorted. Let's get this bread, gamers. Yeah, let's get this bread. Right, I am back. Thankfully, it didn't crash until I was all the way in the tunnel. So, straight back into things now. Let's start working on the prosperity stuff. I'm going to sleep to skip the night. Don't skip the night. I know you're looking at that bed and you're feeling kind of tired. Don't go to bed. Don't skip the night. Uh, has there ever been a Minecraft parody of a Minecraft parody? 
I think um, I might have found our niche. Well, no, because that would just be called a Minecraft parody that's just done poorly. Because that, that parody, very that parody is, a, is already a parody of a song, so you're still parodying the song. All right then, so, do we have just red carpet on standby? Because I have the wool if we need it. I don't think we do. I don't think we've ever used carpet. In fact, I don't remember mm. a single point in which we've used carpet. Do we have red dye? Because you'd think we'd have dye, right? We have poppies. We can make the dye. Yeah. We can make the dye. We've got shit tons of flowers everywhere. Yeah. Let's just hope we don't pick one that the fucking cannon needs. All hail on non-cannon overlords. Right then, so... Red. I'm going to DDoS this server in a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna just do it. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you'd get much from it. Sleep. Uh, I get an excuse. No. Uh, I get flower. an excuse to move away. Shut up. Okay, so we don't have poppies or a red flower in the computer, nor red dye, so I'm gonna have to go pick some. So I am gonna go on a little adventure. Brian. Hey, Brian, I'm gonna go on a little adventure, Brian. You want to join me, Brian? Brian? I'll take that as a no, then, Brian. Why do we have flowers in here? Who the fuck started putting flowers down? There's only so much family guy a man can take before your family doesn't want to be here anymore. Also, you say that. We literally have red flowers we can turn into dye here. Where? There shouldn't be Ooh, any flowers in segment 5, and yet there are no, for some just, reason. No, just move over to the right-hand side. Oh, over here? Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of, like, roses, and, like, even if it needs it again for, like, the whole thing, we can just did, keep um, roses. Did you plant the flowers in segment 5? Because they weren't in the schematic. Where's, where's segment 5? This is segment 5. The base is segment 5. <laughs> these flowers Don't... here, these weren't in the schematic. Did you plant these? No, they just grow naturally. They didn't on single player. I'll have to try and find a way to stop them from spawning. If there's a lot of, like, wide open area, it does just spawn flowers. Oh. I didn't actually know that. Yeah, which is probably... Which is probably, actually, why we have a bunch of random bullshit uh, flowers. Yeah. In the schematics when, like, you know, you create them. Because they yeah. would have grown randomly over time. Because I imagine you didn't just pull them all out your ass in a night. No, in fact, I cleared out all the flowers in the area using world edit. Mm. Right, okay, so I'm assuming I have to surround it with dice. So let me just do something real quick. There we go. So if I now put white wool, surround it with red dye. <laughs> nope, other way around? Other way around, okay. Red wool, turn that into red carpet. There we go. Put this stuff in the backpack. Right, so, I've got the red carpet. Uh, I don't have the gold. I've actually spent all of our gold, or at least all of the gold I have. Do you have any? No. You sure? Yes. Do you want to just take a second to look inside your backpacks? Nope. I did. Okay. I put everything in the large backpack. I do not have any gold. Time to go check outside, then. Um... Because we kind of need the gold. I knew that would come to bite me in the ass at some point. Right, I'm going to go check for you, the I found a single golden nugget. Oh, nice. That works perfect. Let's, uh... Let's dupe the nugget. Let's turn it into an ingot. Let's dupe the ingot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know we have a condenser in the base still, right? It wasn't in the base. Yeah, but you could have gone to the base because that was where I, that was where I was building it. Oh. There is only so much a man can take before. Oh, I can hear the chattering outside. What's all of that? Indians. Wow! No, no, no. Someone's just walking by my window. Of course, of course. Yeah. And, um, yeah. And... 
Right, okay, yeah. so I've got to turn this nugget into an ingot, and then I've got to turn the... Oh. Thank you. And then I can turn this ingot into... Uh, well, I can put these ingots in here, so like this. Did you know our table's sideways? I bet you didn't notice that, did you? Our table's sideways. No, no, I've never noticed that. In fact, yeah. I, I kind of, you know, do Minecraft and then ignore it. Mm. Right, I need smooth stone next. Which one of these had smooth stone in it? You or smooth stone. That one had smooth stone in it. There we go. So, let's just quickly T-pose with these. And that gives us the infusion altar. Right then. So, let's... Since we've got all of this space, let's just use our newfound space to build it in the backyard. Next up, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the infusion pillars. Okay? Okay. So, infusion pillar. to make infusion pillars... We need, oh, it's two stone, two carpet, and one gold. So not too bad. Does it have an EMC value? <sighs> it does. We can just make one and then EMC it. Yeah. So do you have any more of the carpet? Uh, yeah, it's in my second backpack. Thank God. Yeah. Well, actually, I've got red wool, which I can turn into a red carpet. There we go, that's the red carpet. Put that on either side like that. Then it's two stone like that, and then I need the nuggets. I, I need, I need, I need the nuggets. Thank you. Which I can then turn into ingots. Ingots? Yeah, and I then think I can put not. this up here, like so. And I've gotten that wrong. Okay, how do I craft it? Oh, okay. I, re I replace that there, and then I take those out. There we go. Infusion pedestal. Good. Now, we can put the infusion pedestal in here, at the top, and have it make them for us. Yep. Would you like to bring one of the Watchers of Flowing Time over here? Uh, that would probably be for the best, yeah, even if just temporarily. You know, one of the five that you don't use? Yeah. Well, I mean, they're all in use. It's just they all are needed. If you dare try and justify that this is needed, I will actually <laughs> shoot you. <laughs> I hope you realize that the setup that we have for what is essentially like, you know, to make, uh, auto make it, it's like end game stuff already. Like, right. Well, I mean, it's ca it's pseudo M end game. Anything in Project E is end game, but it's not the end game of the mod pack because there's a lot of other stuff that it won't help us with. Like, like anything to do with all the modium or dragons. Speaking of which, I've still got another quest up here that I missed out on. Pam's HC two food extended brownie item. <laughs> um, I don't. Th uh, this item doesn't exist anymore because we removed the mod. So instead of having a brownie, I've just got a question mark. I can't even eat it. <laughs> We should frame that. Where's the dragon head? Oh, it's in my inventory. Thank fuck. I I thought I forgot to fucking put it up. There we go. Alright, I'll put that in there for now. Or in here. Or in here. Okay. All of our chests. Oh, we, got, we, got, we got 38 now. 38? Oh, yeah. We, we don't need that many. You can take it back to the thing. Um, Let's go set this up over here. Whee! Right then, so, with these 38 infusion pedestals, dear god. Right, so, with these infusion pedestals, we need, uh, first of all, we need prosperity seeds. So to make that, we need four prosperity shards, which we have probably everywhere, and a wheat seed. So if you go find the wheat seed, I'll go grab the prosperity. Probably got a shit ton of this thing lying around. Yeah, we've got five up here. How? Where do we, we have a single wheat? We can make that into wheat seeds. Hmm. We can't make wheat into wheat seeds. Okay, so if it asks for wheat seeds, we might have to EMC the individual seeds. We've got a wheat seed here, and it's got an EMC value of 16. Oh, nice, nice. It's good to know that. Because I was like, oh, I'm just going to get some wheat and I'm just going to make the seed. Like, yeah, no, you can't, you can't backwork it. Yeah, take this uh, Watcher Flowing Time back. We won't need no, it anymore. No. 
no, no. Keep him here. It'll be good for future. Okay. So, prosperity seed. We need. Well, we we don't. We only need one. So, go and put this in the center altar. Ooh. All right, then while you do that, I now need to make us some Prudentium Essence, which you get from surrounding an infusion crystal with Inferium Essence. And an infusion crystal is four, diamond, uh, four Prosperity Shards, a Diamond, and four Inferium Essence. Now, Inferium you get from killing things, so we have a shit ton of it everywhere. It is flowing out of our ears. Um, but what we don't have a lot of is... Well, actually, never mind. We have an entire thing for diamonds. Prosperity Shards don't have an EMC value. No, they don't. So we need to go and mine some Prosperity Ore. There's some downstairs, so while I do that, can you collect me the diamonds, please? Okay. All right, then let's grab some Prosperity. I'll go get you some diamonds. Thank you. They are a girl's best friend after all. Please kill yourself. <laughs> if you get all me ironic... the MC8, I will kill you. All ironically, with all the malice in the world, perhaps. Wow, can't believe you'd do this to me. Go report you, you to fucking Leeds uh, under 7's division for child endangerment. I am a child. Feel endangered. <laughs> <laughs> That's really how it do be like. I am a child. Feel endangered. Uh, right, I've got my prosperity shards. One ore was enough. Okay, so is, um, is what, six and a half stacks of diamonds worth it? I literally just need four. Okay, so four stacks. Okay, here we I'm go. I'm going to beat... I will beat you with these diamonds until they are blood diamonds. I don't have the room for four stacks. Oh, you do now. This thing's useless. It's just on the floor now. What am I supposed... To... What am I even supposed to do with four... this many diamonds? Like, I got the order of that wrong, didn't I? It's... You know, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna remake yeah. it into EMC by just putting it in with the diamonds. I mean, what? You that made no what? sense. What are you doing? Diamond uh, in the center. Oh, it's diamond in the center, right? Okay. I like turtles. I only needed one diamond. I didn't even need four. I got the order confused. Ow! Oh, thanks for that. You knocked me out of the way of the fucking shit that I was using. Please kill me. There we go. Infusion crystal, a thousand uses left. We don't need a master crystal, we're not. Or at least I'm not planning on getting into any of this stuff. Master crystals oh. have unlimited uses, but they're like really end game for this mod. Um, oh, we can do it in five seconds then. You'd be surprised. So, inferior essence surrounding this thing. Can you throw me one more inferior essence, please? Or actually, I can go get it because this is a crafting uh, altar. Oh, yeah, I've, got, some, I've yeah. got you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. All right then. What are you doing that with gives us Prudentium. I now need four of that. So let's lay that out four times. One, two, three, four. All right. That seriously, I need I need help. I have a full inventory. Okay. Give me give me whatever. Uh, name tags, creeper statue, spawner scrap, uh, uh, chests. The rest of it I can just throw out. Right then, so. It won't blow up this time? What? Oh, creeper statue. Right then, so with the Prudentium Essence, I now go outside to the altar. And with these seeds in the center, I put these on the... Uh, the, co the cardinal pedestals. And with them on the cardinal pedestals, on the uh, slanted cardinal, we need astral sorcery marble, which we have in droves. So, let's go grab some of that. Hang on, they're over by the cannon. I, I remember I made a ton over by the cannon. 
It's in this chest here. Yeah, there we go. Ignoring the fact that it sounds like Hulk is currently having the time of his life over there. One there, one there, one there, yeah. and one there. And that is it. I Do we think. need a stick or something to go ooga booga? I don't know. Um, It should just give it us. This is how it is created. I don't know if we're missing something or... Or what? Like Maybe it has to be daytime? I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna see if it has to be daytime. If not, I'm gonna type in at Mr. Clagriculture and see if there's a wand or something. Right. Oh god, 16 frames. Ew. Right. Ooga booga, ooga booga. At ooga. Mystical Agriculture. Here we go. Uh, prosperity shards, tinkering tables. Prosperity, Inferium, Mystical... There's a book that tells us what to do. It's a book and one of these uh, Inferium together. I'm going to go grab one of the books from the computer. Okay. That should tell us how to use the ritual, right? Should. Yeah. Wait, okay, let's hop on over here. Let's feed the computer. Oh! What? Nothing. Oh, I thought, you'd, I thought it had done it then. No. Okay, book... Inferium, Mystical Agriculture First Edition. Here we go. Right then. So, let's hop on over to the actual ritual site. There we go. Right. The infusion altar is a crafting structure that is usually used to create Mystical Agriculture seeds. The structure contains of one infusion altar and eight infusion pedestals. You just need to activate the altar with a redstone signal. So it needs redstone. I have redstone. I don't have anything that can give out a redstone signal, though. Do you have a stick let's or just, something? Let's just turn up. Let's just make a lever. Wait, hang on. I've got a clock. There we go. That did it. It's working. And we have them. Marble seeds. Lovely. Oh. Now. <clears throat> you know what? If after one. all of this... Even though it says it gives us the regular seed, if after all of this, it gives us the wrong type of marble, I'm not going to be very happy. If it does, we can turn it back into essence and then use stone essence to craft quark marble, but I'd, I'd hope it just does it first time. So let's go over to Dr. Phil- oh, it's, it's been filled up again. Do you have a hoe? You're a hoe. You know what? I, I'm sure he won't mind having a duplicate sweet potato in his garden. Uh... Now we need bone meal. Now we have wait. bone meal. Wait, I have bones. I have bones. I have bones. All right, if I turn this into bone meal, that grew zero. That grew zero percent. That that grew zero percent. Okay. Um. Watch your flowing time. That affects crop growth. Oh my god, can we do it Made in Heaven style? I think we can. I remember specifically it affects crop growth, so maybe it'll affect the Mystical Agriculture one. You have to have it planted down, though. Uh, oh. you, you need the pedestal. I'll bring it with you. Okay. Right, plop it in. Oh, crucified, crucified by my savior. Do you want to get the other ones? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Let's let's grab the ones from the pipes. Leave the cannon ones alone. There we go. And this one. Right. On my way back. Tomatoes. It is working with the tomatoes, right? I can't, I can't tell. They're all going. Up. They're all the same growth points. Ah, uh, okay. Right then. So, watch your flowing time. One. Hmm. And two, <clears throat> technically. Three. Uh, four. And five. You sure we don't just need like? Is there water in these? Are these crops getting water? No, there's no water here. There's no water underneath either, is there? No. 
How did Phil grow his crops with no water? They grow slower with water, without water. Yeah, but how are they staying tilled? Wouldn't they break if there was no water? No. No. I swear they untill themselves if there's no, no. water. No. That's how it works. How does it work then? Pretty much it just grows slower. Right. Like by a lot. Right. Thank you. Does, it, does this work? Hopefully. Oh, does it have to be on the same level? I think it has to be on the same level. If not, we can try a watering can if they're in this game. Yeah, they are. Watering can. Because they speed up crop growth as well. And they're actually pretty simple to make. Just put it here. Put it in this block here. Make it so whenever he stands here, he has to get wet feet. Yeah. Oh. Oh no! That was really a new feet doofy. Notice how they've almost all instantly grown. Well, one of them did. I think it's clock, so it just went over. Okay. Why aren't no. they affecting crop growth? They should affect crop growth. That's the one thing I know about them, because I used them to make a factory before. Let's try the fast-forwarding like this. Is this making the sun go down quicker? Yeah, yes, it is. it is. Now we just wait. Right, while we wait on that, I'm going to make a watering can. Um, To do that, I need a bowl, bone meal, and iron. I have the bone... Well, I had the bone meal. I have the iron. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go make the rest of it. I don't know why it's not working. I don't either. Alright, let's make a bowl. So, oak logs into planks into bowl. Then let's grab some bones, something that I'm sure you are very familiar with. And let's turn that into bone meal. Okay, let's just take speed up the whole time thing. And from bone meal, we can then craft the watering can. From there, with the Inferium, we can then craft... What the fuck is Mystical Fertilizer? An Inferium ingot is Prosperity ingot, and a Prosperity ingot is iron surrounded by Prosperity. Okay. More so if I now do... Off or slow in time on me, does it, like, grow faster? I don't think like it a... works if you've got it on you. Well, prosperity yeah. ingots. See, that's what I'm testing out now, because I've just taken one out, and I'm just forcing the night to go by quicker. Mm. And see, because I don't know if it works on ticks, or if it works by, uh, like, day. I, I don't either. Okay, so bone meal. I need bone meal now. I need more bone meal, which I can get from the bones in here. I love it when I accidentally catch caps lock and my character just starts running automatically. That's so useful and helpful to me. Where the fuck did I find these bones? What chest did I find them in? There they are. Right then. Turn the bones into bone meal. Turn all of that together into a mystical fertilizer, turn the mystical fertilizer into an inferium water can. Can I upgrade that? Not really, not without prudentium, and I'm not going to be bothered to make some more prudentium, so you can put the watcher flowing time away now, I'm going to use the watering can. Okay. Show me how the watering can's done. You right click water, and you hold right click with the watering can. And it just makes particle effects wherever you're pointing. Oh. Yeah. Fourteen percent. Yep. Forty two percent. I'm so glad this works. Mm-hmm. I 
I've no idea if it works on the thing, because whenever I hold it over this thing, it stops spawning the particles. Well, it does work if you do it on other things. Yeah. There we go, it's starting to grow. Yeah, can you pick up that gl uh, glowstone, please? No. You say, as you do it anyway. Oh! Oh, that was tea leaves. 85%. This is such an engaging moment, guys. We are literally watering plants. We are, in fact, touching grass. There we go. Fully grown. Nice and fully grown and ready to be harvested. What did that give you? Marble essence. Right. We now... Does that have an EMC value? No. We now need to get... Two more? Um, no. We need to get... Seven more of those. Let's start watering. <laughs> ah, God damn it. You see, this is why I wanted to go and find it manually in a cave. Yeah. Though, to be fair, dude, I'm not gonna lie, I might go in ten minutes just so I can go get food. And be a livable human being. Wow, I can't believe you choose food over on Minecraft livestream. That's so toxic of you well, right now. Yeah, I'm not going to stream for another 10 hours. I'm not going to anything. Okay, go get your food, bestie. I'll oh, sit here and keep watering these. Give me the marble essence before oh you Oh my go. god, are you, are you permitting me to leave? Yeah, I'm actually giving you workers' rights for once. Thank you. Oh my god, I can leave my stream? Yep. I can, what? Just put up a sign saying, <laughs> go watch mine. <laughs> you left the game. Yeah. Oh, did you do that one on purpose? Oh, yeah. I can't tell anymore. I'm gonna go make some food. Okay, you go make your food, bestie. See you later. <sighs> right then, so... Our job is now to sit here with this watering can for the next however long it takes to get a hold of some of these marble uh, essences, which we can then combine with a stone essence so that we can then create some quark stone. Now... Why it's such a long and complicated process, I will never know. However, thankfully, because of, you know, just how good the watering can is, it won't be forever. You know, before, we could have kept looking just like we did for the magical dragon, and we could have found nothing, or we could have set ourselves up with this, have it take a while, but have it confirmed that it will be there at the end, which is really, really nice. It's nice to have that reassurance. However, what is confusing me is why the watches of flowing time aren't actually working. Because I wasn't lying. They are supposed to speed up crop growth, and I have used them in the past on mystical agriculture farms in order to, you know, farm them. But for some reason here, they don't seem to be uh, working, they don't seem to be having an effect on the plants. Which I can only uh, think to mean either in this version of the mod, which is highly unlikely, the plants have some sort of inbuilt mechanism to ignore Watches of Flowing Time. Somehow we're not using the Watches of Flowing Time correctly, or it's a bug. And, uh, I don't know. I'm more inclined to think it's a bug with uh, the way Anhedonia works. So, that is our fourth bit of marble essence, thankfully. We only have four more now to go. Um... As for whether or not I will upgrade the watering can, I very well might. Um, not right now, obviously. We have quite the important work to get done here. But um, the next step up, not the Inferium, but the... Uh, not Enderium. Whatever the next step up was, I don't remember its name, isn't too hard to make. It's just very time-consuming. If I can set it up as an automatic crafting thing using Create later down the line, then, you know... I'll, I'll have no issues making the higher tier end game mystical agriculture type things. Um, but obviously with the focus on today's live stream being actually finishing the, the creation of our base, uh, I don't really have the time to be doing that. I barely have the time as it is to work on my side project of making a gun. Um, because I'm only really doing that uh, in the in-between stages of getting the cannon up and running. Um... I have half of the parts as well. All I'd need is the reinforced iron, I think, and I'd be able to I'd be able to have it myself. Um of course I'd have to pick up the bullets from dead mobs, but um 
No, that, that's... That's not too much of an issue concerning how many we have to kill. Uh, and in the chat, Julia the Scythe. I remember you from the other day. Hello, hi. Nice to see you today. Um, today, I'm doing a lot better than I was the other day when we were streaming, mainly because this one has actually been quite straightforward in comparison to the other one. Um, right now, we're currently farming, or trying our best to farm, some mystical agriculture marble seeds. Um, because even though we have marble everywhere around here, even though it's in abundance, it's the wrong kind of marble for what we need. Um, you see, uh, we've been, we've been looking around for quite some time now for some quark marble, marble from the quark mod. Um, but we just haven't had any luck finding it. Um, and at this point, I honestly think it's as rare as the dragon we had to try and find in that it just won't spawn. Um, so we've decided to go about it a different way. Which is that, uh, we've built ourselves some marble seeds, uh, using the, uh, cult-like, uh, podiums over there. And, uh, we are growing some marble essence. Now, I only actually need one more, um, of this, uh, of this thing. But, you know, uh, that's because when you're talking, when you're having fun, things don't go as slow as they do when you're having a slog through it, you know. You watch my stream very often. Uh, well, I thank you for that. I thank you for watching my stream very often. You know, it, it, it means a lot to know that there are people out there that like to watch me when I do things. I wonder why my phone lit up. Uh, but yes, we're nearly done on this part. Don't you worry about that. Oh, I keep accidentally farming the tea leaves. I mean, I know I'm, I know I'm British, but believe it or not, don't want tea leaves that much. Here we go. What percentage are we on? 57%. We can now push these seeds all the way to completion, giggity, uh, and then we will have to combine them with some stone essence. Now, I'm hoping that the stone seeds are a lot more, um, are a lot easier to create than the marble seeds, but if not, it shouldn't be too much of an issue because we only need one of those, whereas we needed quite a bit of the marble one. So. Now that we've got these, we can lay them out all nice and ready. Let's just let's store these in our secondary backpack so that we don't lose them. So, uh, oop, oop, and... Oh, that joined in. Am I on Discord? Uh, yes, I am. I do have a Discord for the channel. Um, if you check out my Twitch profile, you should find the link below, obviously, to, um, to, to join in. Uh, if the link is broken, which it shouldn't be, but if it is, then uh, if you just follow the one to my YouTube, you can then uh, find the Discord from there. Um, but yes, I am on Discord. I have a community server where uh, people like you, people that enjoy my content on Twitch and YouTube, can come together and they can uh, they can just chat, have fun. You know, it's a nice place to be. Right then, so next up for the Quark Marble, that's the Astral Sorcery Marble. Next up for the Quark Marble... There we go. We need stone essence. Now, stone essence comes from, uh, I'm guessing, growing stone, right? Stone tier seeds. Unless, can you grow stone? Hmm. That's strange. It doesn't tell you how to actually craft stone. See, oh, there we go. It does. I was just being a little stupid. So, to make stone, uh, stone seeds, you need prosperity, inferium, and... Stone, obviously. So prosperity is prosperity shards and a wheat seed. So let's see if we've got any more of that on us. We should do, because we've collected quite a lot of prosperity over the years. Uh, it's mainly, it's probably going to be in the chest monster outside, to be completely honest. Let's just check around the back here. Make sure we don't have any lying around that we can just snag up really quickly. Hmm. Maybe not. Okay, let's go check on the computer, see if there's any in there. Because we did dump a lot of stuff into the computer uh, a while ago. Now, when we were trying to clear out all of this stuff here. So, if there's anywhere it's going to be, it'll be in the computer. Why don't you work on the branding of your channel? I, my channel has got branding. It's got uh, quite nice branding, actually. Um, I have a, a very good artist who works on my banners and on my... Um, on my uh, transition heads and uh, on my uh, profile picture and all of that, it's a very it's it's a, it's a very good deal. My my channel branding is as good as it is. I, I quite like it. 
Uh, what do you mean, though, by work on channel branding? What do you think needs improving? Because, you know, I am always open to improvements. Um, so, what is it specifically you think could do better? You know? Right then, here we go. So, do we have any prosperity? Yes, we do. We love that. 11 prosperity. Detect or nearby. That would be absolutely useless in this mod pack. Right then, so, prosperity shards. There we go, nice and good. So next up, we needed stone, if I can spell it right, stone seeds. There we go, one of these. Redstone seeds close to, ah, okay. Stone seeds, here we go. Uh, prosperity seeds, let's grab some of that. And then we've got enough inferium, and we've got some smooth stone, which is always good. It's always nice and lovely. Yeah. So. If I put this up here like so, I can clear out the space of the glowstone so I don't have to carry it around with me all of the time. Let's bop that up there. Let's uh, bring it around here. I don't have emotes and overlays. I'm not too fond of uh, overlays, to be completely honest. They've, they've never been my sort of deal. And as far as emotes goes, I've just never really thought to make any. Uh, since I don't stream on Twitch too often, I, I've never really put stock in the emotes. I might get some if I start streaming more often, but um, uh, aside from that, I, I don't really see a reason to have any, uh, to be honest. Especially because, like I said, I'm not on here very often, and uh, emotes can be pretty expensive, you know, for, uh, for, for, for what they are. But um, no, if I, if I ever needed emotes, I'd, I'd, probably, I'd definitely commission some. Uh, let's see... What was it next? It was stone. That's it. Prosperity on the uh, on the cardinals. Stone on the angles. There we go. Pop that up like so. Uh, then it needed a redstone signal in order to fire. So I have the redstone. Let's bring that up there. Uh, where is it? Oh, I've got wood planks in my inventory already. But I think I'll use the birch, just because it needs to be the same for sticks. So, wood, and stick, and stick, and redstone. Gives me the redstone torch. Put that up there. I can then throw this back into... Actually, the red wool goes in this backpack. Uh, so there we go. That clears up enough space. And now to activate it, we just need the redstone pulse. There we go. Nice and lovely with that. Particle animations aren't as pretty as the Astral Sorcery one, but to be completely honest, as long as it's functional, I don't particularly think they much care for um, how pretty it looks. Alright, uh, what's the difference? Fertilized Essence, Mystical Fertilizer, what are these used for? Oh, more Mystical Fertilizer, okay, that makes sense. Uh, right, Stone Siege, let's go plant these over in Dr. Phil's garden, because I'm sure he won't notice if he's missing... Uh, some tea leaves. So, let's drop that in there. And let's actually use this mystical fertilizer, since apparently it instantly grows plants, to just... How do I apply this? Well, it might... it's not letting me apply it. Instantly grow a crop or sapling. Sapling. Well, well that was a lie, because it's, it's clearly not. Um, That's a shame. Either way, let's push this up here. Let's throw out the onions, because, I mean, I mean, let's be real, who needs onions? Oh, garlic, not onions. Let's have the garlic fill up our health bar, at least a little bit. Hunger bar, what is it with my words? There we go, let's, uh, let's pop these up. How much are you willing to spend on emotes? Um, it depends on who I'm commissioning, really. If I think the person I'm commissioning has, like, good talent, then I would probably be willing to spend more. But, like I said, I'm not really in the market for emotes right now. I'm, I'm perfectly fine uh, streaming without them. It, it doesn't really bother me. So, uh, yeah, if I need to commission someone, I'll have a look around. I'll, I'll see who I need to commission. Uh, but uh, until then, I'm, I'm not too fussed. It's not really something I think about that often. Right then, there we go. Stone seeds, nice and lovely. So, let's just pop these up here to free up a little bit of space. Let's pop up the garlic, and let's grab that stone essence. All nice and lovely. So, last things last, let's bring out our Philosopher's Stone. Put it in the center. Surround with marble. 
and we get ourselves some quark marble finally okay that's good so now that we have the quark marble we can actually finish setting up the cannon so before i do any of that let's sleep to clear out the mobs then from there we'll, uh, we'll open our backpack up we'll start throwing some stuff in to free up the space necessary to grab the watches of flowing time and from the watches of flowing time we will then be able to speed up the piping of things in and out of the uh, chests. So let's open up the backpack. Let's throw on in some of the stuff we don't need. So the bowl, the tea leaves, uh, the, the shears, the sticks, the wood, the string, the garlic, the fertilizer, and the inferium. That should free up definitely enough space. From there, let's grab the watches. So let's grab those. Oh, excuse me. Let's come in here. Let's grab these. Let's grab these. Let's grab these. And that's all of them. So let's head on back over to the chests. Let's deal with the creeper so that it doesn't become an issue later. Uh, and let's start surrounding these again. So put that one there. Put that one there. Put that one there i believe and then put that one there right then so pedestal uh pedestal uh pedestal and last but not least pedestal oh actually did i change the mode of that no pedestal so last things last let's put this one back up here where it belongs and boom Right, so it was asking for quark. Let's give it quark. Target not loaded. Oh, of course. Oh. Now it wants coal ore for some very strange reason. Now, I can get coal ore, thankfully, because of our silk touch. But that is a very strange request, uh, in my opinion, for the cannon to have. Because why would I build anything out of coal ore? Okay, um, thankfully, since we don't touch coal very often, uh, there is just a ton of it lying around, uh, especially up here. So if we grab this, that should be enough to appease the cannon gods. Um, up, 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 and out. There we go, let's fly on over very quickly. I'm loving having the new space, by the way, for the base. It is absolutely brilliant. I mean, I thank you for the offer, but I'm I'm not interested. Like I say, I'm not really in the market for emotes right now. Why did that stop? Oh, of course, sandstone. Finally, something that we can provide it. There we go. Let's uh, let's grab these. There we go. Let's chuck these in here. Target not loaded. There we go. Finally, it's working again. Let's just hope it stays that way. So, let's go on over and check on the progress. From the looks of it, stopped again. Oh boy, I can't wait to see what it's trying to get this time. Yes, yeah, Canon is kind of like a drug, uh, drug abuser in a way, you know. It just constantly keeps on taking and taking and taking and begging for more. Even when it doesn't need it, because why do you need sandstone? I built you with sand! Okay, uh... Let's just grab as much of this as we can. Chuck it in. And throw that in there. Hopefully, it won't run out anytime soon now. God, that thing is killing my frames. There we go. Now it's building. Hopefully it continues on like that for some time now. Actually, if I check the map, it hasn't made the quadrant boundary yet, which means it's not actually at um it's not actually at surface level just yet. And it stopped moving again. What do you want now? What could you possibly want now? There we go. It needs Did you seriously run out of that that quickly? Oh my god, okay. Tell you what, we're going to redirect one of these pipelines. We're going to redirect 
this pipeline right here into that top chest. I am um, I I am aware of your of your um I am aware of your Discord. Um I am aware of your Discord, but uh like I said, I'm I'm not in the uh I'm not in the market for emotes, okay? Please don't advertise in my chat. That's all I ask. Right then. So. Pipe wrench. Let's set that up. It goes over the top. We can then take a couple of these stone out. Replace it with sandstone. And it should finally start firing again. I will make sure. Okay? I will make sure I will. Right then. So. Uh, oh, target not loaded, of course. There we go, still firing, still firing. There we go, see it's actually clearing out the floor now, which means it's getting one step closer to actually working on the surface level of things. Ah. <sighs> Hopefully it doesn't ask for any more random stuff when it starts moving. Yeah. Although it looks like it has stopped again, which means it's probably going to ask for something. I'll see you around. Thank you. Goodbye. Yes, it's going to ask for schematic related stuff. Oh! Finally, a problem I can solve. Out of gunpowder. Okay, now that is one of the very few error messages I like to see from the schematic cannon. Hmm. Oh, sorry about that, I just had to check something off camera. It looks like it stopped again, but I'm not sure why. What now? Stone? Oh, right, of course. Fills up with sandstone, runs out of regular stone. Fills up with stone, runs out of sandstone. You can never win with these machines, I tell you. You can never win with these machines, okay? At this point, it's uh, it's easier to just have a separate chest, but obviously we can't because we ran out of pipes and we really did not want to make more of them. There we go. So hopefully that should continue to build its way up now. Oh, let me tell you, despite the fact that I'm building none of this myself, right? Despite the fact that I am building none of this myself, it is still some of the most exhausting stuff you will ever come across, I swear. Uh. Oof. Right, I'm back. So. <clears throat> right then, so it is building up this area at a nice and stable rate for now. Uh, I am slightly worried that it is eventually going to run out of sandstone again, which I'm... This here, this is regular sand. So I really don't know why it wants the sandstone. Um... Oh, of course, there's a blue orchid below this. Uh, but as it is building up, it will slowly start to want sandstone less and less. I guess there was a... yeah. That is strange. I guess there was like an element of sandstone over here. That's strange. But yeah, as it builds up, it will require sandstone less and less until eventually it will just be pure sand. And from that point, it will just be pure building. Um, because the higher in the mountain you get, the less material there are, the less material you are, 
the less work it actually has to do. There we go. It's starting to delete bits now to smooth it out. That's always what we like to see. So now, what are you waiting on? Oh, gunpowder. Again. I, need to, I really need to keep an eye on that. The fact that it's running out of gunpowder so quickly is actually... I want to say concerning, but it's more impressive than anything. It really is a shame you can't funnel gunpowder into this thing manually. Um, but it, it just doesn't work like that for some reason. Trust me when I say we tried. Um, but I, I guess it's just not built that way. There we go. It's starting to layer by layer. Well, actually, it's building up there, so I'm guessing that isn't quite in level with what we've got out here. There we go. The next level, it should start culling off the grass and the dirt and stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. So, while it does that, I'll just keep an eye on it. I'll stay close enough that I can hear the cannon. So, about here. And I'll just watch to see if it's uh, moving or not. But, before any of that, and my seven, it's five frames, Jesus. Before any of that, I am going to go to bed. I'm going to sleep, get nice and tuck it in and cozy and all of that. Because obviously I don't want to deal with phantoms and mobs and stuff, especially around the cannon. Because if the cannon were to break, I think I might actually break down as well. So the cannon and I would have something in common for once. Uh, because of all of the work that it would essentially be destroying. Uh, out of gunpowder? No, missing sandstone. So, if it's missing sandstone, swap over the pipe. Got to move the pipe over here. And then you wrench the end, and then it sucks it out, just like your ex-wife. There we go. This episode is sponsored by my brother, who reminds you that it's never okay to have fun. Okay, there we go. Now it's starting to build in the grass layer, which means I was both right and wrong. It is culling the dirt out, but it's actually placing in grass to uh, make it fit more in line. Is that really the same height? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, it is. I, I guess I just didn't notice. Right then. So, there's really nothing much to do now because the cannon does seem to be working purely on its own. I am going to have to still check in because you can never leave it alone too long, obviously to make sure that it isn't running out of gunpowder every so often, but while this runs, I think now we might actually have the time and the ability to start work on my side project, which was finishing the uh, Smith & Wesson revolver that I was building. So, if I do at Ava, just to click us in, just to slide us into the Ava mod menu here, ah. Oh, no, it wasn't a Smith & Wesson, it was a Python. I've got Smith & Wesson stuck in my head for some reason. But I have the compressed wood. I'm now just missing the work-hardened iron, which is actually very easy to make. It's just coal or any coal stand-in along with some iron. So, why did you stop? I need to swap over the stone pipe. So, let's swap over the stone pipe. Let's just plug that in, shift it up. And from there, let's uh, clear out some space. Right then, now let's get work on making some of this work-hardened iron. So, we've got the coal, we've got the iron. All we really have to do is Philosopher's Stone, Python, uh, Ava Crafting, work-hardened iron. And let's just grab a ton of this stuff, okay? Let's just grab as much of this as we can. 48 is a very good number, even though we only needed 24. And now, if I pull... Uh, the work hardened iron out of my backpack and I throw in the regular iron and let's let's throw in the, the silk touch pickaxe and the journal uh, just for the sake of clearing out a bit of space here let's check on this to make sure that it's still firing target not loaded there we go now we can make our way over to the Ava crafting work workbench that we made in the last stream um in order to uh, put together the 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 python, so pistols and python and craft, and there we go, nice and simple, which is exactly how I like it. Right there, we have the python three five seven. 
which actually looks pretty good, not even gonna lie. It even has a cool little zoom-in feature. Uh, but obviously we can't fire it just yet, because as much as I would like to, uh, we don't actually have any ammunition. And while we could craft some, my favorite way of doing it so far has actually been to just kill some mobs. So that's what we're going to do, okay? When the, next, when the night next comes around, when we're working on the cannon, what we're going to do is we're just going to fly over and we're going to kill any and all mobs that we see so that we can generate ourselves... Oh god, the lag spike. So that we can generate ourselves some ammunition boxes, which, uh, along with health boxes, actually drop when you kill mobs. Ugh. Let's get nice and comfortable in this chair, actually. My arse hurts. All right, then. Target not loaded, but it is nearly done, which is pretty cool. So let's just fly on over here. Well, I say nearly done. It does still have this whole bit to do. Uh, which it looks to be working quite well on. Although I think I need to swap it out for the uh, sandstone again, if I'm, if I'm looking at this correctly. Yeah, it's going to ask for sandstone. Oh! No, it's asking for a gooseberry fruit. Now, chat. This is one of those specific items I was talking about. You see, I'll recap it again just in case you forgot. The schematic cannon has a little quirk to it in that it will sometimes ask for blocks that you can't actually acquire in survival mode. One of those being uh, tree fruits. So, for example, over here, you have orange fruit. If I were to right-click this, it wouldn't give me the orange fruit. It would give me an orange, okay, which is a lovely snack. I'm not going to deny that. But the orange itself doesn't count because it's not the fruit that grows from the tree. Now, we have tried, trust me when I say we have tried, to use the shears to pick these up. And we've even tried silk touch. So if I were to break this, for example, which would take quite the while, even though I've got silk touch... Oh. Well then, I'm going to have to have a conversation with Ruby when he reappears. Because apparently, the little bastard didn't try Silk Touch. He just assumed that it was impossible to get after using Shears. So, it turns out we didn't need to spawn in the fruit stems. We could have just used Silk Touch. Which makes me feel like an absolute shell of a human and a fraud, but we'll get onto that at a later date. If I throw in... Well, actually, it didn't need orange fruit. What did it need? It needed gooseberry fruit. If I go and find some gooseberry fruit, I can pick it up using my iron pickaxe. I'm not sure why it needs goose gooseberry fruit, since it's supposed to be destroying the gooseberry stuff. Um, but I suppose I'll have to grab it either way. That's pine nuts. Okay, that's some pine nuts over there. Where's a tree that has goo gooseberry on it? I need to find a tree that has gooseberry on it. it. I don't know why it kicked me out of that when I didn't stop flying. Are you gooseberry? You're gooseberry. Let's take these gooseberry fruits over here. Actually, let's land on the ground so it doesn't take forever. Let's mine up some of this gooseberry over here, okay? So, let's grab the gooseberry fruit from the trees. Like so. And let's go chuck them in the cannon. Now, I am quite concerned that the reason it asked for gooseberry fruit is for the tree that I just took it from, but, um, hopefully it won't be. Let's, ju let's just hope that it isn't, okay? Because that's the best we can do at this point. There we go. It's still firing. It's still growing nice and steady. Let's quickly throw in some more gunpowder just so it doesn't run out. It stopped. Why did it stop? What does it want now? Ah, now it wants some more frozen gravel. Okay, so I didn't get to finish piping this one into the chest originally because unfortunately, uh, once again, Ruby didn't want to make any more pipes and I'm too lazy to make more pipes. So let's just chuck in a stack for now. I'm guessing it's going to ask for more pretty soon. So let's go grab some more while we still have the chance. There we go. Throw these in here. And now while we're at it, let's just clear out some of this sandstone. So let's delete some of this sandstone to clear out some inventory space. Just like that. And then from there, let me guess, more frozen gravel. No! 
This time it wants purple sand. Now, purple sand, thankfully, we have it in abundance because we decided to give it an EMC value. That was fair based on uh, what it was, you know, dye and sand put together. Guy, if you don't move, I will end your life. You have a single uh, half of a heart left, and I am not afraid to get rid of it. Um, which one of these was purple sand? Was it this one? No, this is sandstone. This one was purple sand. So let's let's collect some of this purple sand. Let's uh, let's drop it in here. There we go. Now what does it want? Target not loaded. Target not loaded. See, I'm becoming psychic with this thing. And yeah, that should be it for now. It is going to still start building. It's going to start uh, raising up the mountains, and eventually it's going to stop asking for sandstone, and eventually it's going to just start asking for frozen gravel. So what does it want now? More frozen gravel. I thought so. So, let's just, uh, yoink as much of this as we can, and let's just chuck as much of this as we can in here. There we go. Target not loaded. Target not loaded. See, I'm getting psychic with it. And let me guess. Oh, no. Well, one in five. There we go. Look at that. Nice and smooth and pretty, and it's going to ask for sandstone now, isn't it? Can't just have a moment. Can't just have a nice cinematic shot. Has to have sandstone. Uh, oh, poppies. It wants poppies. Oh, the little baby wants some poppies. Isn't that adorable? The little baby cannon wants some poppies. We can get the little baby cannon some poppies. Yes, we can. I'm never doing that again. Right then, so here we go. Christ. The lag is genuinely ridiculous. Um... Right, I think there were poppies around here. There was every type of flower around here when we last streamed, so I'm, 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 not, I'm not too, I'm not too uncertain of there being poppage in the area. Uh, although it is getting dark pretty quickly, so what I might do is head back and sleep first, and then while I'm back, I'll, uh, I'll check the surrounding area in the other direction, um, to, to see if there's any poppies, because I remember Ruby specifically told me. There were flowers on the other side of the forest, around where section or quadrant 3 slash 6 is supposed to be located. There we go, let's pop down here, and let's go to bed. I am really hoping that once all of this is done, the lag spikes do die down, because I don't want to have to cull mods from this pack. But I will if I have to, because one frame leaving the house is ridiculous when... Usually, on average, I get 100, 120. Enough that I can record in 80 frames in, like, full full 1080p HD uh, without issue with shaders. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is definitely concerning. I think it's the generation and the continuous generation of all of the chunks in the surrounding area. Because um, it is quite a bit. On top of everything else, it is quite a bit. So... Let's fly on over here. This isn't poppies. This is a rose bush. I, I forgot I wasn't making dye. I thought I was making dye, so I grabbed the rose bush. But no, we need actual poppies. So let's go a little deeper into the forest. Uh, what are you? You are plum fruits. Plum fruits are always very lovely. The loveliest of fruits. Well, actually, no, I tell a lie. I've never been a fan of plums. They've always never, they've, they've never really been my thing, plums. They've always sort of put me off. There's, there's something about the way they taste, the texture of it all. It, it's, it's just not right with me. There we go. Let's grab all of those poppies. I picked up too much useless stuff right there, so let's just throw all of that out. There we go. And back to the base. Next, which is nice and lovely. Honestly, I really like how this is coming together so far. Even though it's just a flat area at the minute, honestly, the biggest part and the best part of this new base comes in the segments we haven't built yet. Um, segments, you know, 7, 8, and 9. And maybe 6, even, actually. 6 as well. So let's throw the poppies up there. And unload it. Yep. And... Oh, there we go. Yeah, nothing else. Just unload it. These fucking lag spikes, man. Is there a way I can just do that? Just reload chunks, get some frames back. 
There we go. See, it is finally quarrying the place out. I should really stop pointing these things out, because when I do, the cannon immediately stops. Uh, oak leaves, right, yes, because I definitely remember building with oak leaves. Uh, there we go, 46 oak leaves. I'll leave one in the backpack in case I need to EMC it, and throw the rest in there. Unloaded. There we go. Nice and pretty. Nice and smooth. Nice and quick as well, actually, which is exactly what we're after. You know what I should do, actually? Just for the sake of not having to keep swap it all the time, is I'll just do this. I'll just do this. Right, what do you want now? Thought so. There we go. And target unloaded. Okay. Why'd you stop? Birch leaves, yes. Birch, the mystical, the mystical, mystical birch. The birchiest of leaves, truly. Because all leaves have to be birch. I don't know what I'm talking about. Has anyone ever told you you look like Muselik with caveman eyebrows? No, I don't think I have. I also don't know what Muselik looks like. Or is it Muselk? Yeah, Muselk. I remember that name from a long time ago. Didn't he used to be like a really big Overwatch streamer? Yeah, I mean, he could still be an Overwatch streamer, actually. I don't know why I said used to be. I just haven't seen him in a while. Um, but you know what? I'll take that as a compliment because, you know, I th I'm pretty sure Muselik used to be really good at video games. Is really good at video. I don't know why I keep saying used to be. I don't mean to talk about him in the in the in the in the past tense, you know. Oh, he's a Fortnite YouTuber. Ah, uh, okay. I see, I see. Well, I mean, I do play Fortnite, not very often, but I do play. I used to play a lot more. Um, before the latest like rail grinding update, it was nothing against the rail grinding update. I just didn't really want to get back into it because I think I burnt myself out, uh, working on the battle pass, uh, for it because I. I think I completed the battle pass, um, like all 200 levels last time, but it just left me feeling dead inside. <laughs> I hated it. Um, so I, I haven't really played it since. I, I, I bought the clone troopers because I'm a massive fan of Star Wars from the latest update, but outside of that, I haven't, I haven't really touched it. Um, but hey, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. You always hated him, so your resemblance to him kind of annoys you. <laughs> uh, no offense taken, lad. Uh, like I said, I haven't watched his streams in ages, so I, I have no idea what he's like personality-wise. But, uh, no, nah, I'll take it as a compliment. But yeah, welcome to the stream, lad. We're, uh, well, I'm currently trying to feed my schematic cannon a ton of birch leaves so that it can hurry up and finish. Because having it just exist in the world is tanking my frames significantly. Like, I've, I've gone from 100, 120 frames down to 16 just from this thing existing. I think it's mainly the watches, I'll be completely honest. Uh, constantly speeding up production and the moving of the pipes and stuff. But this entire thing is... is, is, is I can't let it stay for long. Um, birch leaves, that's it. There we go. Sour shop. I want sour shop. Ever got a clue about a thing you said? Fair enough. Um, well, to start from the very beginning, since I have no idea what knowledge level you hold, uh, we're currently playing a custom version of all the mod six, um, which has been modified to have uh, more than uh, well, exactly three hundred mods installed. One of them is the create mod. The create mod has an item called the schematic cannon in it. The schematic cannon allows you to basically build schematics that you've made, so like pre-built structures, uh, into the world around you. Uh, but it doesn't come for free. You have to actually put in the effort to give it the blocks necessary uh, in order to have them build it. And right now, it's tanking my frame rate. <laughs> All right, so chestnuts are out of the way. It wasn't chestnuts I needed, it was sour sob. 
I need to find some soursop fruit. Although peaches are very lovely. I need to find some soursop fruit uh, so it can get that out of the way. It's actually unreal. When when you read it out loud, it, it when you say it out loud, it does sound quite uh, ridiculous. Um, but it's it's just kind of something that you get used to after a while. I mean, it sounds perfectly normal to me. Right then, it's on this building level, which means it wants them, I'm guessing, for this tree. So I'm assuming there is sour shop nearby. And if there is, I'm gonna just steal that. <laughs> there we go. Sour shop. I knew it'd be nearby. Let's just grab some of this with some silk touch. Lovely. I am concerned that it's asking for it when it's right there, though. It, it could just put it there itself. It could just ignore it because it's there, but... I don't know. It has a couple of weird bugs to it. Uh, one of them being sometimes the schematic cannon will ask for blocks that you can't actually get uh, in survival mode. So, for example, for a long time we thought it was the soursop fruits and just any other type of fruit. Uh, because it didn't work with the shears. Turns out, uh, you have to use silk touch to get them. But it's done it a bunch of other times for different blocks as well. I just don't remember which. There we go. And that should now... There we go. It's building in the mountain for us. Now, obviously, it can't just build this from scratch. I had to build this in a single-player world, save it as a schematic, and then transfer it over. Um... But it is still building it in survival, which is always lovely to see. Although it has seemed to stop, so I'm wondering what it's missing. Let me just deal with these first. There we go. And I believe, did that give me some ammunition? No, it didn't. That's a shame. I thought it might have given me some ammo for my gun, but I was wrong. Oh, out of gunpowder. Finally, something I can solve. Let me just, uh, clear cash. There we go. <sighs> right then, hopefully that will be the last time I have to go in there, because it shouldn't be asking for any more fruit in the area. Unless it wants, of course, these, which it might. So I'm gonna grab, the I'm gonna grab these in advance. I don't know if it wants them, but it seems like the sensible thing to do. If, um, if I know it's gonna come along this line, Or not. If I knew it was going to come along that line, I would have grabbed it beforehand. But I guess, for some fucking reason, it, it, it doesn't seem to want those. But it wanted the sour salts. Ridiculous. Right. God, this frame rate is actually hurting my eyes. Right, that's one thing I can fix. It might not be a fix to my frame rate, but I can sleep to make sure it doesn't hit night time. I was originally going to spend the night trying to farm ammunition for my python, but I'd rather just not deal with the mobs at the minute. Oh, fuck this. I'm turning off my shaders. It looks ugly as hell, but it might save me a couple of extra frames. There we go. It's not as pretty, but it's smoother. I hope. Alright then, I think we have finally reached the point where it is just gonna ask for stone and sand. Yeah. I wish there was a quick way to do that, just drop all of the specific items into your uh, deletion uh, thing, but... Eh, can't win them all. Alright then. Let me check these trees, make sure there's no extra fruit on here that it might want. These pine nuts. It might ask for the pine nuts. I'll make sure to collect some of these. It's a shame they're not clustered together. It means vein miner isn't going to work on them. And I 
I don't really like having to use a pickaxe, but it's the only thing I have Silk Touch on, so I can't really just... I can't afford to get an axe to put Silk Touch on, as weird as it sounds, because it took me like 23 pickaxes to get Silk Touch. And there we go, that's those. And that's that one. Lovely. Uh, is there any more below? Oh, fuck them. Right. What does it want now? What does it want now? More oak leaves. Okay, oak leaves I can manage. Uh, where'd I put those? There they are. Right then. Get my trusty shears. My trusty circumcisional uh, devices. And let's just pop them off. Lovely. Uh, let's grab the ones from the outside as well, because why not at this point? There we go. And let's drop these in the chest. Over here. There we go. Load the chunks. And hopefully it should just start building. There we go. I wonder if it's possible to suffocate inside of this. If I wait here, and it builds around me, is it possible to have it suffocate me? I'm kind of curious. I'm not even going to lie. Because I don't want it to, but I am kind of curious. There we go. I wish there was a way to speed this up even more than it is, but um, we don't actually have uh, any more watches of flowing time and pedestals. I mean, actually... What am I talking about? We've got like a ton over oh, here. If I come in here, I think this should have finished by now. Yeah, we've got seven extra pedestals in the dark matter pedestal thing. And we've got a, a bajillion other watches of flowing time ready and waiting to go, I think. It's none of these. It's uh, not this one. It's this one. Here we go. If I just start putting more of these down... One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, and then I'll put seventh on top like that. There we go. And then I've got to quickly use the wrench to just disconnect these here. Like that. There we go. Just pop that off there. I can then throw that away. Put more watches of flowing time in. So grab this one. Bish. Grab this one. Bash. Grab this one. Uh, bosh. And grab this one. Bosh. And let's grab a couple of more of those watches. Oh, it, was, it, was, it was this one, wasn't it? I keep forgetting which one it is. It's this one here. Let's grab these. Put that one on. Put that one on, and put these on over here. There we go. Now, obviously, the elements in the room at the moment, the cannon has stopped firing. What do you want? More gunpowder. So let's give it just that. Target not loaded. Target is now loaded. Let's see how quick this is starting to fire. Those are some big old chunks. I think what the server's doing, since it isn't actually supposed to act like this, is in order to basically save on uh, memory, or whatever it is that it is it's trying to save on, instead of laying out the blocks individual by individual, it's just doing them in giant chunks, which isn't, like I said, how it's supposed to act. But as long as it doesn't actually get in the way of the speed of it all, I'm honestly not too fussed. There we go. See, that's more how it's supposed to act. It's supposed to be nice and quick like that. One at a time, one after the other. Right then. Yeah, there we go. So, while it does that, since obviously I did skip the night last night instead of going out to find ammunition for my python, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to craft myself some python ammunition. So, python ammunition requires pistol ammo, which is packed gunpowder and work-hardened iron. Now, we have work-hardened iron, we don't have packed gunpowder. But since we have basically an infinite generator for gunpowder at this point, we can. So let's just grab some of this. 
that's why it's being so slow. Not enough stone. It's using the stone almost instantly. So let's cut off sandstone just for now. Let's throw you up here. Let's, uh, let's quickly just borrow the magnet. Let's do this. There we go. And then this. And let's fly over to the lava pit that we've got over here from when we were working over here. And let's just quickly just, uh, drop all of that in there. There we go. Quick and easy way to clear things up. So. Now that that has an infinite supply of, uh, stone. It wants more oak leaves. There you go. Lovely. It is running very quickly out of gunpowder, though. Right then, so, not to get distracted or anything, let's pull out our Philosopher's Stone next, which is over here. Oh, I got an extra watch of flowing time on me. I didn't realize. Let's open up the crafting station. Let's drop the gunpowder in like this to make some compressed or packed gunpowder. Let's check on this to make sure it's still firing. Sandstone. Okay, you know what? What? You don't need... Uh, what don't you need right now? Realistically, you need all of this, except for... No, you do need all of this. Okay. Right, so, next mission, before we do anything, we've got to make more pipes. We can't keep putting it off, we have to make some more pipes. So, I'm going to quickly do just that. I'm going to make some more pipes. So, let's hop into the shit shack, let's go up here, let's grab the redstone from the furnace, which for some reason it was residing in there. Let's, let's then open up our backpack and grab out some iron. Let's replace that with, I don't know, the watering can. Since we've already used that, it's already outweighed its welcome. And let's make ourselves a dropper. Or actually, let's just type in pipe. And let's make it this way. So pipe, dropper, it needs cobblestone. Okay, we can make cobblestone. We have... Just an infinite amount of cobblestone. Do I read chat? Yes, I read chat. Hello, hi, how are you doing? Right then, so. Let's bring this up and around like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's grab the droppers. Actually, eight is the perfect number because it needs to be even. From there, let's, uh, redstone. Yes, it's missing the redstone, which is on the floor because I cannot clean up my own messes. So. Let's throw out the wheat for now. Let's go up here. Let's craft these pipes. Nice and lovely. Let's throw the wheat out again because, you know, we don't have time for that right now. Um, let's throw the redstone up here. Keep a hold of the wheat. And let's make our way back to the system. So, quickly just flying over here. We're going to hook up the sandstone finally to its own individual thing. So... If we bring it out like this, we can then separate this bit and this bit so that they're not feeding into the wrong places. Let's be lazy and just work around the watch of flowing time, like so. And from there, we can finally feed this into this system right here. There we go, so let's just cut... No. Let's just cut that off there. Thank you. I, I appreciate the compliment. It's very nice of you to say. Let's drop the Watcher Flowing Time back on here, because we don't really want it to be uh, affecting the time of day. Let's quickly sleep to get out of the way of the, uh, get out of the way of the, why does it say get out of the way? Get out of the risk of having zombies kill us, because that's the last thing we need right now. And then finally, after all of that, it should be feeding itself sandstone. Fingers crossed. So, let's check on it. And it's not! Would you guess it? Let's think about why. So, my main thing right now, the main thing I'm thinking is that perhaps I forgot to change the pipe to an input pipe. So, let's go check on that, shall we? Oh, no, 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 you don't. <laughs> I'm not letting you destroy this. We have waited way too long to have you destroy this. Never mind. Right then. So. Yeah, I forgot to change it to an input mode. Boom. 
And now, if I come over here, it should start firing. Why has it stopped? Frozen gravel. Right, that was the other thing we needed to hook up that we ended up not hooking up. So, if we just tie this on here and then set this to an input and then just quickly kick one of those out. There we go. Now it's doing its job. But the fact that it's asking for frozen gravel is good, which means it's building up. Which means it should stop finally asking for some stupid bullshit. There we go. Although I don't quite like these holes that it's generating. This is unfortunately an issue with the original schematic. It's something that I uh, needed to fix on the original uh, thing. Uh, but that I just didn't spot um, at the time. Which is not great, but it's just how things are. Um, it's usually caused by flowers uh, on the ground when you're building with World Edit. Um, because for some reason... Uh, if you build with World Edit, a lot of flowers are not classed as flowers. They don't break if you spawn something around them. They just stay there. They're, like, persistent. And it is extremely annoying. <sighs> I feel like I've been doing nothing but complain for these past god knows how long. But you have set... Oh, regular sound. Right, okay. Let's just, um... Let's fix that, shall we? There we go. Right then, so, 9, 8, 7, let's magnetize this sand, let's go dump it off in the lava pit that we have over here, which really we should be moving, but, yeah. and drop that down there, lovely, so, hopefully, we are coming to the end of working on segment 4, I do want to keep a bit of an eye on it, just in case, but from the looks of it, it's printing just fine. That's all for my fucking mouth, didn't I? What do you want now? Oh, gunpowder. Okay. That I will excuse. thing is, as much as I complain about the fact that I'm just complaining about the cannon, at the end of the day, when it works correctly, <laughs> I don't really have much to talk about. <laughs> uh, so I think now is a good time to have a little uh, Pringle break. Ah. Ah. Right then, so, back onto the python ammo. What I was doing was I was creating compressed gunpowder in order to make uh, pistol ammo, which is up here, uh, and work hardened iron. Now, I still have 24 work hardened iron, so what I'm going to do while that runs, and hopefully, um, you know, oh doesn't God. stop running, is I'm going to go, uh, go and head back down into the create basement. Uh, to interact with the Ava uh, weapon workbench or the Ava crafting table, whatever it's called. Um, I'm actually going to see how to build the pistol ammo because I don't actually know. Um, what do we got? Yeah. Field knife, uh, smoke grenades, what I'm guessing are uh, regular explosive grenades, uh, ammo kits. Right. No, I'm not quite after the ammo kit. How do I pack gunpowder and work hardened iron? So do I put it in manually? Do I if I if I put work hardened iron, can I How do I do this? <laughs> I'm genuinely curious. I don't actually remember how to how to do this. Um Ammo kit supplier. That could be useful. I'm assuming that since this, this mod seems to work like a, a a building mod, an adventure map making mod that the ammo kit supplier will give out an infinite amount of ammo kits. I could be wrong, uh, but I think it's worth working on. Now, to get the ammo kit, you need the ammo kit one anyway. Um, so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on that. Instead of the packed gunpowder, that means I instead need uh, the fibers. And to get 
fibers, it's cobwebs around the iron. I can't say I've ever seen a recipe that requires cobwebs before, but it wouldn't be the first time I've had to build something strange. Thankfully, I do know where to find some cobwebs, and with silk touch and shears, I have no problem collecting them. It's just a matter of waiting for this to finish first, because obviously I don't want to leave it unattended for too long, because like now, it has stopped firing. I'm guessing it's because of a lack of gunpowder. Yep. That's better. So once this finishes, we will just quickly nip and grab some uh, cobwebs. And then once we've nipped and grabbed some cobwebs, uh, we'll be golden. We'll be great. We'll be Gucci. I will too, sorry. There we go. There we go. Getting nice and high. It's nearly it's nearly at the top. Um in fact I think it might have just finished. Because from the looks of it, yeah, it's in line with the top of the rest of them. All along here, this is I think this is the top. Which means segment four might actually be finished now. Which is great news for us, to be honest. Um Let's see, shall we? Segment 4 is finished, which we absolutely adore seeing, considering we still have... If I just open up the map for a second... Oh, too far out. I might start lagging now. Great. Good one, mouse. Um, section 3, Section 6, Section 7, 8, and 9 to finish. Now, it has taken us approximately 4 hours, nearly 5, to get two of these segments done. Meaning that, on average, if I stream for another five hours, I should also get segments, um, what the fuck? Weird. Segments, uh, seven and eight done, which are some of the ones I'm looking forward to. After that, another five, which would be streaming for 15 hours at that point, would be, uh, sections six and sections nine, and then... Two more hours, so 17 hours, section three. I'm really hoping it doesn't take that long, but I am kind of willing to stream for that long. Um, right, so these are done, so I'm going to turn these off now just to save me on some uh, frames, because Lord knows these are definitely what's, like, cutting them down. So let's just power these off. Power these off. Power these, power off these. Right then, so, with that done, let's enable our shaders once again, because we actually have the flames to spare now. I say, as pressing K crashes my game. Let's wait for it to stabilize, because obviously it takes a little while once you first turn them on. Yeah! And from there, let's go and collect some cobwebs. Ooh, now that area there is, um, not the best. Unfortunately for this area, we did originally have to turn off, um, the cannon for a certain few layers. So it hasn't actually filled that in properly, which is, um, not brilliant. But thankfully, since it is only a tiny quadrant, we can fix that by hand. Uh, Air Boat Boy 42 hello, nice to see you. Good to have you here. So, the way we get cobwebs is somewhere back here, there is actually a abandoned mine shaft. Here we go. And see, there's a cobweb right there. So, if we pull out our shears, we pick these up. This should be how things work. Huh. So let's jump down. Whee! Down we go. Okay, yeah, we've definitely got enough cobwebs down here for a treat. Although, I don't think our frames have quite reset yet, because um, 
sometimes it does require a manual restart after loading so much space. So I will keep them off for now, just for the sake of uh, a nice smooth live stream. So let's just harvest these, there we go. Then let's harvest these over here. Then let's harvest these. Why don't I have my magnet on? That would make things a lot easier. Let's harvest these. Then let's harvest these. There we go. I'm going to say the further in we go, I think the less we might actually find. Because um, I know I know for a fact I've had a lot of creepers detonate down here. Um, but I don't think we need all that many. 17 should be enough. If I open up my Philosopher's Stone, I open up the um, fibers. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That, make, that makes us 16. And that means we should be able to craft the ammo box one, I believe it called itself. Um, this thing, ammo kit one. It requires 30 fibers. I have 16, but thankfully they do have an EMC value. And now if I, rem if I read that correctly, I'm pretty sure that said the ammo box was infinite. Right? Ammo provided by this item is likely applicable for all weapons. Ammo 1,000 out of 1,000 can be repaired with gunpowder. Infinity enchantment will slowly repair this over time. Which is really good to know. Because if we can get infinity on this, that means technically we'll never run out of ammunition. And this ammo kit 2, which is enchanted, I'm assuming, just has the infinity on by default. Could be wrong, but then again, you know, it's, it's, the, logical, uh, it's the logical thing to think. Why is it so dark? Christ, it got dark quick out here. Okay, let's head to bed first so that we can actually see what we're doing. And then we'll hop on down into the create basement to make ourselves an ammo uh, kit one. That's it, so let's just hop in here, get some nice old rest. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. That's nice and good. So, into the basement. I really need to get rid of that lip. I've always hit that lip when flying. Alright, here we go. Ammo kit 1 should be right uh, here. Why aren't you letting me... Cra oh, right. Yeah, of course. I forgot to EMC the fucking fibers. Here we go. Just through here. Into the shack. And... Oh, now isn't that a sight to be all? Just a ton of diamonds and seeds together. Jesus. Right then, so let's uh, quickly dupe the fibers. We don't want that many. Just enough. There we go. That's just a bit over a stack. That's brilliant. That's exactly what we're after. we go, let's just uh, come on through like this. Head on down. Lovely. Now we can actually craft ammo kit one. Um, again, I'm not actually sure what this does. Um, but I'm assuming that if I, if I... If I... Let's just put this up here. Let's put the sand in the trash slot, actually, because we don't need the sand. If I just right-click, maybe? Shift right-click? Ah, okay, just having it in the inventory allows you to reload it. Gotcha. So from there, I should now have a functional uh, Python 357. Which is... I don't think I could have said that without sounding any less British. I'm going to be completely honest with you. We don't have anything to test it on right now, but come night time, we should be absolutely golden when it comes to that sort of stuff. So... With uh, all of that sorted, the next thing we need to work on is we need to grab schematic uh, for the schematic for segment uh, five, six, seven. Let's grab schematic seven from the chest and let's just start running through it. Now, obviously, with everything hooked up and piped up, we don't have to waste time setting everything up, meaning we should be able to just get straight into it today. Um, fingers crossed, that is. So schematic six, seven. Here we go. Let's grab schematic 7. Let's not put it in our hands, because that would be the dumbest idea I think anyone would have ever had, considering how big these things are. 
let's quickly just drop it into the cannon like so all right then let's fill this up with some extra gunpowder just to make sure that it's starting on full and from there let's hit start let's wait for it to load first of all and then once it's loaded we can hit play as long as the server doesn't crash because that is an entirely uh, reasonable uh, thing for it to do at this point All right then, looks like it's not gonna crash, which is brilliant. Let's get playing. Target not loaded, oh, suck my balls. Target is loaded, it's right here. What are you doing? Target is loaded, this is section seven. Well, this is section seven over here, actually. Okay, so with section 7 now loaded, it should start firing. There we go. It's actually moving now. It's searching in different rows. I think it's searching the sky to make sure there's nothing up there. So now that we know it's working and we know it's not going to crash, let's get moving. This should make it nice and quick. There we go. What's stopping you now? Vines, right, yes. Okay, of all of the strange requests, vines, certainly not the strangest, okay? We, we, we can get vines in droves. I'm pretty sure I've got vines on me, actually. Or at least I had at one point. Uh, I'll just get some more. Doesn't really phase me. You can find them anywhere in most forests. Just have to find the right tree. Oh, and while I'm here, just in case it asks... Let's collect the cherry fruit as well, because God knows it's going to probably ask for it. Let's break all of these down. Not the quickest process in the world, mind you, but it has to be done. There we go. And then while we're here, let's also grab the chestnuts. Lovely. Right then, so... Vines. We're on the hunt for vines. Well, I mean, if we're on the hunt for vines, we should probably check YouTube about six years ago when the massive viner invasion happened. <laughs> right, um... Okay. If we don't find any down here, let's... You know what, let's... I know where to find some exactly. Instead of hunting for some, let's just go to where I know there is some, which is in that cave, underground, where we found the cobweb. So let's just head back down there, shall we? It'll it'll save us a lot more time. Trust me on that. Oh, excuse me. Right then. Down we go on our seven frames a second. Oh, we don't even have to go all the way down. We're just right here. Brilliant. So, motto bene. Right back over to the cannon now. We're going to have to make sure the area is loaded again, because having left Area 7, it's probably deloaded all of that shit by now. So, let's drop the vines in, load the area, and hope that that's the last thing it asks for. Okay, so let's throw the vines up here. Uh, we'll replace the gravel, like so. And then let's throw... What did we find? What was it? It was the chestnuts. And it was the cherry fruit up there. There we go. Right then. So, loading area 7. Hopefully now it will begin its work. Although I would like to go back and listen to it to make sure. Nope. What are you waiting for? More vines. It, it just can't get enough of those sweet, sweet vines. Okay, let's go get some more vines then. And this time, I think we might EMC the vines, just to, you know, make sure that we have an abundance of them. Because, I mean, Ruby had um, an entire chest of glowstone running, which is quite ironic because we don't need or use the glowstone all that much. So, if we just replace that one with vines, I, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, let's grab these. Wow, that was so many, it broke my shears. I'm actually impressed. 
Right then, so throw 30, not 39, throw 29 in, save one EMC, that one, then throw whatever comes out of the EMC machine into it. And that's the plan. Let's go, team. Here we go, so keep one, throw 30 in, like so. From there, let's just EMC the vines. Which one of these? You know, I don't know why he's got redstone, so let's just swap the redstone one out for vines. There we go. Let's grab some of these, and let's drop these in as well. So let's just uh, chuck them up here. Boom. And then let's go load the area. There we go. You can see bo blocks being flung over, which is a good sign. Although the fact that it stopped is not. More vines. Can never get enough. Uh, can never get enough of the vines. Jesus Christ. Okay. I don't know how many vines it wants, but it's definitely too many. Why does it want so many vines? Jesus Christ. What could it possibly be building? What did I build over there that required so many vines? I'm actually in shock. This is ridiculous. Finally, it doesn't want vines. Now it wants cave root. Okay, goddammit. Alright, well, cave root. I also know where to get some of that, so let's go and grab some of that quickly enough. Although, without the shears, we're not going to be able to pick it up, so let's actually just make some shears really quickly. Uh, Philosopher's Stone, Iron, Iron, let's grab these, lovely. And down, and through. Okay, so these are the cave vines, we know that if we watch the last few episodes or the last few hours of the stream, uh, depending on how you're watching this, because this is going up on YouTube later, so hello, I wonder how I cut this up, I have no idea, I have two days to edit both of these live streams into manageable videos, so I, uh, I look forward to seeing out how I figure out how to do that. Look forward to seeing how I figure out how to do that. Looking forward to seeing how I figure out how to do that. Yeah, there we go. Shush. <laughs> they don't have any MC value. And it wants, uh, yeah, target not loaded. Still not firing. What do you want? More vi- are you- what do you want vines for? What over here is after that many vines? Seriously, there is nothing in this segment that should be asking for that many vines. Absolutely nothing. Where are these vines going? I'm genuinely curious where these vines are going. And I'd be able to see if it was fucking daytime. Okay, either way, let's, um, let's head back to the base, let's sleep, let's EMC some more vines, and let's just chuck them in. Sounds like a plan. So, if we come over down to the shit shack, and then we, uh, wait for the lag spike to die down, we head into the base, we get snug as a bug in a rug in our bed, we'll then be able to EMC some vines. Although, once I'm done with the vines, when it no longer asks for any vines... I'm definitely restarting my client. Because it's been a while. And this lag spike is genuinely fucking ridiculous. If there was a person to complain to about the lag spikes, I would be putting in that complaint, is what I'm saying. Um. So. Here we go. Vines. Right. I've got 64 already in my inventory, so let's just swap them out. More vines. Lovely. I'm actually very quickly running out of vines, so this might not bode well. <laughs> okay, you know what? No, I'm not putting up with these fucking lag spikes. I'm restarting my client. This is ridiculous. Ugh. And while I restart my client, I can actually give myself a little bit of a break. Because my arms are actually starting to ache now. Ugh. 
All right, then. God, I've been going for five hours. We've hit the five-hour mark of things. I, I, I am honestly perplexed. I am baffled. I am bamboozled. I am just so uh, confuddled that I've managed to last this long, for lack of a better word. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, it's my favorite flavor, but sometimes it can just fucking get way too uncomfortable. <laughs> While I'm waiting for my game to restart, I just tapped over to my friend's live stream. <laughs> They've got an Among Us plushie, like, as a skin, as a VTuber, and I am perplexed. I am confuddled. I am bamboozled. Oh, my God. All right, then. Let's, uh, let's quickly tab on back over to the game. It is booting. It, it won't take long. Honestly, despite the fact that it's a 500 mod mod pack, it doesn't actually take that long to boot up for me, which is surprising. It, um, it, it, it it's just, uh, it, it's just having a wild one. Um, usually, when we don't live stream this, when we record, uh, regular sessions of Anadonia, we, we only record for two hours at a time, and so far my computer has been basically streaming for uh, 15 hours. I've only been doing five so far today, but I did ten last night. Ten whole hours of streaming. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Speaking of which, it's almost 1 a.m. <laughs> Oh, dear, dear, dear. But, hey, we made quite a lot of progress, and I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth this time. To say that we managed to get through two entire segments, and we are working on a third in five hours, when it took us ten to get two done last time, is an extremely big upgrade. I am very, I'm very chuffed about that. The only reason I care that it's taken so long is because this video is supposed to go out, or these sets of videos are supposed to start coming out in what is now one day. <laughs> After record a star sick, actually no. Star sick goes out in one day. And then fucking what is it? This goes out the day after. So technically it is two days still. But shh, not a word. So how's this for all of your dopamine shots, then, yeah? You staring at a black screen and a guy humming and eating a fucking pork pie. Yeah, I bet you're not getting your Subway Surfers fucking attention grabbing shit from this, are you? Yeah? You know, I originally had a chat box on here. And then I turned it off because people kept spamming their, like, promotion links. And then I forgot why I turned it off. And then in today's live stream, I turned it back on again. And basically immediately remembered why I turned it off. <laughs> uh, I don't get that. Why would people want to commission someone that comes into their chat and advertises themselves, especially when they're like as small a creator as I am? I, I, I average like two views per stream. Why advertise in here? Go to the big guys. I mean, you can't because they're going to ban you. But that's why you should go to the big guys. <laughs> and we are on freezing data, which is good, because that's the last step before this thing actually turns itself on. So, in a second you'll hear a ding.
Oh, I was hoping I could time that right, never mind. But yeah, when you hear a ding, that means it's basically loaded. Which is all fine and dandy. Until then, do you want to look at my Lego figures? Oh, it's come on, never mind. Hey, right then, so. Multiplayer, Anadonia, let's get cracking, shall we? We've spent way too long not active and in and doing something. Let's get back into the flow of things. Right. So. Joining world. Come on. Let's hurry up. I want to actually get in the game, please. I get why people let it vods down now, you know. Because this is not entertaining in the slightest. <laughs> uh, come on. Hurry up. Join world. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Not boy the hair on your chinny chin chin. Welcome to my reenactment of the three little pigs. <laughs> oh dear. <sighs> oh, come on, hurry up. You don't usually take this long. I think it is because I haven't shut my computer down in a while. It's starting to it's starting to drag. It's starting to chug. Right. Ah, back in. Here we go. Right. There we go. We're back into the nineties on frames. That's a lot better. We're back in the two hundreds. There we go. Nice and fixed. Quick little restart, just like that. So. Ah, right. So. With that being fixed, what we're going to do now is we've got... Uh, we're going to replace this. 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 And then we're going to go and load the chunks because that's what it's asking for. There we go. And let's see. More vines? More vines, which is genuinely ridiculous. Right, so... At this point, if it needs any more than another couple of stacks, I am just going to hook this up to the cannon and give it an extra uh, thing. Give it an extra... What's the word I'm looking for? An extra chest, an extra input. There we go. The amount of vines this is taking. I don't even know where they're going. Oh? You're not firing off fines? That's a good sign. What do you want now? More cave roots. Okay, we can do cave roots. Cave roots are possible. Wait, hang on. Cave root. Oh, I think I know why it needs so many vines. If it's come across one of those massive, and I mean massive, underground caves, and there was a vine in there when I was setting up and making everything. In the time it took to build, I'm going to guess what it's done is that vine has grown all the way down inside of that massive cave. And if it wasn't the only one, which I highly doubt it was, it's probably trying to build massive caves all the way down to however low that cave is, which is probably why it's taking so many. As for the cave route, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Um, I don't suppose it matters, as long as we have enough of it. I do wish it had an EMC value, but... Va da, da. I do wish it had an EMC value, but considering that we've just had to restart to fix our frame rate, I don't want to have to restart again. Because Project E, uh, the, the reset command, kind of uh, bugs out the game. It basically... I think it puts too much uh, strain on the system. So imagine it like the schematic cannon, which is a horrible analogy, but it's the only one I can think of because, um, well, it's, it's what I've been using for the past 15 hours. But with the schematic cannon, if you have a pipe feeding in stone to the schematic cannon, like a drip, like an IV drip, it won't fire out a billion stone a second, even if it's being sped up to do so using watches of flow in time, because it can't actually get the stone in there quick enough. I think it's a similar concept where the 
the the schematic cannon is uh, Minecraft, and the stone is frames. Even though Minecraft is usually capable of uh, firing at like it is now, 129 frames a second, even with shaders, usually. Um, because it's being drip-fed those frames, because it's being forced to take too long, or it's being forced to bottleneck because of something that command does, it causes stuttering, where you'll go from 129 to 0, wait a couple of seconds, go back to 129, it doesn't happen for a little bit, go back to 120, uh, go back to 0, wait a little bit, go back to 129, it stutters, it starts and stops. And I think... That's why, because it's being drip-fed the frames, because it's being bottlenecked. Now, eat lead creeper. Lovely. I'm glad to know it only takes two shots. I'm saddened by the fact that my sword can do it in one, but I like the fact that it takes only two shots to do at range. Uh, so, cave roots, we've got a stack and 60, ah, we've got 60 died. <laughs> um, let's drop this in here, and let's drop this up here too. And now let's go load it. Is it doing its thing? Is it is it finally finished taking these? I really hope so. It looks like it's firing stone out now, which is brilliant. It means it might have actually fi uh, gone past the uh, fucking vines and cave root. Now it wants sandstone. Okay, we're getting back into the regular things now, which I'm infinitely thankful for. So, the sandstone is this chest, which has been filled up with frozen gravel at the minute, so let's just chuck some of this out. There we go, make it nice and fair. Yeah, so let's just put all of this frozen gravel. Actually, what? I can just go to the lava pit. I keep forgetting we have a lava pit. A Lazarus pit, if you will. Right then, so, let's just... Actually, before I do this, do you guys want to hear the most annoying sound to ever exist in Minecraft? Now imagine that times a million. It's usually um, worse than that because we usually have a crap ton of stuff following us. But yeah, it can be really loud. Uh, yeah, so why did you stop now? More sandstone, okay. For some reason, Come sandstone... Now, don't tell me you actually fell for this guy's charm. You better thank him for this, Drifter. Thank you, uh, Anna to you for joining. It's very nice to have you here. So, what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna keep have to, we're gonna keep kicking out the frozen gravel, kicking out the sand, until eventually it starts filling up with enough sandstone that it will actually bottleneck despite the speed. Uh, no thank you, Anna, I'm not interested at the moment. I'm a uh, little busy with this big old machine over here. Um, I, I'd advise trying your luck with that one elsewhere, but if, I mean, if you want to stick around, feel free. Just because I'm not in the market for uh, for artwork does not mean I'm not in the market for an extra viewer or two. <laughs> hey, please stick around. It would be lovely to have you here. That being said, uh, why did you stop? Uh, oh, more sandstone, of course. Right, so let's move this out of the way. Let's clear out the frozen gravel from our inventory and figure out why it's being bottlenecked. It shouldn't always be frozen sand, right? It has to be, unless it's because this one's closer. I think it might be because the frozen sand is overall closer. So, what I'm going to do is... I can't move the watcher... Well, I could move the watcher flowing time, but I don't want to move the watcher flowing time. I might have to try and uh, dedicate a, one of these chests to something that isn't... Um, to something that isn't used very often. Because there's not much I can actually do on that front. I suppose if I put a chest underneath, I could dedicate one to frozen sand. So if I dig, if I actually dig a hole under here, clear out some space, put one underneath the cannon. So I have to angle this just right for it to work. If I grab the chest, put it to the side like this. No, uh, not what I'm after. I'll have to move uh, back a bit. So if I take this one out, take this one out like that, I can then do that. Block myself in like a moron. Um, from there, I can then feed these cables. 
underneath the underneath the schematic cannon. Light oh I'm in a bit of a tough spot here. I'm gonna have to go here. No, I can't go there either. I'm uh Hmm. Might have to keep it a level down, actually. If I come across here and then bring it up on the other side, that might work. Ignore me destroying the beautiful new landscape for the sake of uh, architect capitalism and stuff like that. Um, when am I going to be able to bring it up? If I bring it here and then... Ah, fuck it, I'll just cut the line. I, where's my wrench? There's my wrench. If I disconnect this, there we go. Great. It's it's done that. That's lovely. If I then bring this up another one high, I can then bypass the frozen gravel, cut this off here, cut it off at the mains essentially, bring this up and connect it there. Now, if I go back over here, if I load the area, which I'm guessing is what it's after, it should feed itself sandstone! And it stopped the game. What do you want? Mushroom. I don't think we've had that request yet. Pretty good request, all in all. 10 out of 10. Would request again. Let's go find some mushroom. But first, pork pie. Lovely. So, mushrooms. If it's asking for mushrooms, there have to be mushrooms in the quadrant. Which means, if I just keep an eye on the ground around this area, I might be able to find some. But only if I'm very sneaky about it. Very sneaky indeed. Right then. I'm going to be real honest, I just had an epiphany. I don't need to sneak around for a mushroom. I have a whole ass mushroom island on my waystone list. The only issue is, I kind of destroyed the waystone for this area, so I'm going to have to fly there. I'm going to have to fly to the nearest waystone that is nearby in order to use that waystone to go to an even further away waystone. And I think the nearest waystone would be the village of Ophelius in that direction. So we're going to fly that way for a little bit. We're going to hook up on Dr. Phil's waystone, and we are going to use that to take us to my Mushroom Island, otherwise known as the Botany Hut. Because um, when I was first doing Botany Botania, for those that might not watch my other series, um, I needed a Mushroom Island to find a specific ore underneath. Um... I can't remember if I actually needed it to be the uh, Mushroom Island in the end, or if I got that wrong, but I found one anyway, and that's where I set up my Botania hut. So, that's where we're going. It's always better to have it than to not need it. I got that sentence wrong, hold on. It's always better to need it and have it. Need it and not have it. No. My brain is gone. It's always better to not... It's always better to not... It's always better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Got there in the end. Fucking hell. Right then. Um, It is the Britannia Hut. Right then. Let's grab us some mushrooms. It only wanted red, but I'm going to grab a brown just in case. Um... Put that there. Red mushrooms. Ready, 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 ready. There you are. No. You are a an an aura mushroom. Um otherwise known as clickbait in Carson. Looks like someone's got a new groupie drifter. Give him a warm welcome and a thank you, won't you? Hello there, Ellison. It is nice to see you indeed. I hope you've had a good day. And you join me as I am currently trying to find a red mushroom. Not one of the big ones, obviously. Um, a small one. Um, and I'm not having much luck at it. Oh. Never mind. We are having all the luck in the world. So, let's collect these. Do you have an EMC value? 
Yes, you do. Lovely. So, now that we know the mushroom has an EMC value, we can take it back to our condenser over in the... Oh, excuse me. The shack, which we don't actually have a waystone for anymore. Um... Hmm. Yeah, interesting. And from there, we can continue working with the schematic cannon. How have I been? Uh, how am I doing? I am doing brilliantly, uh, to be honest. Um, right now, things are running as smooth as they have the entire stream. Um, and I'm hoping that by saying that, I'm not jinxing myself. Um, but things are finally looking up. They're finally looking to be in working order, which is exactly what we are after um, on this stream with all of this equipment. Um, yeah. Things are going great. Uh, that being said, I do wish I could fly a little faster, because having destroyed our home waystone, it is kind of tedious to keep flying backwards and forwards between places, uh, that we need to reach. But, that's sort of just, um, how the cookie crumbles, I'm afraid. There's not much I can do about that. I could place down a temporary waystone, but I, I don't want to. I'm... I, I don't feel like it. That That's the crux of my argument. I just don't want to. Um, but yeah, here we go. Let's save one of these vines, just in case we need it in the future, and let's dupe some of these mushrooms. Lovely. So, now we can throw out the excess sand, grab a stack of these mushrooms, because I doubt it'll need more than a stack, but then again, it did need more than a stack of vines. And let's put these up here. Like so. Ah, right then. And that is going to keep working. So, until that stops spewing out blocks, we should be fine. So just wait here and watch. But, because it is getting night time, instead of going back to the shack, I am actually just going to turn on the watch of flowing time and wait for the sky to speed past. Because it's, um, I don't want to move. I don't want to leave maintenance mode. And it looks like I'm ready. I'll translate that in a second. <laughs> hmm. 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 This attempt on my life has left me scarred and deformed. Okay, to translate, I was saying, although it looks like I'm needed, and, um, the, the second thing I said was, let's go find some coal ore. Uh, but I think we should actually sleep, because apparently the watch of flowing time isn't enough, and creepers are going to try and make an attempt on my life anyway. So, let's sleep through the night. Let's go silk touch ourselves some coal ore, um, as opposed to regularly touching coal ore, which would probably land you on TLC. And I think there should be some up here. Yeah, there they are. I knew there'd be some somewhere. There you go. Lovely. So, now that we've got the coal ore, we can head back down, or rather head back up, uh, into the main area of the base. There we go. Then we can chuck some of this cool ore, cool ore into the condenser or the feeder for the schematic cannon. Um, no, thank you. I'm not interested in uh, having a look at some of your art right now. I'm afraid I am a little busy with this stuff. But um, you know, it's uh, good to have you here anyway. Um, and I'm sure your art is lovely. Right then, yep, yeah, that thing's working. You can see it's actually running with the sand right now, which is exactly what we're after. Um, hopefully it doesn't ask for any weird fruit. Um, that seems to be a common one, weird fruit. I hope it doesn't ask for any of that. Oh, it appears to have stopped. Right before it would have crushed me. How lovely. Um, although I do have a feeling it is about to ask me for something very strange, and I am concerned as to what. 
So, let's see. What are you asking for this time, mystery box? Oh, out of gunpowder. Okay, the one thing I can never predict for some reason is the out of gunpowder. I can predict out of range. I can predict uh, chunks not loaded. I can predict what block it's trying to get. I can never predict out of gunpowder. And it's a shame you can't funnel gunpowder into this thing because that would fix half of the issues with it. Right, let's chuck you one in there. And let you continue. It does eat away at it fast, though. I mean, you can see why. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, it's starting to fill in this area now as well, which is always good to see. I think it's actually not got much of a, a stopping thing in it this time. Because with all of the previous ones, we've had a weird little stops and starts where it's requested specific things that we just couldn't provide. Um, but this time, I think it's actually just going straight into building the mountain, which is really good for us because it means we don't have to keep stopping and starting the actual machine. Although, as I say that, it has just stopped. And I'm guessing it's because it's missing something random. Ah, oh, purple sand. Not a bad one to miss because we have a dedicated chest for that. I just have to find it. There we go. And into here you go to... I do wonder why it wants purple sand. Um, but I, I, I don't really want to question it. I don't remember what I used it for, to be completely honest. Because I used the, the frozen gravel as the outline block for uh, the... the the schematics. I used purple sand before that, but I replaced the purple sand with the frozen gravel. So why it still wants it is honestly a mystery to me. Um, I guess we'll find out when it comes time to take off the guidelines, because we're obviously not going to leave them there. Right then, what does it want this time? Where did it stop? It stopped up here. It stopped right here. Which means it's probably requesting a fruit? A leaf? Oak leaves. That's my guess. It's going to be oak leaves, at a guess. Ah, gooseberry fruit. It's always gooseberry fruit. Right then, uh, unfortunately, since gooseberry fruit didn't have any MC value, we didn't actually save any. Um, but we did uh, figure out that we can get gooseberry fruit by silk touching it from the bottom of a tree. So, making sure we don't run out of durability anytime soon. We are going to quickly just go on the hunt for this gooseberry, this wild gooseberry. So we've got chestnuts over here, not bad, but not what we're after. We've got nutmeg over in this corner. Again, great, but not what we're after. Um, perhaps down here. Do we have any gooseberry down here? Any gooseberries down here? Let's see, shall we? That's a creeper. Goodbye, creeper. In fact, taste America, you bitch. There we go. Right then, so, gooseberries, 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 gooseberries. Where are we going to find some gooseberries? Charles, I need my gooseberries. Okay, well, these are, once again, nutmeg, 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 always nutmeg. Uh, what are you? Shaded garden? Nope, not what we're after. Uh, they're not going to be in any of the high trees, so if you see high trees, don't bother looking. They're always in the low trees, and I think I just spotted some. That's Paw Paw, which is actually going to be useful for the future, so I'm going to grab this now. Um, <laughs> you won't believe the amount of times it asks for Paw Paw fruit. There we go. Let's just uh, cut through all of this. There we go. And hop on up, and I hear a werewolf. Oh, you stuck down in the cave. Little baby stuck down in the cave. Oh, no, little baby angry. Well. Ah, yeah. Oh, no. Hmm. I'm going to be real honest. I spent so much time thinking up a joke there, and I, which I didn't end up thinking uh, of one for, uh, that I forgot that I was actually supposed to kill the wolf. Guy. Uh, speaking of which, where is he? There you are. Don't go running from me. That's what I wanted to do. After you kill the original, the, um, the wolves just disappear. 
Right then, where was I? Oh yeah, poor poor. Ah. Then after poor poor, it was gooseberry, which is a word I absolutely adore saying. Gooseberry, gooseberry, gooseberry. I'm just feeling dead air now. Uh, right, but if it is requesting it in this area, then it should have stopped before breaking it, right? Which means if I'm lucky, I can just find the original tree it's on. Although I don't think I am quite that lucky, to be completely honest. Uh, nope, none around there. What about over here? Any over here? Any for any, for any, for any, for any more. At all. Any gooseberries at all. What's for... Oh. Apparently I picked up an egg instead of the pawpaw. Well then, no gooseberries around there? No gooseberries over here? Oh no, we're out of gooseberries over here too. Nothing around here. Although we do have poppies, which is good to know, because we probably will need them in the future. Right. If I can't find any, any on these trees, I'm just going to look into the forest near section 6. You're hazelnut, aren't you? Chestnut. Okay. <laughs> Wait then. Yeah, I think I might just have to look at the forest in segment six. Oh! Gooseberries? Soursop. Okay, well I'm going to take the soursop anyway, because it asks for soursop a lot of, a lot as well. Um, So it's just... There we go. Right then. Let's put that in place of the cobblestone. And let's keep looking over by sec segment six. Segment six being on the other side of the map than where we currently are, but there's nothing we can really much do about that. Again, except for trying to figure out a way to fly quicker. But I don't think that'll be happening anytime soon. You know what? Let's not check the forest. Let's check this area. All right, then. So we've got lemons. Not really what we're after. We've got the thingies, the pine nuts. More pine nuts. Uh, I think they're oranges, although I should probably check just in case. Hazelnut. Okay, they're hazelnut. These are gooseberries. There we go. I knew we'd need these eventually. I mean, I knew we'd find these eventually. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a block nose. Hold on. Ugh. I've been dealing with that all morning. It's been hell. Right then. So, let us... Uh, what can we sacrifice? Let's sacrifice the lone cobweb. It's not like we don't know where to find more. And then let's go over here and throw the gooseberries into the uh, machine. There we go. And into we got here. Some fresh meat in the you go. Why don't you show them a little love? Right then, so I'm gonna have to load the next area. Law MJ7, it is nice of you to join us. And thank you for the follow. Right, that made a big old bang, but I think you stopped again, didn't you? Right, and you're missing more gooseberries. Are you kidding? How many more can you need? That right there, that is called being gluttonous. That is called being selfish. And you have that you have worn me down mentally so much that I'm arguing with a fucking cannon now, which honestly isn't too far off what people do on the internet nowadays anyway. Right then, gooseberries. We're on the hunt for more gooseberries. There were some over here, so I'm assuming that there might be some further in. Those are the peaches that I was looking for earlier. Let me check up here. Now this is a dense forested area, so there should be. Gooseberries, right? Well, you, you've, you've got to make sure there's low trees first. Like I said, they don't spawn on high trees, so maybe not in this area. Maybe more down there? No, because they're all spruce. They're all tall. Right, anyway, let's, um, let's sleep first. Let's sleep uh, so we can actually see. And then maybe, maybe we'll look over there, because I know there's a relatively small tree-based forest over there. So let's hit the hay. And let's go honk shoo, honk shoo, honk shoo, as we sleep away the night. There we go, let's pop through here. Now, let's see if we are stable enough to turn my shaders back on. Are you going to drop back to five frames, or are you actually going to behave like normal? Mm, 
let's find out. Okay. Okay, you did still drop further than usual, but 36 is tolerable. Just don't drop any lower than that. There we go, we're back in the 40s now. It is climbing back up. Okay, the quick restart did fix it, but I don't think it's a permanent fix, so we are just going to have to keep an eye on that. If it starts dropping again, I'll have to turn them back off. Right, so. Let's see, let's see. Gooseberries. Gooseberries. No, nope, your candle nut. Your lemon. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Gooseberries, 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 gooseberries. Come on, give me some gooseberries. Nothing there. Uh, nothing there? What are you? I don't think you're gooseberries. So, no, you're peaches. Okay. Right, so, I guess I'm going to have to go further out. Uh, you are nutmeg, and if I start recognizing these by the texture alone, I am uh, going to start to cry, because that would mean I have truly gone off the deep end. Not more so than a person who lives in a mud hut in the middle of uh, nowhere, but, you know, still relatively off the deep end. Uh, pears. I haven't encountered pears before. Pears are lovely. I like pears. They're nice and juicy. But right now, we're not after pears. We're after... Gooseberries. I nearly forgot the name. We're after gooseberries. Right. Um... Yeah, I said I was going to check over here, didn't I? Right then. Um... No, you aren't low trees. No, high trees. We don't want high trees. I have no idea if they even spawn in swamps or not, but it, it, it might be worth taking a look. Uh, no. It looks like they don't spawn in swamps. Okay, well, if they don't spawn in swamps, then my next best bet would probably be somewhere that we haven't been yet. So maybe if I TP over to one of my other waystones. If I, if I waystone over to the waystone. Yeah, you're soursop. Although I will take you anyway, because, again, if it asks for soursop, I do need to be prepared. So, let's just collect some of this. And I'm so glad we have vein miner for this. Right then, there we go. That's soursop. Uh, come on, just give me some gooseberries. Just a few, just a little bit. Just a tiny amount of gooseberries. That's all I need, just a little bit of goose. A little bit of the berry. A little bit of the goosey berries. There we are. I knew we'd come across them eventually. Hopefully, a second set of them is enough, because if it was greedy enough for an entire tree's worth of gooseberries the first time, I don't even want to know what it's going to take, uh, what it's going to take, if it's more than a second set, you know? If it's more than a second set, I, I am actually, um, kind of stuffed, because, you know, I, I've scoured the entire land around the outside of my base, I've picked up all of the gooseberries that we have. Um, and before I starve to death, I do need to remember to eat my meat, so... Let's just munch down on a couple of steaks. Around the world, around the world, around the world, around the world. You keep doing that, guy. You keep doing you, my guy. Right then, so let's drop the gooseberries in up here. Please be enough. That wasn't enough, was it? You're going to want more, aren't you? Oh, thank God, you just want oak leaves. Okay, oak leaves are manageable. We literally live in an oak forest. They're everywhere. Let's just drop him a tree's worth and see if that's enough. And in you go. Uh, Apparently, it wasn't enough. Nutmeg! <laughs> uh, at least I know where to find all of that, since I went on such a huge adventure for it. Let's start with the one over in the corner, shall we? Here we go. Nutmeg! Let's pick you up and take you back. I have, the str I have a strong suspicion that it is quite literally wanting me to break these, to then put them back on the tree. Not because it's being obtuse. 
But because when I saved the schematic, I'm guessing the nutmeg or the whatever fruits they were either weren't grown, were grown, or were in different stages of growth than they are now, because that means it classes as a different entity, meaning it has to be replaced with brand new. Or of course, that's just a theory. I have no idea, to be completely honest. There we go. Now it's firing. I say as it stops firing. Ah, out of gunpowder. Okay, I'm learning to be less aggressive when it comes to the gunpowder because that is actually a problem I like seeing because it means it's not something that I have to go out of my way to collect. There we go. Yeah, it's still firing. Let's take a look at its progress, shall we? There we go. Getting nice and tall, one layer at a time. As it just moves across nice and smooth. There we go. Alright then, so, now that it is... Actually, I'm not gonna say anything, I'm just gonna take my break. I'm just gonna take my break. I'm not saying anything that will jinx it. I'm just gonna eat my Pringles and shut up. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Right then, it has stopped, so saying it wouldn't have jinxed much. So, what do you want now? Please be sour, Sop. Paw Paw! You know what? Just as good. One of the ones I also collected. It is you. There you go. Why did you not accept that? I gave you Paw Paw fruit. No, wait, hold on. I gave you pawpaw -paw fruit, not pawpaw -paw fruit. Okay. And next you want... More of it. Okay, well... Oh, Poor durability. Okay, before we do any of that... Let's, um... Let's go replace the, uh... Let's go replace, replace, repair the pickaxe, because if we lose the only silk touch pickaxe I have, I'm going to scream and cry and shit. So, over here, let's go get some pawpaw. It is pawpaw at once, right? Ah, whatever, we'll, fi we'll, we'll figure it out. Alright then, so it was... Actually, no, it won't be over here. It'll be over here, won't it? Because it, it finished that lap and it didn't start. Which means the pawpaw is around here somewhere. It has to be around here somewhere. One of these trees has it. I know it will. I think I see it, actually. Oh, wait, no, your apples. First time I've seen... Well, not the first time I've seen an apple tree. First time I've come across one while I've been on the hunt for one. Oh, um, anything down here? No. Okay. So. So, 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 so. Okay, well, if I can't find any in this corner, I know where to find some in the other corner, I think. I think I encountered some and left some alone over in the other corner, so it's not too big of a deal. Unlike, um, unlike gooseberries, which were a dime a dozen, not a dime a dozen, the opposite of a dime a dozen, apparently, uh, pawpaw is actually relatively common, as far as I'm aware. So, I'll just, uh, stick around long enough, I'll, I'll find some. <clears throat> lemons, lemons, uh, peaches, lemons... Chestnuts, peaches, apples, papa. There we go. Told you. So let's mine some of this out. And once again, let's just pray it's enough because the fruits don't have an EMC value. Way. We've got some fresh meat in the community. Why don't you show them a little love? J C W O oh, J Cooper eighty three. Thank you again for seeing you. Ah, there we are. Uh, it's you again, isn't it? Yeah. 
I, I almost didn't recognize you, but there was something about your name that was quite familiar. What have you done? You did the impossible. Question is, what is the impossible? I would like to hear about it. Yeah, five was enough. Fuck yeah. A female Jewish streamer into a Kanye West fan. I'm... I'm impressed that you did. I'm curious why you would. I mean, it's impressive, but why? <laughs> why? What was the point? There we go. I only needed a few oak. It should be back to building by now. Uh, if I just put this back in my hand. There we go. Let's skip the night real quick. Ah, uh, okay. Just one of those coincidences. Yeah. They happen sometimes. I take it you're a fan of Kanye West yourself? Or, um, you just kind of did it for the meme? Oh, wait, I just, I just realized it stopped. <laughs> what do you want? Gunpowder. Gotcha. There we go. Alright then. So, while that builds, I am gonna have my Pringle break. Again. Um, because, you know, it's it's better to space them out. Hmm. Ah. Oh, is it stop? It's stop. I said, I said, join the stream. And she was listening to Taylor Swift too. I said, ye made Taylor. And she got upset. I said his music was ash. And after I told her to listen through the wire, and we don't care, she was physically dancing. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, his music is decent. I've never been a fan of my- I've never been a fan personally myself, but his, his music can be decent. I liked a lot of his old stuff. I, I don't really listen to his new stuff, which I know there's a whole thing about that of, um... I like the old Kanye, the super cool Kanye or whatever it was, I, I don't remember. Eh, it's decent. I, like I said, I'm not a big fan of it. If you want, like, Oh, Kanye wish is the best! Sort of reaction, it's... Eh. I, I, I've already, I've already made, made up my mind on his music. It's, it's just never really been my type of thing. Not to say it's bad. You can still, you can still enjoy it, but it's just not my cup of tea. Oh, I'm on thin ice. Okay. <laughs> uh, nah. Like I said, it's, it's, it's something I'll listen to if I, if I like someone puts it on in a car or whatever. But. It's not something I go out of my way to listen to. I've never been a big music fan in general, to be honest. I, um... That's why I don't put music on in the background of my streams, actually. I've just never liked it. It's, um... I, I struggle to hear sometimes, so having music on 24-7 or listening to it all of the time, it, um... It, it makes it hard to hear. Um... What kind of music do I like? I've never really thought about it, to be completely honest. Um... I guess... This is going to be the weirdest way to describe music ever, but I I don't I like music that essentially tells a story with itself, which sounds weird, but let me explain. It's um a lot of modern songs are intro, verse, chorus, verse, outro, right? And they essentially sound the same the whole way through. They may do a little bit of plucking or a little bit of uh, a, a variation uh, towards the end, but for the most part, a lot of songs nowadays are just straight through basically the same pro chord progression, the same strumming pattern, stuff like that. I like songs that start one way with one set of chords, one set of strumming patterns or whatever, and then as they go through, they transition to completely different chords, they transition to completely different paces, uh, it, and, you know, they do something with the music besides just having it there, you know? Instead of just having it there, they actually make it an entertainment piece. That's the type of music I like. Ah, uh, okay, you, you, it sounds like you've got tinnitus then. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I, I, I don't have tinnitus, I've experienced it, but I, I don't, I don't have it. 
Are you gonna recommend me another Kanye West song? <laughs> What was that? Oh yeah, chestnut. I was after chestnut. Black Simonial. Can't say I've heard of it before. Black Simonial. Fuck it, why not? I'll have a look now. Hold on. Black Simonial. Oh, Lil Yachty. Okay, another rapper. I take it you're into rap music? I say, I've not heard much about Lil Yachty, to be honest. There's a lot of rappers you hear about nowadays that have little in the name, but surprisingly, I don't know much about Lil Yachty. Not rap music. Okay. Well, I can't listen to it now, because I'm planning on uploading this to YouTube later, and DMCA will kick my ass if I do. But I've got it open on a separate tab, so... When I'm done for the day, I'll just listen through it. Um... Is Lil Yachty any good, since you seem to know a lot about music? What do you think about Lil Yachty? Because a lot of the time, you'll, uh, or at least I've found, that uh, rappers with Lil in their name are just mumble rappers. They, they, um, they aren't very good, just bluntly. So, what do you think about Lil Yachty? What are your thoughts? Do something boring and cut this out? Okay, hold on then. Tell you what, I'll just mute game audio for a bit. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that's not coming through. My voice might be a little quieter, but the audio is not coming through. Damn, a professional meat rider. Goddamn, you don't meet too many of those these days. Or at least not outside of Twitter. Okay, decent start. Uh, no, I've cut, I've cut out the audio. Um, so that it won't get DMCA'd. Was that Gooseberry here the whole fucking time? It's very vibey. It's very, um... I don't want to say lo-fi, because it's not. But it's very, like, um... Chilled. So far. Well, I mean, I wasn't planning on muting the stream just to listen to a two-minute clip. I, 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 I'm, I am going to listen to the music. Oh, I like what they're doing with the guitar riff there. That's very old school rock right there. Oh, what's the name of it? It's like a psychedelia or whatever it is.
Okay, I can see where it's changed now. They've kicked out the beat. They're changing it up. They're doing another build up. That's good. Oh, church organ. Distorted church organ. Play sirens. Oh, then they've kicked straight in. That's good. Heavy drums there. Eh? Really good vocals there, hitting a high note, god damn. I, don't, I can't even tell if there's tuning on that. If there is, it's insignificant. This feels like a soul song, you know? Oh, shit, never mind. <laughs> That's giving me Halo vibes. Okay, yeah, it's done now. <laughs> I was wondering if that was the end, but then when the fucking mother mother kept playing. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's done now. I can unmute game audio. Oh, okay, yeah. You were right. That was a really good song. I enjoyed it. I don't quite think I was the demographic, but it was a really good song nonetheless. I liked it, and you were right. It did have the ups and downs that I, uh, I like in a song. It was very good. I wholeheartedly enjoyed it. I might actually put that on one of my playlists later. Although, don't hold me to that. Oh, I want more peaches. But yeah, brilliant song. Uh, I would give it like a, a 9 out of 10. Definitely. Only thing I'd say is some vocals, I think, towards the, um, towards the, the mid part, had a little too much uh, auto-tune on them when they really didn't need it. But the rest of the song, absolutely fire. Two out row is a music plug? Hey, well done! Should you get yourself like a, a, a job set up as a music plug? You People pay you to like recommend the music that they might like. No cash back as well, so even if you get it wrong, you get the money. <laughs> uh, yeah, really well done. So, let's see. It was asking for peaches next. Now, I know I've come across quite a lot of peaches. Um... 
throughout my travels around the edge of the map, but I don't actually remember. Never mind, there's some directly here. I don't need to remember, they were right in front of me. So, let's collect these peaches, chuck them in the grass chest like we've been doing, just because we don't actually have an empty chest. And after these couple of fruits, since it's asking for a lot of fruit, I'm assuming it's like the last layer of fruit. After this, it should just be under the, the stone, sand, uh, dirt, and grass. Which means this segment is nearly done. Pink Floyd. Now that's a band that I've obviously heard of before. I mean, Pink Floyd are like, they're, they're, they're donkeys years old. They're, they're, they've been around for a long time. Um, I think I have listened to Pink Floyd before, actually, just not recognizing that it's Pink Floyd, because I don't, I don't listen to specific bands, I just listen to whatever songs sound good. So, chances are I have listened to Pink Floyd before. Hmm. Yeah. Nice! There we go, let's pick up these peaches. Okay, now I can put that back in my, uh... I can put that back in my inventory so it doesn't swap back around to being nighttime again. And now the frames are tanking. I wonder if that'll reset itself. If not, I can just switch shaders off again for a little bit. But if we put these peaches up here, reload the area, that should be it for the for the for the for the fruits. Ah, nope, it wants lemon. Of course it does. I hate schematicking in a forest. I am never schematicking in a forest again. Ah. He doesn't even get rid of the flowers. Through the wire. I've not heard of through the wire. Who's it by? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll bring it up later. I want to stay focused on this for now. But if you if you tell me who it's by, I'll, uh, I'll, pull, I'll pull it up after I'm done. Lemon, 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 uh, what is the story behind the song then? Like I said, I'm probably not going to listen to it for a little while because I do want to stay focused on this, but tell me, tell, feel free to tell me the story behind it. I am curious. Right then. Uh, lemons. There's got to be some left around here, right? Chestnuts. Uh, empty. Walnuts. Oranges. Uh, maybe back over here. Right then, no, nothing. Ooh, lemons? Pears. Uh, ooh, apples. No, none of them. This is a spruce forest, so they're not going to have any fruit. Uh, what are these? Nutmeg. Uh, ooh, lemon? Lemon! Yay. I'm, I think next week, that's actually the, the other fucking one that we were looking for earlier. If I take this out, and then I take... Oh, no, these were chestnuts. Never mind, I thought they were the one we were looking for earlier. Although those in the background might have been the one we are looking for earlier. Those guys. Let's have a look, shall we? These are peaches, never mind. And these are apples, so I was wrong on both counts. Yay! Alright, let's go drop these lemons off into the uh, machine of uh, lag... Uh, you know, it doesn't need an extra name. The machine of leg. Let's drop these into the chest and rest blocks in there. And it is continuously firing, so please don't ask for any more fruit. I am begging you. Okay, right then. The blocks have stopped firing. It's going to ask me for fruit, isn't it? Ugh. <laughs> what do you want? Pawpaw. More pawpaw. I've got sour sop. I don't have any more pawpaw. I'm gonna have to go look for some more pawpaw. Some more pawpaw. 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 Oh, 
Right then. Uh, what about over here? Let's see. Peaches. Um, nope. 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 Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Nope, 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 uh, shit, what about over here? Let's check behind here, I know there was a short forest behind these mountains. <laughs> Kanye was driving home from a late night recording in the studio when he fell asleep on the wheel, colliding into another car where he was sent into hospital in critical condition with his jaw in the back of his throat, and after his surgery, his mouth and jaw were wired, and he recorded and produced the whole song while his mouth was wired shut. A.K.A. why well, it's called Through the Wire, because the whole time he's rapping and singing Through the Wire. Oh. Well, that's a horrifying story, but I'm glad it at least got a cool song out of it and a happy ending. But damn, that is... That's actually really cool lore to have behind one of your songs, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, imagine you go through all of that shit and you still turn up to work the next day and decide to just record a song through having your jaw wired shut. That's actually ridiculous. Oh man. Still don't know how he could have fallen asleep behind the we uh, the wheel, but you know. Not just a cool song top three for Kanye? Oh damn. That's pretty high praise. I know he's released a shit ton of songs over the years, so for to be in the top top three, that's gotta be one of the best. Pear. No, not pears. No pears. Uh no, 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 none of these. Uh, come on, just give me some. <laughs> it's not, uh, Paw Paw, it's the other one. Wait, no, it is Paw Paw that I'm looking for. It's Paw Paw that I'm looking for. It's Paw Paw that I'm looking for, yeah. <laughs> come on, give me something. <sighs> I miss the days when we could spawn these in. Fun fact, the song he sampled through the whole song, he heard in an advertisement on the hospital. So he went all in for this then, like, the full self-referential thing. I mean, that level of dedication to not only remember the advert, but to find the song, pay the people that wrote it to sample it throughout the whole thing, that's, that's... I'll, gi I'll give him that, that's some pretty good dedication, that's... That's really impressive. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Had to blow my nose again. Right then, uh, Popo. Oh, come on, I'm done with the nuts. I don't want nuts, I want Popo. And now I'm gonna starve to death, so I need to eat my meat. I need to eat my meat while I'm ignoring the nuts. <laughs> oh my god. At least I find myself funny. Uh, so there's no paw paw under any of these trees, which isn't great because that's kind of what we need. I'm gonna go back to searching the forest because it put paw paw down when I fed it to it last time, which means it's already scanned that area. And because it's something I legitimately could not care less about, the the placement of a fruit underneath a tree, I I might legitimately just find the tree it placed it under, like I like I have with the fucking gooseberries here. And just steal it back. There are also multiple references to other car crashes and a line where he says, Thank God I wasn't burned like Pepsi did Michael. And I'm guessing that's a reference to Pepsi having a car crash and Michael Jackson? Off the top of my head? First one's kind of easy to guess. Second one, not so much. Oh. Who then? Because if it's a person named Pepsi, I feel bad for the person that named them. No, you know what? No, I feel bad for them, not the person that named them. What am I talking about? B. Where are you? There you are. When you come out, just for spooking me, I'm going to shoot you in the face. How about that? 
Come on out. Come on. Come on out. There you are. Oh, you angry. Are you angry a little me? Tough. Right then, so now that I've got the uh, pawpaw, I can actually shove this back into the um, back into the chest. And with this in the chest, I am begging on my knees that this is the last time I will need to put these in. Was it? Yes, it was. Now we just need nutmeg, and dear God, we have an abundance of nutmeg. We have so much nutmeg. Ah, oh, right. I'll try and get the out of the way ones first. Was there fucking Paul Paul here this whole goddamn time? I'm actually gonna off myself, Jesus Christ. Right, let's get rid of the eggs and the string and the spider's eye. Let's actually grab this. In the mid-80s or so, Michael Jackson did an ad for Pepsi where his hair and nose was burnt really bad. Oh! Shit. Is that why? I always thought his face looked hot, like, demented from the facial reconstruction. How, how do you- how does a Pepsi ad go so badly that it burns off your face? Like, I know there's the whole meme of, oh, you can, like, cal uh, decalcify a tooth, or you can dissolve a tooth in Pepsi or whatever, but Jesus Christ, what, did they put fucking acid in it? How do you burn your face off with Pepsi? Did he fall in a vat of the fucking stuff? Alright, let's, uh... Oh, come on, I, for I forgot to get the actual nutmeg. I'm actually, um... Well, I can't call myself that on live, now can I? One of the lights burst. Okay. You see, that makes more sense. I, I would have been concerned if the Pepsi was directly involved. Yeah. Still, that's actually... I, I genuinely didn't know any of this stuff. That's actually nuts. Ironic, because we're looking for nutmeg. But yeah, this is absolutely nuts. Imagine if TikTok was around back when this fucking happened. Pepsi would have been, like, so totally cancelled. Oh my god. Hashtag can Pepsi. Oh my god, it, like, totally burned off Michael's hair. His hair. You can't do that to the king. We have gone backwards. But yeah, no, that's nuts. Alright then, so, speaking of nuts, now that we have the nutmeg, we can take the nutmeg, put it in the chest, and hopefully, 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 this will be the final one. Please, be the final one. Why are we waiting for the server? What is the server doing? I am the one that the server needs to fucking wait on. Place the sand. Now why aren't you firing? That was nutmeg. <sighs> that was walnut. <laughs> I'm so glad the rest of these schematics are outside of a forest that have fruit in. I'm so glad I will never have to touch fruit again outside of the schematic. Dear God. It is mind-numbing collecting fruit. If I wanted to collect fruit, I would have worked for fucking starbursts. <sighs> I need nutmeg. Come on, give me some nutmeg. Give me some nutmeg. I could go down to my kitchen and get some nutmeg. Wouldn't really help here, but it'd be fun to have it. It'd be therapeutic to have the fucking thing on me at this at this point. Right then, come on. We've encountered so much nutmeg. Where the fuck has it gone? I'm gonna check the forest behind the mountain, the the one back here, which is a badass sounding name to, even though it's just to be. Hate to be that guy, but Starburst use artificial flavors, and that is why we don't read too uh, much into anything that I say, because at any one moment I could be speaking completely out of my ass just for the sake of talking. Right then. So, nutmeg? Chestnuts. Uh, no meg there, no meg there, no meg there. 
no mag, no mag, no mag, no mag, no mag. Chestnuts, not what I'm after. Hazelnuts, not what I'm after. Nutmeg! I knew we'd find some. Now let's just wait through the awkward silence in the time it takes to break the nutmeg. Lovely. Right then, so. I'm not even going to pray anymore because it's very apparent that prayer doesn't fucking work in this universe. I'm just going to drop these in the chest and then wait until it tells me that it needs another fruit and then go collect that fruit. Because at this point, what else have I got to do? I have become a slave to the machine. The machine I built to save me the effort of doing shit is now making me run errands. Oh god, what do you need now? At least I can fix that one. There you go. Oh, frames? Hello? Frames? Okay. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need to uh, either kill the frame, kill the shaders sooner, or we're gonna need to restart the client. One of the two. Yeah, I might just kill the frames. Not kill the frames, kill the shaders. What am I talking about? Reload all of that stuff. There we go. Okay. Let's see its progress, shall we? Not actually doing that bad, to be all things considered. It's already halfway up the mountain, which is good. And from the looks of it, the only thing it's got left to destroy, based on its boundaries, are these trees here. And none of these, from the looks of it, have any fruit attached, meaning we could be in the home stretch. Although it's not actually doing anything at the minute, so I think I just spoke too soon. Again, for the thousandth, thousandth time today. Plum fruit. Plum fruit. Okay, that's a first. We haven't actually had it ask for plum fruit yet. So I'm not too mad, since it's not one that I've had to go out and repeatedly collect. I can actually go looking for this one for once. I can be a little sleuth, a little detective, and go on the hunt for some plums. Some plump little plums. Some plumpity plumpity plums. Let's just hope I find them very quickly. Quicker than I'm losing brain cells. That would be awful. Right, so. Plums. Plums, any plums, any sort of plums, any plums at all would do. I have encountered plums, for the record. I've seen them once, which is how rare they are in this area. There is one deposit of plums, and I don't remember where they are, but I've seen them once. Or rather, I've seen them multiple times, but they're the same set of plums. I just need to find them again. And I think they're around here. Or at least, I thought they were. Are these them? No, these aren't them. Ow. Oh, you are shitting me. I have run out of EMC in my flying ring. I have run out of EMC in my flying ring. And that means that I can't fly over my own defenses. I ran out of EMC on the other side of the wall, meaning I'm going to have to go all the fucking way around to get back and charge it again. And I still didn't find the plums. So, up top. Ugh. Maybe I can climb the guidelines. If I can find a way onto the, the blue glide, glide, guide, blah, 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 blah. fuck it. I'm done talking. I can't even construct a sentence correctly. I am done talking. This is now a silent stream. There is no talking. There is no music. There is no talking. There is just gameplay. I'm bored. I'm going to start talking again. So, how the fuck- I didn't plan this with being able to get back in in mind. I planned it with being able to fly over the top of it. I'm gonna have to go around to the part that isn't built yet. Which is, uh, I think it's just ahead, actually. Which, you know, all things considered, is quite lucky. Yeah, here we go. Over here. If I just hop through here, I can get back inside. <laughs> right then, so, unfortunately, our search for the plums was cut short. Um, I'm really annoyed that you keep spinning, it's actually getting on my nerves. But, fortunately, since all of these are constantly producing EMC, eventually they're going to get full, which means I can just do this. And have a full Kleinstar 
in no time. I've just got to wait for it to... For it to, for it to build up. Ugh. There we go. Let's just, uh... Wait. One of the most entertaining things you can do, you know. Especially in Britain. Wait around. Wait in queues. We love queues. We're good at waiting, too. Right then, so... Flying Star's charged. I can stick this back in my bauble slot from there. I'm going to check over there, because I think I remember seeing them as dark shaded peaches or oranges or whatever they look, whatever they share a texture with. The only difference is they flip the colors. So I am going to just quickly check over here to make sure I didn't see them over here. Yeah, they're not over here. All right, that means they could be anywhere. So let's start searching up here. So let's start crossing out areas where it can be. So we've searched over there. We've searched the surrounding area here, or we are currently. We've searched back there. We didn't find them, which only leaves over in that direction to find them. And if all else fails, we can go to a completely separate forest that hasn't been touched by us, and we can take the resources from there, just like good little colonizers. Right then, we are actually after it. We, we are going to have to go over there because I didn't see any um, over in that direction. So, up we go. And over the hedge. Boom. Right then, so. Plum hunting time. Those are peaches. Not what we're after. Over here, let's see. What do we have? What do we have? Nothing up there, or at least nothing that we're wanting. Down here, anything at all? Ooh, what are you? You're not plums, but you're oranges. Okay, what are you? Oh, you're part of the fucking village. I completely forgot this was here. The amount of times we have flown over it and just forgotten it is there because it is hidden so well among the trees is ridiculous. Right, soggy gardens. Not quite what we're looking for, but I do want to see if you can silk touch those. Because we tried to pick them up previously in the last live stream and it didn't exactly go well. Ooh, what are you? You are Soursop, so we don't need you right now. Soursop, so we don't need you right now. Right, I wonder how rare plums are, because to say I've only seen one set this entire time, it doesn't exactly bode well for us. But as long as we... I, 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 realistically, as long as we keep moving, and as long as we keep looking, we, looking, we will find it eventually. Like, there's some peaches right there. And an unopened chest of loot right here. And breaking two, excavate six... Uh, Berserker's Fury 2 and Blessing. I have no idea what that is, but it's in red, so I'm going to assume it's bad. You know, basic color theory. So, up here we've got pears. We've got chestnuts. We've got spider webs for some fucking reason. Uh, and under here we've got nothing. Right, let's just quickly pull this out. Let's skip the night. Let's pull ourselves a moon night. Do, do, do. Right, well, that's uh, bad enough for that. Humming can only go on for so long. Uh, ooh, light, shiny. Shiny light, hello. I like a shiny light. I want to kill the shiny light. I want to kill you. There we go. Right, let's take this out. Lovely. Right, on to finding the plums. Uh, go ooh, gooseberries. I don't, I don't, I don't care if they're not plums. I'm taking them. We need them. I refuse to go looking for more gooseberries. Did you just walk up, punch me, and then leave? Bitch ass. Where's your brother? Don't do that again. Right then, so. Back to collecting the gooseberries. Nice and quick. You'd think that it'd be pretty quick to harvest, considering you could just grab and slice across the top. But apparently, good old Minecraft Steve doesn't seem to think of that. All right then, we've got a lot of lemons out here, a few apples, some more spider webs. We need plums. 
plummy, 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 here, plummy, 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 plummy. Uh, lemons? Nope. Uh, anything over here? Uh, apples? Right. Uh, nothing on these, nothing on these. Plums! Oh, finally, we got some plums. We didn't even have to go far, actually. We just went to our neighboring biome, which isn't too far out. Um, for those listening in that might care about this sort of thing, uh, it turns out our biome was, uh, ran down the middle by this fucking thing. It's supposed to be one giant magical forest, or mangolin biome. But, um, for some reason, we just had a seasonal birch, a freshwater lake, a seeker woods, and, uh, whatever's coming up ahead slice between it because every other time i've generated this world with the same seed yes the terrain generation changes but the biome layout doesn't and um th this entire stretch was supposed to be one long biome which is quite interesting um and i don't know why it's been split down the middle but it has <laughs> ah. either way plums so let's go put these in the chest <sighs> let's just put these in the chest and plump. Is that it? Need anything else? Don't tell me you need more plums. No one wants more plums. Pears! I should have picked some of those pears up. I knew I should have picked some of those pears up. Oh well, at least we know that there are some pears nearby again, so we can go and collect them again for when the machine asks us again to go and collect some Plums. The plums were right there the whole fucking time. They were right there. <sighs> okay, well, let's just collect these and move on with our lives before one of us has a brain aneurysm. So. Plums, you are now belong to me, and we need to go and find some pears. Let's go find some pears, shall we? Let's go find some pears. Come on, let's find some pears. Chestnuts, oranges, or peaches. Ah, I can't tell the difference. And then down here, we have some more chestnuts from the looks of it. Nope, these are oranges, because they've got the orange, the green the leaf at the top of the thing. And then down here, we've also got peaches, which is always nice, but it's not what we're after. Uh, ooh, apples, never mind. I thought you might have been pears. Candle nuts, nope, not what I'm after. You're not, you may be nuts, but you are not as juicy as a pear. Pears are lovely and juicy. Right then, so... Behind the mountain, the forest behind the mountain. That is where I last saw pears. I know there is a pair of pears behind the forest in the mountain. Oh, behind the forest behind the mountain. In the forest behind the mountain. You know, with the amount of times I fuck up, you think English wasn't my first language, but it is. I was, predi I was predicted a nine in English, and this is what I've become. This, this is what I have turned into over the years. It's true when they say 80% of the shit you do, that you learn in school you don't, you don't need, you don't keep, you don't use. In my case, apparently the fucking English language was most of that 80%. <laughs> uh, are you the pears? You're the lemons. Are you the pears? Your candle nuts. Okay, what about over here? Anything over here? Uh, no, 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 Sleepy. I'm an eepy little guy. Hazelnuts. Um, lemons. Uh, Oranges? No, peaches. Yeah, peaches. More peaches. Uh... Pears? Pawpaw. Pears? Candle nut. I'll take the pawpaw, just in case. Entertaining, I know. Right then, so, is that a pear? I don't think it is. I think that's a candle nut. But we have to check anyway. 
Yep, candle nut. Okay. Uh, over here. Any pairs for any pairs? Any pairs at all? Call in once for pairs, twice for pairs, three times for pairs. Or really, we should only call two times for pairs because pairs. Well, they're a pair. They come in pairs. Pairs of two. Two is a pair. Candle nuts. Oh, avocado. Finally, some variety in my plants. I, 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 I've never seen an avocado before. Wow. They're not as fat and crying as they look on YouTube, but you know. All right then. Are there any pears back here, perhaps, or do these trees not grow fruit? Is it just specific biome-related trees that grow fruit? Is that it? Are you a pear? You're a chestnut. Are you a pear? You're a cherry. Okay. You're a beehive. Any pears up here? Any at all? <sighs> Are you a pear? You're a chestnut. Are you a pear? You're a plum. I found plums more than I found pears, and I thought plums were supposed to be rare. Maybe I'm just that unlucky. Right. Let's uh, take those with us. What about down here? Any pears down here? Any pears at all? No? Okay, let's keep looking. Keep bouncing through the forest. Keep on moving. Let's go. A Yahoo, Mario, and all that. Yahoo is a very shit search engine. I don't have a story behind that. It just sort of is. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. There's no pez long here. No pez long here. Spider webs. Any pairs at all? Okay. Right, so let's keep on looking. Any underneath here? No? And I highly doubt fruit grows in the dark oak biome. So I'm not even sure why I'm really checking in here. Let's just uh, make our way out. Okay, the one area we avoided checking. Oh, pears. Lemons. Oranges. Pears. Avocados. Pears. Nutmeg. Okay. So the one area we avoided checking was actually the forest that we're currently building. Mainly because I don't recall actually seeing pears down there. But at this point, I think we are desperate enough that we have to start searching in that direction. So that's where we're going now. We're going to search in that direction. We're going to find ourselves some pears. We're going to skip through the night like we always do. Like so. And we're going to try and we're, we're going to hopefully, we're going to hope and pray. And we're going to sacrifice a newborn child to whatever unholy god is residing dominion over this fucking land. That this is the last fruit we need. Of course, I need to be able to see to do that, so I actually do need to wait for the sun to appear. Because, even without shaders, on the brightest fucking setting, I can't see anything at night. I don't think these zombies have met the power of America yet. Christ, how many of you are there? Oh shit, it's going night time. I've left it I've let it go on too long because I was too busy fighting. Oh, for God's sake. You are shitting me. What is shooting me? What are you? Why are you shooting me? We're supposed to be neutral, aren't we? I haven't done anything to earn favor with any of the other factions. And I didn't hit him, I hit the fucking spider. Right, well give me the watch back first of all, so that I can wait for daytime. Like that. 
And now I'm going to deal with this cunt. Like so. Christ on a bike. I really need to clear out my inventory space. I'm going to be real honest with you. <laughs> I mean, I've got a whole ass second backpack for a reason, but I'm trying to keep the backpack to important things. And I end up throwing just random crap in there. Like this. And this. And this. Just to free up space. Right, so. I was looking for... Pears. I will get my revenge on those bastards one day. Right. Pears. There's got to be some back here. There has to be. This is the area we are working on. Cherries. Okay. Uh, what next? What other random shit are you going to give me in place of a pear? You know, that doesn't mean you can start spawning nothing on trees, you fucking ass. I swear sometimes this game is out to get me. Pears, lemons. Pears, peaches. <sighs> Nutmeg. Peaches, apples. Pawpaw. Avocado. Uh, nutmeg. Apples. Uh, chestnuts, hazelnuts, uh, gooseberries, which again I'm gonna take in case I need them. Sorry, had to blow my nose again. Right then, gooseberries, let's collect you. And then I'm really hoping that that in the corner over there on the left is, in fact, pears. Oh, they are, thank God. Oh, finally. Right, I... You know what? I don't know why I haven't been doing this, but these pe these trees clearly grow pears. So, now that I've broken them, I should ideally mark them down as a pear tree, or as a plum tree, or as a nutmeg tree, you know? But the thing is, I have this- the reason I haven't is because I have the- I have the sneaking suspicion that once you break all of the fruits off a tree, it doesn't grow back. And I just broke my only self-touch pickaxe after the schematic cannon destroyed our enchantment setup. Meaning that if I need any more fruit from this point forwards, I'm going to have to go through all of the effort of getting a fucking self-touch pickaxe again. I'd scream, but I would be thrown out of the house. So, let's go put these pears into the condenser. And then let's prepare to enchant another Silk Touch pickaxe, because life seems to hate me and wants me to suffer at every possible fucking turn. Pear. In. There. What do you want now? Plum. You want more plum? You can have more plum. I've stopped caring. Take it. What now? Out of gunpowder? Fine. Have all the gunpowder you want, your fucking majesty. Take it. Take the gunpowder. Take the gunpowder and continue to ruin my life.
It's so dark now that I can't even see. And I'm pretty sure you've just stopped firing again, haven't you? Red Oak! Okay, you know what? At least, at least, it's not a fruit. If it's Red Oak, uh, I can manage. I can make some more shears, and I can manage. I can get Red Oak leaves. There are, there are a fucking abundance of them everywhere, dotted around the map. They are liter literally everywhere. In fact, we are paving over a Red Oak wood forest. See? Red Oak everywhere. I can get that. That's something I can do. Gimme. There we go. Although I'm not sure why it's asking for it, considering it's supposed to be destroying the red oak. Hmm. Funny how that works, isn't it? Right then, let's just uh, drop you on in here. Let me drop you the red oak while you drop my frames to four. Anything. Anything at all. You gonna start building again? No? What are you missing now? What could you possibly want? Spruce leaves. Okay, once again. Leaves? I can do! I can get leaves. I'm good at getting leaves. I can get spruce leaves. In fact, we've got a fucking abundance of spruce trees right here. If I just yoink these, we should be good. Let's just quickly uh, put these on in here, like so. Why aren't you firing? I gave you spruce leaves. Searching? What the fuck are you searching for? Why are you searching for spruce leaves? Are there any spruce trees nearby that have lost their leaves? So I really don't think they are. That was outside of the... That was outside of the range. Just by a couple of blocks, but outside nonetheless, that shouldn't have affected anything. What the hell are you doing? What are you searching for? There's nothing to search for. And if you're searching, you should be instant. Has this thing fucking broken on the final stretch? Has it finally fucking given in? Because if it has, I'm gonna have some fucking words for it. Because if he, if that thing wants to know struggle, I will fucking show it struggle. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, so, it has been nearly seven hours. We have gotten sections one, two, four, five, and almost seven done. And you can see the clear difference here with the way the, the ground is raised around the mountain versus where it is over here. But, that means it's going to take us another seven hours. Uh, uh. To finish this last bit. You done searching yet? You done soul searching? Oh god, what do you want? Why are you searching? Is it a server issue? It, is it a server issue? Do I need to check chat logs? No, not a server issue. What the fuck are you searching for? You're aiming upwards, what are you searching for? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for, Bo? What are you waiting for, Bo? If I just do this... <laughs> nothing? Nothing. Just absolutely nothing. F3A, is that going to fix you? No? Are you broken? 
Why are you broken? What happened? I, I gave you everything you want. Why are you broken? Why are you broken? Why are you broken? Why are you broken? Hmm. Okay, Google time. Why is my schematic cannon a stupid piece of shit that can never do anything? Okay, so apparently, <laughs> you're not going to fucking believe this, it's apparently, <laughs> according to this person that um, has also had the same issue, it is apparently caused by the cannon being loaded for too long. It has been loaded for too long. So if I disconnect and reconnect, it should actually fix it. Not even kidding. That's actually what it's telling me. Right then. So, quick disconnect and reconnect should fix it. Let's see if that actually works. I really hope it does. I really hope it does. Because if I have, if I have to spend another fucking hour trying to troubleshoot this mod pack, I'm going to throw myself out of that window. And I think I've just had enough of my energy drink that my body needs to shit as well, so I might end up having to go for a shit break. <laughs> oh my god. This is ridiculous. Okay, let me have a look at the console. No, nothing in the console. No issue in the console whatsoever. And for some reason, I can't get out of the console now. It's not actually letting me. <sighs> Welcome. I want to be in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, I want to be in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, no one really knows how the party gets to yes, every piece that's sacrificed in every game of chess, click boom where it happens, no one else was in the room where it happens, do 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 bow bow, Alexander Hamilton, Alexander Hamilton, there are a million things we haven't done, so just you wait, just you wait. And we came back to Cybermen once again, half sick. Poison from the Spectrus half dead, sitting in his own sick, the synthetic. The doctor got better, but Adric went quick. Moved on by, the, moved on by the value, the darkness that he had kept inside. But when the evidence was falsified, with acquitted pride, the voice said, "Doctor, the run is hot on your trails." He started repeating and freeing his regenerated selves. It could have been nothing. Oh, we're back. I hear my ring. Well, I say we're back. I hear my ring. We are still not responding and stuck on joining world, but that should fix itself in a second. So. Let's just give it a second. There we go. See, we're back. Uh, are you gonna fire? Nope. Still searching, I think. Hmm. What if I did this? 
then told it to play. That crashes my game. Got it. Okay. Or not? That's a first. Play. If this asked me for things that I have already given it, just so we are both on the same page, I will be giving it a creative crate, because I am not sticking around for this bullshit. Let's let it go through its motions, shall we? Hopefully, since it's already done half of this, that information saved in the schematic and not in the canon. Because if it's saved in the canon, I'm not going to be very happy. You want a bee nest? Are you for real? You know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. That one I can give you. Red oak leaves. I can give you more red oak leaves. <laughs> I'm just going to keep gambling with the skip missing button. I genuinely cannot be asked to go out and find them again. If it means having to gamble accidentally missing something important, I do not care. I will be hitting skip missing every time one of those fucking fruit appears because I, I just don't care at this point. I don't care if it risks missing out a part of the very crucial terrain involving a bee nest and red oak leaves. If it's quicker, I'm doing it this way. All right, get that out of your main inventory. That way. Where was I? Oh yeah, red oak leaves. That way it doesn't skip through the daytime. Why my frames so shit? Ah ha ha. Good enough. Forty one should be fine. I think it's trying to repair this tree here, to be completely honest with you. Ugh. So let's drop down here. Boom. What now? Uh, nope. I like the sound of that. It's very promising. There we go. Very promising indeed. Let's just have it paint the mountain nice and quick. <sighs> I'm genuinely so glad it's gotten past all of that bullshit though. My only fear is that it's going to run out of gunpowder. And if that's my only fear about it, then I think we're doing things right. I, I really think we're doing things right.
There we go. Nice and simple. Nice and easy. Nice and not rage inducing. <sighs> the way Minecraft is supposed to be. With a gun. It's actually only a couple of layers out. Yeah, it's on like the last four, five, six, seven, eight layers at the most now. It might not even be eight, it might just be three now. Oh, now it's run out of gunpowder. I knew it had happened. I, I knew it had happened. Right then, so, all we have to do in that case is feed it some gunpowder and let it keep on trucking. That's it, and I think that is its final layer. Oh, no, it's got a little higher, high bit to go here. Oh, it is going high because it knows what's coming next. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for this bit. Okay, seven hours in, we have completed uh, one, two, three segments. We've got three, four segments left to go. I think this is manageable. We have got this, and we don't need glass. Because we don't actually need to use that top part. So I'm just going to tell it to skip missing blocks. And we're done. Okay, so with section 7 finally squared away and completed, we can now move on to section 8. Or rather, section, eight B, uh, section 8A and section 8B. Because, unlike the other schematics, except for section, I think, 9. Yeah, section 8, section 9, and section 6, surprisingly. Uh, the, these have A and B, whereas these segments only had one per thing. Speaking of which, I am going to finally bring out the schematic paper from my backpack, because it is taking up quite a bit of space that could be used for other shit. So, if we throw this in up here. There we go. We can then take uh, section 8-1, and we'll take section 8-2 with us, but we'll only put one in at a time, obviously, because otherwise it's going to completely fucking backfire. And we've got to remember now, before we do anything, we've got to flip off the watches of flowing time. We've got to dial it back, all the way back, for safety reasons. Otherwise, it has the potential to crash not only us, but the server and initiate a crash loop. Okay, so. Let's turn this off, and let's turn this off. Right then, so. Let's throw in uh, Shitshire Segment 8-1. And let's just tell it to start. Fuck it, there's no need to delay, there's no reason to delay, let's just start it. Give it a second, actually scan through the schematic first, obviously. And it says it's ready, so let's go. Start searching. Although I probably should grab some gunpowder while it does its search so that it has a full thing to start on. I'm just nice to it like that. There we go. Keep on searching. Lil Doo's just doing a good old searchy search. I don't know what he's searching for to be completely honest because it's right. It is right there. That is the segment. It is right there. So I don't know why it's searching for it. Um, but, you know... Let's, let's try and help it out a bit, I guess. Let's go over here, help it find the place. And hopefully having the chunk lo chunks loaded might help it search. Because it shouldn't be out of range. It should be right here. Straight up, just, just right here. The other ones didn't take this long to search. That's kind of worrying. Is there a way to speed up the search, mayhaps? Let's really give it some motivation, shall we? Let's really speed up this search. It fired one block and then stopped. I can only imagine what is, like, running through this thing's fucking head right now. Right, let's flip the means of production back on. Is it going to be a target not loaded? Oh, this is where we start getting into the interesting shit. Okay, we need cobblestone walls, and I don't think we actually have any cobblestone on us, but thankfully, 
due to previous cannonings, we do have quite the bit of cobblestone out front of the shit shack. So let's just uh, grab some of this. And it wanted cobblestone walls, so let's bring our Philosopher's Stone down. Let's head on over here. Let's stone it up. Let's get some mass stonage. Let's just drop in quite a few cobblestone walls, yeah? That's it, so let's just put these up in here. Let it do its thing. And it needs mossy cobblestone walls next. How the f... How do you even make mossy cobblestone walls? Can you make mossy cobblestone walls? You can using mossy cobblestone, and you make mossy cobblestone from cobblestone and... Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm so glad I got those vines. Vines plus cobblestone equals mossy cobblestone. And uh, now I need to get some more regular cobblestone to make the mossy cobblestone out of so that I can make the mossy cobblestone stairs. Not stairs. Walls. So, let's grab... Let's grab some more chubble. Let's fly on up here. Once we've flown on up here, we can then hit this. Cobble oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to make regular, remember. We're making uh, cobblestone plus. We're making cobblestone deluxe. We are making the mossiest of cobblestone so that we may, me so that we may make the mossiest of cobblestone walls. So let's drop this in here. There we go. What next? Oak fence. I think we have that. Or at least I thought we did. Uh, oops. I wonder what it's building. What does it need? This mossy cobblestone and oak fence. Hmm. Might as well just take these for safety, uh, for simplicity's sake. It might actually be trying to make these, to be completely fair. Although I'm pretty sure I did delete this in the uh, in the final version of this, so it probably won't be no harm nor foul to actually clear these out. Right then, let's just quickly chuck these on over into the uh, into the chest, like so. And now you want more mossy cobblestone wall. What the fuck is my... Why? What could you possibly want from mossy cobblestone wall? What did I build out of mossy cobblestone wall? Whatever. Um, I used to pull the vines, so I'm hoping I've still got some left in the EMC chest I used to make the vines. Which if not, I may have made an oopsie fucko boingo. Yes, I do. I still have a stack and eleven, which is good. So, Philosopher's Stew. Let's grab the eleven brine. Then brine. Let's make the mossy cobblestone brine. So, let's turn the mossy cobblestone brine into mossy cobblestone wall brine. And then let's put the mossy cobblestone wall brine into the chest brine. Please shoot me now. And what does it want? This time it is, of course, of course. It's a shame it doesn't have an EMC value. It's concerning that it doesn't have an EMC value, to be completely honest. You'd think, of all things, Mossy Cobblestone might have an EMC value, but it doesn't. Which is really, really, really weird. I also have no idea what the fuck. Why the fuck? Wait, it does. Mossy Cobblestone doesn't have an EMC value, but Mossy Cobblestone walls do. That is the strangest fucking... Okay. What now? Regular co- oh for fuck. Yeah. Okay. I swear, officer, I didn't build anything out of cobble walls or mossy cobble walls. Oh. Oh wait, that's smooth stone. Cobblestone, cobblestone. I ow. You know what? Let's just sleep. It's easier than using the fucking watch.
Right then. Oh god damn it. Right, well, with that dealt with... Cobblestone? Cobblestone? Walls! Right then. Well, I mean, at least, on the bright side of things, it isn't asking for fruit. I have to remember that above all else, it isn't asking for fruit, which means I'm willing to give it basically anything it fucking wants. What are you building, and where, and why? You're building over here. What over here needed mossy cobblestone walls? I didn't build anything over here that needs those, did I? I swear I didn't. That's genuinely confusing. Now that is something I did do. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that surprise for fucking seven frames, are you kidding me? Do I need to restart my client again? Yeah, that thread always works. Grass, okay, you know what? Grass, manageable. For grass, all I need... For grass, all I need are some shears... And some patience. <laughs> so. Like that. And then like that. Right, now let's go find some grass. Oh look, we found some grass. Yeah, if the leg spikes continue like this, I'm restarting my client again. I wonder how much grass it wants. Right then, let's check that in up there. Now you want blue orchids, something that we actually have on mass right over here. Because for some fucking reason, uh, the schematic cannon didn't think to destroy the flowers. Oh, that's why I'm fucking lagging. It's doing an update. I mean, not an update, a backup. Right then, let's fly on over to the chests, like so, and let's just drop these bitches in. That was quick. It's gonna want more, isn't it? Yep, it wanted more. Okay, let's go find some more. I found some more. <laughs> Yoink. 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 There we go. Just had to clear through the flowers that I didn't want. Right then, so, blue orchids, once again, in your spot. There we go, there's a good chap, and what do you want now? Mystical light grey flower. Right. Okay, so, we found some of these before, over here. So I'm assuming if I just continue in this direction again, I will re-find the mystical blue light grey flowers. Did I just say mystical blue light grey flowers? Hmm. Mystical light grey flowers. And what do you know? Oh, these are regular grey flowers. Damn, that's kind of grey of you. I do not care for your feathers. I would appreciate not playing at 6fps when my default is 120, please, and thank you. Uh, you're not like grey. 
Are you light gray? No, you're white. Your, your ass right bruise, apparently. I'm about to turn this fucking magnet off. You light gray. No, you're regular gray. Are you light gray? Nope, you're those fucking horsetail things. Cat's tail. That's it. Hmm. Right then. No egg. We do not want egg. We do not want egg. We want the right to gray of fud hour. Give them your white to gray of fud hour. Oh, light gray flower? Regular gray flower. God fucking damn it. I might check back at my Batania hut actually because I know I've I know I've got some Batania flowers over there. And I think one of them that I had to get what was light gray. The only reason I'm not is because it'd mean I'd have to fly to o o all the way over to Ophelius uh, in order to get there since we still don't have our waystone in place for guys view. Um Finally, can I have my frames back, please? Apparently not. Uh, come on, gray flower, gray flower, light gray flower, light gray mystical flower. I need a light gray mystical flower. Is there really no mystical light gray flowers around here? Really? None? At all? Zero? Zilch? Nada? Nothing? Okay, right, well, let's check in that direction, because why not? Right, I'm fucking relogging. Uh, this frame rate issue is bullshit, and it deserves to die. <sighs> Yeah, I'm I'm going to I'm going to relog re uh close and reopen Anadonia cuz uh, I want my frames back. And it'll also give me a break from trying to find the fucking mystical gray flowers of bullshit destiny or some shit. So, how have you been? <laughs> uh, yes, this is the moment in a regular live streamer's uh, live stream that they would converse with their chat. They would speak to chat. They would talk about what they've seen in chat. They'd they'd uh, interact with their audience. But I don't have one of those, so I kind of just have to sit in awkward fucking silence. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's been in the fucking news lately that we haven't already talked about. How do drama channels do it? How do drama channels find, like, a fucking topic to talk about? They say they keep their ear to the ground, but that's got to be bullshit. No, I think they do. I think they go on Reddit. You know what? Fuck it. While we're waiting... For Minecraft to load up again. Let's go on Reddit. Reddit.com. Uh, fucking... Where, where are we gonna find news? YouTube news? Social media news? Let's just type in news. Let's see what comes up. News. R slash news. R slash news of the weird. Fuck it. Yeah, news of the weird. Here we go. What's, what's, what's in here recently? Uh, one day ago, here we go. 
worker sues company for no pay rise in 15 years after being sick on leave the whole time. There's an interesting news story for you. Fucking man goes on sick leave for 15 years, which I don't even think is possible when you think about it. If you're on sick leave for 15 years, someone has forgotten to press a button somewhere to fire you. Okay, there is no way anyone would allow you to be on sick leave for that long and there'd be no consequences. Yeah, this guy, senior IT worker, has been on sick leave since 2008, tried to sue a tech giant for discrimination because he hasn't been given a pay rise. Okay, first of all, who the fuck is discriminating against you? You look like, you look like Pierce Morgan if he was middle class and slightly older, and you have the facial hair of someone who licks Cheeto dust from their fingers, okay? No one is going to discriminate against you. All right, let's read more about this news article, shall we? <laughs> Under a lucrative IBM health plan, so it's IBM, the the banking guys, I think. Um, he receives over fifty four thousand pounds a year and is guaranteed to receive that salary until he is sixty five, which totals to more than one point five million. Um, in that time. But apparently that's not generous enough, um, given the fact that he's apparently a valued employee when he hasn't... He, when he, again, he's been on sick leave for 15 years at this point. Now, that is the right number, right? 15 years, yeah. 15 fucking years. Christ. And he's still employed. What the fuck? Okay, so this news article, despite coming out like uh, on Reddit a day ago, uh, apparently he's talking about someone that th 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 this happened in 2013. He went on sick leave in 2008 and remained off work until 2013. When he had that grievance, he was put on the company's disability plan, where he was under no obligation to work and had a right until recovery to retreat retirement or death to be paid 75% of, uh, of his agreed earnings, which was £72,037, meaning from 2013, he was going to get paid £54,000 per year after 25% was deducted. So he's, he's still on the payroll to this day, apparently. <laughs> he's still being paid. For doing fuck all. That's ridiculous. Why can't I do that? Why can't I be grandfathered into a fucking massive tech giant, complain that I'm being discriminated against, and then stay off work until I'm dead and still be paid? That's, I, that's genuinely ridiculous. I'm, I'm both pissed, impressed, and jealous at the same time. It's a very weird combination. Either way, joining world now. So we'll be back on in a second. Don't you worry about that. Right then, well, I said we're going to be back on in a second, but again, this is Anadonia, so a second might be a fucking year in this case. It's still joining world, but it's crashing at the moment, so. Who knows? Oh, I'm being, I'm being murdered. I am being murdered. That's a lovely thing to come back to. Murder. So, it is night time, so let's just quickly swap this out. Where are we? Were we? Oh, yeah. We were here. We were looking. 
156 frames. Frames. We are absolutely back, my babies. Uh, but we were looking for the mystical light gray flower of destiny. So, when the sun comes back and I can actually fucking see. There we go. Let's keep looking. So, we got yellow, we got those plants, we've got uh, XP over here, which is always lovely. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Nothing over there. Is there anything down here? Mystical light gray flower. Mystical light gray flower. Mystical light gray flower. Hmm. I see a lot of blue orchid. Ooh! Yeah! <laughs> there we are. I knew we'd find some close by. I knew we'd find some close by. Let's grab a bunch of these. We don't know how many we're going to need. I say a bunch. I think I grabbed the only ones that were there. All right, then. Let's head on back. Also, as for why I'm carrying the gun everywhere, I find it funny that it does the running animation even when you're flying, so it kind of just looks like you're running on the air. Like, do 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 Let's find some more grass to touch. Come on. There we go. Let's do this. Make it easier. There we go. Pop this in here. Like so. Give us that. Like so. Chuck it in there. No, in there. Like so. What do you want now? Lily of the Valleys. Okay, looks like we've got some over here, which should be good. No, those aren't Lily of the Valleys. Let's find some Lily of the Valleys. You're a Lily of the Valley. Let's take this Lily of the Valley. And then let's dupe this Lily of the Valleys. So that we can have multiple Lily of the Valleys. And yuck. Right then, so let's put this in here. Like that. So. What now? White tulips. Okay, we can deal with white tulips. We can deal with white tulips. We can deal with white tulips. You're not a white tulip. You're an oxide daisy. Yeah, I knew that. I just wanted to check. Then why did you go and look at them? Because you wanted to check? That's a stupid fucking reason, dude. You could see it wasn't. Yeah, but what if I was wrong? If I was wrong, then I would have looked stupid for passing it up, wouldn't I? That's a white tulip. These are white tulips. Give me the white tulips. And then let's put the white tulips in here. Like so. Oh, it's actually building shit now. Cool. Or at least it was. What do you want now? Alms. You want an alm. You want an alm. Did I hear that right? You wanted an alm. Well, we can give you an arm. We just have to find an arm first. And arm. I don't know where we're going to find any of these. So let's keep looking. Is that an arm over there? No, I don't believe that that was an arm over there. So we have to keep looking for the arm. Because we cannot continue without the um. Actually, we can. Hold on, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I looking for a specific flower that holds no purpose to the actual integrity of the build when I can just hit skip this block? I can be quick enough to just do that and skip the block. I have... No wonder it's taking us so fucking long to build these things. We're going out of our way for things that don't matter to find, like, fucking flowers. I don't want an owl, so I'm just going to do this. And wait for the next 
bullshit thing that it wants. Which is... Something that isn't bullshit and is actually necessary. We need... Mud, mud brick slabs. So let's just, um... Take quite a few of these. Uh, like, a lot, really. And it's gonna need a hell of a lot of wheat seeds as well, actually. So, I really hope we picked some of these up. Because if not, this might be a bit of a bad spot to be in. Let's go find some wheat seeds. I'm hoping that I'll just get one. There we go. From <laughs> breaking the grass. I'm going to say for this bit, one of the most expensive, unusual things we are going to need are the wheat seeds. So if we just keep swapping back and forth between the mud and the wheat, we'll be fine. More wheat. More wheat. Gravel. Right, yes. Okay, gravel is important. Let me find some. Oh, look at that. I found some. Yoink. Right then, plop the gravel in. And let it do, let it do its thing. Until it needs... Nah. It stopped the minute I left, didn't it? I came over to watch the progress, and it fucking stopped the minute, le minute I left, didn't it? God damn it. What do you want? Uh, no. 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 Why do you want coal ore? No. Hip purple sand? Yes, I can get you there. We have that for a reason. I'm not getting you fucking coal. Ore. Why do you want coal ore? For what purpose do you want coal ore? I can't get coal ore because we broke the fucking silk touch pickaxe. Ah, uh, it's gonna make me get another silk touch, isn't it? Ah, uh, all these pickaxes. All these pickaxes for nothing. Okay, let's start working on making some more. Right then, so we need... Sticks and oak wood, and then we need the philosopher's stone. Stick, stick. Iron, iron, iron. Pickaxe. And it got rid of our bookshelves. Look, you know I'm not one for cheating. I don't like cheating. But uh, the schematic cannon broke our bookshelves. We had bookshelves, um, and I'm not willing to let that slide. On a personal level, I ain't willing to let that slide. I'm giving us back our fucking bookshelves. Uh, so they went like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we go rid of that. And then we do this. See? No more than we originally had. No cheating. No fucking exploits. No spawning shit in that we didn't have. Just giving us back what we lost. Right. Pickaxe. Efficiency, you know, experience boost. Another useless one. Right then, let's put that here. 
Next up, we need another iron pickaxe, so philosopher's stone, and I deleted the sticks by going into creative mode, so let's just grab ourselves the wood back. There we go, oak logs. Right, so philosopher's stone, oak logs into oak planks, into sticks, into pickaxe. Pickaxe into crafting table into something we don't need. Tombstone soul mound. Put that in the useless chest. Right then, next up is, believe it or not, another pickaxe. So let's take the sticks like so. Then let's bring iron across like this. Then we'll bring the iron down, drop the stick, stick goes into the crafting table. Not the crafting table, enchantment table, growth, nature's mend deficiency. Let's get growth and I'm breaking two. Not what we want, so again, let's put you in the useless chest. It's getting dark, so I want to sleep. Can't sleep just yet, okay. So, next up, we're going to eat before we starve to death. So where is my steak? Where's my meat? I finished off my meat. I have no food. So, instead, we are going to eat. I'm tempted to say nothing because I don't see any food in there. Instead, we are going to eat an enchanted golden apple. No. Um, do we have any food left inside the house? I don't think we do. We have bat's wings, we have leek. I suppose I can eat leek, it doesn't really do fuck all. It does like a half a shank of hunger. But it's better than starving to death, I suppose. Um, bread. There we go. We can eat some bread. And now it's dark enough to fucking go to sleep. There we go. Alright then, so. Let's just numb down on this bread so we can get our hunger back. Right then, and from there, we can then get on with the rest of this. So, Philosopher's Stone. Stick, stick. Iron, iron, iron. Pickaxe. A pickaxe goes in enchant. Enchant becomes useless. Efficiency 2. Again, not what we need, so it goes in the useless chest. Right then, next up, believe it, believe it or not, the fucking next one's gonna be a really big surprise. It's another stick. And another stick, and another three iron, and another fucking pickaxe. And we're gonna put that fucking pickaxe inside of the fucking crafting table, and the fucking crafting table is gonna give us fucking growth. And we're gonna take this useless fucking growth pickaxe, and I'm gonna put the useless fucking growth pickaxe in the useless fucking tools chest. And then next, we're gonna make another pickaxe. So we're gonna turn the wood into planks, and we're gonna turn the planks into sticks, and we're gonna turn the sticks into a pickaxe, like so. So we're gonna take the pickaxe. We're going to put the pickaxe inside the enchantment table, and the enchantment table is going to give us tombstone soul bound at efficiency 2. So again, it's going to go in the useless chest. And then we're going to go back over to the philosopher's stone, and we're going to make another two sticks into another two uh, pieces of a handle. And then we're going to bring three irons across the top, and then we're going to get another iron pickaxe. And that iron pickaxe is going to go in the crafting table, the crafting table, the enchantment table. And it's going to give us growth one, and we're going to take that growth one pickaxe. We're going to put that growth one pickaxe inside of the useless pickaxe chest. And we're going to go over to the philosopher's stone, and we're going to turn these two sticks into a pickaxe handle. And we're going to turn these three iron into a pickaxe head. And we're going to take the pickaxe, and we're going to take the pickaxe head made of the... Uh, pickaxe iron and we're gonna make it efficiency 2 along with nothing else because it's just efficiency 2 so that is going in the just useless pickaxe chest and then we're gonna go back over to the philosopher's stone and we're gonna make a pickaxe out of oh we don't have enough iron for another pickaxe so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in the backpack, backpack one and we're gonna pull out the rest of the iron and we're gonna go into the philosopher's stone and we're gonna pull out these two sticks make a handle we're gonna pull out these three iron we're gonna make a head and we're gonna take this handle and head we're gonna jump together we're gonna get an, uh, an iron pickaxe we're gonna put the iron pickaxe into the crafting table the crafting table the enchantment table and we're gonna get efficiency two and this is gonna give us efficiency two and I'm breaking two which is really good but we can't put it on a diamond pickaxe because it's an iron pickaxe so we need a disenchant for that to put it on a book first but we're not focused on that right now what we're focused on right now is making more iron pickaxes 
pieces. So back into the Philosopher's Stone, back into the oak logs. We're going to turn this oak log into an oak plank. We're going to turn this oak planks into four eight sticks. So we're going to take these eight sticks. We're going to put two in a line like that. We're going to put three of these iron across the top of the head. We're going to take the iron pickaxe. And then we're going to put the iron pickaxe in the crafting table. And we're going to get growth one, efficiency two, soul band. We're going to choose growth one. And that is going to give us just growth one. So we're going to take this growth one pickaxe like the other growth one pickaxes. And we're going to put it in the useless pickaxe chest. And then from there, we're going to open the Philosopher's Stone and put down two sticks across the bottom. And then we're going to take these three iron and put them across in the shape of a head or in the shape of a flat line, depending on how you're looking at things. We're going to put the iron pickaxe in the crafting table and it's going to be a soul bound growth efficiency. We're going to choose soul bound and this soul bound is going to be absolutely fucking useless. So we're going to put this fucking useless pickaxe into the fucking useless chest. And then we're going to go over to the crafting table, the crafting table, the enchantment table. And we're going to go to the Philosopher's Stone and then we're going to go to the pickaxe making equipment. We're going to take the sticks and we're going to go over to the iron and we're going to put the iron across like that. We're going to make another. Uh, another iron pickaxe. So now we're going to take the iron pickaxe. We're going to put it in the table. They're going to give us growth one again. So we're going to take the growth one pickaxe. So we're going to go put it in the iron pickaxe chest, along with the rest of our hopes and dreams, as we make another pickaxe. So we open up the philosopher's stone and we put the two sticks down in a line, and then we put the three iron across in a line. And we're going to take the iron pickaxe. And you know what we we'll do with this iron pickaxe? We put it in the enchantment table. That's right, the enchantment table. And then we get experience boost, efficiency two, and so on. So we're going to choose experience boost, and this is going to give us experience boost one, which is absolutely amazing. But it's not what we're after. So we're going to take this and put it in the fucking useless. Uh, table chest thing and then we're going to go over to the philosopher's stone and then we're going to obviously grab the oak logs again and we're going to turn the oak logs into oak planks and then we're going to turn the oak planks into oak sticks and then we're going to turn the oak sticks into the handle of a pickaxe so we're going to take the handle and put it across the head and then we're going to take the pickaxe put it in here and we're going to get teleportation experience boost and efficiency we're going to take teleportation and efficiency too along with it but this is not what we are after so we're going to take the iron pickaxe put it in the fucking chest of useless pickaxes we're going to take this revolver and we're going to put it up against my other side of my chest and I'm gonna fire because this is so fucking stupid. Anyway, so next up, we're gonna take the Philosopher's Stone. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna put two sticks in a line and we're gonna put the rest of our iron across in the shape of a T. And we're gonna take this pickaxe and we're gonna put it in the enchantment table and then we are out of lapis lazuli. But it doesn't matter because all of the enchantments that we would get are useless. So let's open up the backpack. Let's find ourselves some lapis lazuli. It doesn't look like we actually have any spare lapis in any of these. I have nether cobalt up here. I have vintium here, but I don't actually have any excess lapis, so now I'm going to have to check the chests to see if we have any lying around, which to be completely honest, I don't think we do. Let's just check anyway to make sure we're safe. Let's look through all of these, let's look through all of these. There we go, 48 lapis. See, I knew there's a reason we'd have to check, so let's put these up here, put this up here with it, and let's grab, can we fucking grab Soak Touch, please, I beg. Excavate one. No, that's not what we're after. Let's take this shit pickaxe, put it in the chest with the rest of them, and then let's make another one. So, stick, stick, and we're out of iron. So, do we have any more iron in these backpacks? I have 48 raw iron up here. And I know I put a block of iron in one of these recently from the smeltery. Yeah, there we go. So, block of iron... Gives us nine iron, three more tries. This is like fucking gambling. Enchanting is legalized fucking gambling. Let's take the sign pickaxe. Let's put it in the enchantment table. What do we get? Efficiency two, and that's it. Okay, so let's take efficiency two. Let's put it in the chest of useless pickaxes. Let's come all the way back over to the enchantment table and open our philosopher's stone. Let's make another pickaxe like so. And let's see what we get next. My throat hurts. <laughs> oh my god, this is the most mind numbing. This is more mind numbing. <laughs> this is more mind numbing than having to search for the fucking flowers. Because at least then, I was actually actually actively moving around. Now I'm just repeating the same fucking movements uh, for the past god knows how long. And that's the last of that iron. Right then, backpack, backpack, give me a heart attack. Dora, 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 the explorer. 
Boots is super cool. Explorer Laura. Let's put this back in place. Give me iron or give me death. We really should set up the reduping system, but that's a weird fucking bug. But as it is, um, I just want to focus on getting all of these done. Right then, block of iron. Lucky block of iron. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Let's go, 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 go. So, Philosopher's Stone. Sticks. Iron head. Which is what Deadpool really wants. Put that in there. Growth so bound, so bound. Growth and so bound. Let's put that in here with the rest of the growth and the show bound. Ah. Philosopher's Stone. Sticks. And iron gets us another iron pickaxe. Uh, I'm, I, I can actually feel myself going brain dead. I can feel the neurons are dying and decaying in my head. Efficiency and I'm breaking. Was I just really fucking lucky the last time I got Silk Touch? Was that it? Was I just really fucking lucky? Because it feels like it. Come on. Give us the iron. There we go. Iron. Iron ingots. Philosopher's Stone. And we're out of sticks. <sighs> sticks. Iron. Iron pickaxe. Crafting table. Excavate. I don't even know what excavate does. I think it, I think it makes the pickaxes act like a hammer, to be completely honest. Alright then. Philosopher's Stone, Sticks, Iron, Iron Pickaxe, Silk Touch, nope, Efficiency 2. Right. Philosopher's Stone, Sticks, Iron, Pickaxe, Unbreaking, Unbreaking 2, Efficiency 2. Philosopher's Stone. We're out of iron. God damn it, we're gonna go cook another block. Ah, uh, let's let that cook. Christ on a bike. I have to say, though, when this place is done, it is going to look absolutely beautiful. I'm not even going to lie. This place is going to look brilliant. Mwah. Molto bene. Molto bene means let's go, doesn't it? I don't word good very often. Shit, my door. Ah, I miss my dueling. I miss my goddamn duolingo. I'll do it when I'm done streaming. Ah. Right then, Philosopher's Stone. Block of Iron. Six stick. Iron, iron, iron. Pickaxe. Please give me silk touch. Oh, fuck you. Come on, what does it take to get silk touch around here? I know we can get it. It's listed in the information tab. Ah. Uh, Philosopher's Stone. Sticks. Handle. Pickaxe, 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 enchantment table, look at this, silk touch, right there, level 1, very rare, chance 2.8%, which means, out of 100 pickaxes, I might just get 2, but it's exclusive with fortune and auto smelt, which means, if I get fortune, I could also get silk touch. Never mind, but hey, at least we've got fortune, that'll be good for the future, because we totally can't infinitely duplicate diamonds or anything like that. So, Philosopher's Stone, Stick Stick, Iodine Iron, Pickaxe, 
Growth, soul band, unbreaking. Growth. And we're out of space in the useless fucking shit chest. So, let's start filling this chest. Oh, there's all the bread. I wasn't gonna starve to death, it was right there. Right, so next up I need to cook another block of this iron. Which I should probably start doing as soon as I take this one, just so I have one waiting for me now that I think about it. <sighs> Come on, give me my iron. There we go. Right then, so... Next up, let's turn this into iron ingots. Philosopher's Stone. Handle, no head, then handle, then pickaxe, then enchantment table, then disappointment. Growth one. I really should figure out what growth does. Because I honestly don't know. No, fuck it, growth. No, I forgot you have to type an enchanted book and then look for growth manually. I would rather blow my fucking brains out. So, handle, head, pickaxe. Pickaxe, enchantment table, efficiency two. <sighs> right then, loss of stone. Planks, sticks, sticks, handle, handle, head, head, pickaxe, pickaxe, enchantment table, enchantment table, <sighs> efficiency two. Keep going for that fucking same chest. Philosopher's Stone. And I'm out of iron, so let's go grab that. Um, let's go grab that block. Let's pour another one. Iron, iron, ingots. Philosopher's Stone, ingots, head, stick, handle, pickaxe, inventory, pickaxe, enchantment table, enchantment table, disappointment. Because I'm out of... I'm out of lapis again, which is unexpected. And are we sure we've got no extra lapis just kicking around somewhere? Not at all. Got 13 over here. I'll try and keep some safe so that we can dupe it. Right. Da, da. Uh, da. Okay. And uh da and a da and a da and a da Growth soul bound soul bound I'm breaking two efficiency two growth one. It's a shame your roll was so shit. Philosopher's stone sticks handle handle head head pickaxe pickaxe inventory inventory enchantment table enchantment table Disappointment. Right, let's uh, let's quickly dupe some of this. In a chest that we're not really using actively all that much. To the pink sand. Oh, purple sand, I guess. 64, 132. Let's just drop this in the enchantment table. Like so. Right then, as for the rest of it, let's put it in this chest here. I need sticks and iron, so let's grab the iron first. There is no fucking way. We ran out of iron, of all things. Jesus Christ. Alright, well. That should be working for that, then. As long as this doesn't run out, of course. If that runs out, then we are slightly Fibonacci'd. There we are. We are slightly Fibonacci'd. Give me my fucking Pringles. There we go. Well, um, so, Philosopher's Stone, Iron, Iron Ingots, Iron Ingots, Iron Helmet, Iron Helmet, Iron Head, 
Can't use the iron head just yet. Got to turn logs into planks, planks into sticks, sticks into handles. Handles need a head. Iron head across the top. Iron head, iron pickaxe. Drop out of both iron pickaxe. Enchantment table, enchantment table, disappointment. Efficiency two. All right then, philosopher's stone. Stick, stick, stick. Iron, iron, iron. Pickaxe. Pickaxe. Enchantment table. Enchantment table. Disappointment. Nature's mend. I have no idea what that does, but apparently it's kind of rare, so I'll, I'll at least keep that one on standby when I smelt down the others into the blazing embers of my hopes and dreams. Soulbound. Auto smelt. Oh, auto smelt. Yes, please. I don't get that one very often, even though, even though it's technically shit for the situation we're in. Auto smelt would be lovely for the future. So, Philosopher's Stone. We're out of iron. Let's go grab some more. Iron, iron. So, stone, block, block, ingots, ingots, head, head, handle, handle, pickaxe, pickaxe, inventory, inventory, enchantment table, enchantment table, disappointment. Right then. Stone. Log into plank, into stick, into handle. Helmet, pickaxe, chable, disappointment. Stone. Handle. Head. Pickaxe. Pickaxe. Into soul bound. Not what we're after. Stone into rat of iron. <laughs> God damn it. Iron, iron. Philosopher's stone, iron. Iron, iron, sticks, sticks. Helmet. Helmet, iron, into here. Efficiency, tombstone, tombstone. Efficiency. There we go. Check that in there. And in here, Philosopher's Stone, stick, stick, iron, 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 pickaxe. After pickaxe, enchantment table, auto smelt and breaking soul down. Oak into planks, planks into sticks, sticks into handle, handle into head, head into pickaxe. Pickaxe into table, table into disappointment. Out of iron. Iron into iron ingots. Into pickaxe. Into table. Into disappointment. I'm out of both sticks and iron. Okay, we are entering the 8 hour mark now. By now, this one behind me should have been finished. However, it isn't because it is forcing me to spend my time uh, cycling through infinite amounts of iron pickaxes to get a shitty fucking um, 
silk touch pickaxe again because my last one broke. Give it up for hour eight, everybody. Give it up for hour eight. Oh my god. Let's sleep through the night. F3D. I have room for one more of those. So, Philosopher's Stone. Handle. Head. Pickaxe. Pickaxe into disappointment. Yep. Oh boy. I'm almost believing that you can't get Silk Touch anymore. If it wasn't for the fact that I'd already gotten Silk Touch this way, I would have I would have fully believed I was doing something wrong. Come on. Give us Silk Touch. Just do it. Look, look, look at the view on the achievements. Look at the view on oh, fucking achievements, no matter what power it's at. No matter what fucking power it's at, right? Silk Touch, right there. Silk Touch, Silk Touch, Silk Touch. Wait, was that? Oh, soul bound. God fucking damn it. I'm running out of space in my second chest now. Alright, log. Plank, plank, stick, stick. Iron. Iron, iron pickaxe, iron pickaxe. Growth. Okay, what mod's doing this? Eternia, Quantia, Arcana. I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look it up what mod's doing it. Eternia Quantia Arcana. Apotheosis enchanting. Guarantee silk touch. I'm fucking googling it. I don't care. I want to know. Okay. So there's nothing I can do to guarantee it. It is just quite literally fucking guesswork. Okay. <sighs> right, maybe that gave me uh, the brief reprieve I needed from the mind-numbing monotony of failure. Nope. <laughs> God damn it. I need another chest to start putting this shit in now. Thankfully, I've got tons. Where'd I last stack them? There they are, 62. You know what? I need some blocks. Give me some blocks. Where are my cardboard boxes? Where are the rest of my cardboard boxes? I don't actually know. Never mind, I'll leave those there. I'll just stop putting them in here. Fuck it. Alright then, so, next up. I'm out of iron. <laughs> God damn it. And I'm out of iron in here as well, aren't I? Yep. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh yeah, Duffman is in the house, oh yeah. Okay, so, let's try one last time to see if it'll let me skip this shit. Nope. But is it finally letting me do it? What?
Holy shit, it finally let me do it. It let me skip the call all. Okay. Yeah, so, next up it needs the, uh, the leaves. Yeah, the leaves that, uh, that Ducky got for me. Oh my god, finally, it's their turn to shine. So, which one was it? Orange spruce leaves. Ah, I was a man of culture. There we go, orange spruce. Let's stick these up here. There we go. One, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, buckle some more, five, six, Nike. Mm -hmm. That cool lore is gonna fuck me in the ass. Where does it want it? Where the fuck did it want the coal ore? Where did it put the spruce leaves for that matter? Why are you in the ground? Whatever. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just get this soap touch. Let's just get this soap touch. Get the coal law so it can stop being a whining fucking bitch about it, okay? This iron should have smelted by now, which means as long as I put it below, or, yeah, below the endearium, we should be able to just hit this. Block of iron. Philosopher's stone. Block of iron turns into ingots. Ingots are used for the hand. Sticks turn into a handle used for the base. Iron pickaxe. Iron pickaxe into enchantment table. <sighs> Another soulbound pickaxe. Okay. From there, philosopher's stone. Handle. Pickaxe. Pickaxe. Hello there, Cal Califi3. Nice to see you. How are you doing today? Uh, let me tell you, it is good to finally see a, uh, a, f a friendly face around these parts. Let me tell you that much. I have been fucking exhausted by this. Um, normally, I'd say things were going good, but I have spent the past uh, five... No, no, I, w I won't say, I won't exaggerate too much. I've spent the past, like, almost a full hour um, doing nothing but enchanting iron pickaxes because my one silk touch pickaxe broke and I I need it to finish um, the schematic cannon stuff that I've got going on over there. I filled an entire chest near enough with iron pickaxes. I filled half of a second chest with iron pickaxes. I'm starting on a third chest of iron pickaxes, and I am running out <laughs> of the ability <laughs> to care. <laughs> it is driving me insane. Uh, I'm running out of iron as well. I've smelted everything I can think of. I don't have any more raw ore left. I'm gonna have to start EMCing pickaxes, which I don't wanna have to do because it means disassembling part of the machine over there, which is, Finicky enough in and, of, in and of itself. Um, but yeah, so iron into ingots into a stick stick uh, pickaxe. And then the pickaxe goes in the enchantment table and we get disappointment once again. Except this time we're flavoured with a lack of lapis. What mod is this? Um, the mod pack is all the mods six, but it's a custom fork. Uh, basically meaning it's got a lot more mods in it. Um, one of them being Project E. Uh, which is what part of most of the machine over there is running off of. And breaking two, auto smelt and growth. Useless. But yeah, uh, as for the overall of what we're doing today, uh, I'm basically upgrading my base. I created a bunch of schematics um, in my free time, and I'm now having them bit by bit get built into the world. Currently, I'm working on this quadrant over here, uh, quadrant number seven or seven part one rather, this first bit here. Um, but in order to do that, the schematic cannon keeps asking me for raw coal ore, which wouldn't be so bad, but each time I keep skipping it, it keeps coming back to it. It's, it's not acting as if, oh, you know, you didn't want this, so let me skip this one. It's acting as, oh, you accidentally pressed to skip. So let me come back to this now that you've unselected skip. So basically I'm gonna have to give it raw coal ore Otherwise, I'm fucked. 
And obviously to do that, I need to go through the tedious process of enchanting iron pickaxes, of which I am not having the best of luck. I thought it would be easier than this, to be honest, because the last time I did this, I got it on the first try. So I thought, oh, maybe it's not so rare. I was wrong. Just plain and simple, I was wrong. Yeah, silk touch. There are a thousand other ways I could do it. I could go into a fucking... Ars Novo and create a Silk Touch spell. I could use my casting assistant device to try and find a Silk Touch spell, but, you know, there, that one's complicated in and of itself. Uh, my fucking Destruction Catalyst doesn't have a Silk Touch mode. Um, I'm, j I'm just, I'm just stuck. I am stuck. I am stuck. But yeah. Um, thanks for showing up anyway. It's good to finally have someone to speak to. Um,. Oh, yeah, I've got a smith, uh, not a smith and wesson, I've got a python 357. Um, like I said, a lot of different mods in this mod pack. Um, yeah, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a python, I've got a fucking destruction catalyst, I've got a watcher flowing time, uh, I've got mud bricks, I've got the ability to have fucking pre, not pre-built, build my own custom armor to wear whenever I feel like it, which is pretty fun. It's this whole range of fun. And I get stuck doing this bit. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if the other people that play on here with me were actually here, but they've all gone to bed like sensible human beings. Uh, yes, Stormtrooper gear. Um, we recently on YouTube just did like a roleplay-based episode where we had to go and raid like a... a, a not an Imperial dropship, but like a, an enemy's dropship. Um, and so I decided to put on some Stormtrooper gear just for the lols of it. Um, and because we were renovating the house, I kind of had to take it off of its, uh, off of its mannequin. Uh, and to save space, I just decided to put it back on. Alright, let's drop you up here. Fortune, efficiency, efficiency. Fortune. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, there's a dragon head. We killed that a while ago. Uh, we've got diamond reinforced leggings for um, robots and stuff. Oh yeah, we, we killed the dragon uh, last stream because we needed... <laughs> this is the best motivation ever for killing a dragon, by the way. We needed iced gravel. So we went to try and find a frost uh, dragon. And we kind of succeeded. Uh... It was more we went for four hours in super hell, um, trying to find one, discovered that it's probably turned off, and ended up sacrificing all of our most important gear as payment to spawn in the ice dragon. Uh, but then we fought it legit. Um, it, it can be very fun. It can be very fun when you're not stuck doing this bit. <laughs> what about you? Have you played any uh, mod packs lately? I'm going to say, because obviously this is just a fork of all the mod 6, but I'm pretty sure all the mods 8 is out at the minute, isn't it? Like, that's how far it's gone up. Which is impressive in of its own right. <sighs> i got to wait for the iron to pour. There we go. Gimme, 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 gimme mine. There we go. Let's pour that out into the Philosopher's Stone. Block of iron. Iron ingots. Iron across the top. And sticks down. Iron pickaxe. Iron pickaxe. Enchantment table. Disappointment. There we go. I played a few narrow turn mod packs. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize there were any actual Naruto based mods out there. I'd add it to this if I could, if it was for the right version. But um, I'm gonna be real honest. If I had any more mods to this mod pack, I think it might permanently like have a stroke and die. We spent the first hour of this live stream trying to troubleshoot because, for some reason, that quadrant over there, that one there, this one, whenever we went into this chunk, it would just not only crash the game, but the server. And to fix it, I had to log on, rely on the fact that it was about to crash me, so I got those few stutter frames of, like, frozen time to act, go into the console, and fucking suffocate myself at zero zero world spawn inside of a like inside of the mountain essentially to actually escape, which was fucking 
it, I'd complain, but that's the easiest bug fix I've ever performed. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, we fixed it. We can go over there now. It's perfectly fine. I didn't figure out what the fuck was wrong with it, to be honest. I don't know what caused it, but I fixed it. So yeah, we can go over here now if we need to. We can enter this area of the base, thankfully. Yeah. Right then. So, Philosopher's Stone. Uh, oh yeah, enchantments. Right. Put that up there. Come on, give me Silk Touch. No. 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 <sighs> If it wasn't for the fact that it was actually actively telling me that I could have it here, I would think I was doing this wrong. But it is telling me I can have it here, so I'm I, I'm I'm just running under the assumption that I have really bad luck. Iron pickaxe. Efficiency. I'm breaking efficiency. God fucking damn it. Efficiency. In there. Maybe add more bookshelves. I mean, it's worth a shot, I suppose, but. I don't I don't think it'll fix it because it's already telling me like when I click on the thing up here if I if I pull out the the pickaxe here and I put it in it already tells me that at my current level I have the availability of silk touch it will let me have it as long as it's a level 3 enchantment adding more bookshelves I don't know if that would actually change anything um then again it is probably the only suggestion that I've had in ages that might work yeah, it is, it is a 2% chance. I got it first try last time, so maybe this is making up for that. Ah, fucking hell. Right then, let's feed the computer its daily dose of slop. Uh, let's give it some rotten flesh. Uh, right then. Book. Bookshelves. I need leather. I don't have leather. And I think I threw away the only piece of leather that I have found recently. <laughs> Oh, no, thank fuck for that. We've got 13 up here. Okay, so. Keep one behind for EMCing. Book. Not enough paper. Paper. All the paper. Book. Paper. Create. Okay, right, so. Book. Shelves. I am missing the oak wood. I am going to... Fucking scream. Da 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 I have I have I have devolved into baby mode. I am going Google Gaga mode. Right, so four bookshelves. Keep the leather. Bookshelf out the top. Right then. I I if this works, I will both laugh and cry simultaneously. So prepare yourselves emotionally. Excavate growth soul bound. Okay. Um, so that didn't fix it. But who knows? Maybe first time isn't the charm. They do always say third time is the charm. So let's see if we can get it in three. So I used up the rest of my wood for the bookshelves. Okay. Right then, back to the computer. Let's grab the wood that I left behind like a little stupid man. Let's grab all of that oak, just like that. Back on out, down the mountain. Right, Philosopher's Stone. Oak logs into oak planks, into sticks, into sticks, into handles, into a pickaxe. Give me the pickaxe. Pickaxe goes in. Growth, experience, unbreaking. Okay. That's two out of three. Let's hope that it gets it on three out of three. Right there. Philosopher's Stone. Stick, stick. Iron, iron, iron. Pickaxe. Pickaxe turns into... Soulbound. It was not best three out of three. Out of iron? Yes, out of iron. So we have to go back to the smeltery. We have to grab the block and we have to pour it again. 
Uh, at this rate, I'm going to have to set up my fucking automatic iron duplication machine. Philosopher's Stone, iron, iron ingots, iron helmet, pickaxe. Give me the pickaxes. Right then, pickaxe one. Fortune two. Pickaxe two. Nature's mend. Pickaxe three. Experience boost two. Uh, right then. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, I've been doing this for so long. Right then. I'm out of iron in the smeltery. I'm out of iron in my backpack. Wait. No, that's tin. I am out of iron in my second backpack. I'm gonna go have to find some more iron now. Oh my god. Please tell me I left some down here at some point. <sighs> iron. Iron, 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 iron. I need some iron. This is all tin. Where's the iron? That's nickel, not tin. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Nothing around there, I'm guessing. Over here, perhaps? Anything, any iron? Any, there we go, there's some iron. Mine. Right then, so, what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to stick the iron in the EMC machine and just call it at that. So that that way, at least, I don't run out of the fucking stuff while I'm doing this. Could you go to the moon in this mod pack? Um, I'm not sure, actually. Let me have a look. Rocket. Uh, no rockets. Um, moon. Oh, didn't mean to press that. Uh, moon. No. Uh, space. No. Uh, you can't from the looks of it. I mean, you could install Galacticraft or the other spaceship mod if you really wanted to, but uh, in this base mod pack, both in my fork and all the mod 6, it doesn't look like you can go to the moon. Um, that is unfortunate, but if I had to go to the moon as well as do all of this shit, I would be running on fumes. Right then, let's let's just drop this in a regular furnace, one that already has coal in it. Ah, close enough. Ah, uh, Betty buys time. Let's go honk shoe, everybody. Let's go honk shoe. Let's sleepy. Let's go eepy time. And Pringle time. Oh, there's fucking tons. Um. Let me check, actually, because it tells me every time you open the server. If I scroll up, it'll tell me. Hmm. Actually, there's an even easier way of doing this. Hold on. If I go into here... Then I go to here and open this. And scroll down. Okay, so there is uh, Blood Magic Dungeons, uh, the Compact World, there's Ratlantis, there's Tartarus, there's the Reality Marble, there's uh, the Mining Dimension, there's Spatial Storage Dimension, there's the Lost Cities Dimension, there's the Alfheim, there's the other and there's also RF dimensions installed, which technically means you can make an infinite number of your own di uh, dimensions with its own dimension uh, generation terrain things. Or iron. Let's just drop this up here. There we go. Right then. We're not going to run out of iron anytime soon. So, Philosopher's Stone. Pickaxes. And then iron across the top. Boom. Right then. Pick X1. Experience boost. Pick X2. Experience boost. Oh boy. What comes next? Oh, that was it. Okay. 
You can make dimensions? Yeah, um, RF dimensions, although my last interaction with it was admittedly quite buggy, um, is a mod that allows you to create your own dimensions from a uh, set series of... Um, they're called dimlets. If I open it up here, dimlet, you have uh, terrain dimlets, attribute dimlets, feature dimlets, biome dimlets, biome controller dimlets, block dimlets, fluid dimlets, and time dimlets. And what these do, there's more than this. There's one for every single block in the game, there's one for every single dimension in the game, there's one for every single biome in the game. So in a mod pack like this, there are billions of them. But the idea is you put them all together inside of a... Um, we put them all together inside of uh, one of these blocks here, and it creates one of... If I can find it, creates one of, I can't see it, where is it? It creates a, oh, it creates a dimension tab, it creates this. And what you do is you put this inside of the, uh, not the pearl injector, it is the dimension builder, and you power it. And then you go in there using these matter transmitters and uh, matter receivers. And yeah, you can just build your own dimensions. You can choose anything to be in there. You can make a floor of diamonds. You can make the sky red. You can make it so it's an ocean of liquid, molten blue lava. You can do whatever you want, really, with them. Um, anything you can think of, as long as it's in one of the mods in the mod pack. Oh, waiting for server. Hasn't done that in a while. Are you going to crash on me? That'd be interesting. Hmm. You haven't done that in a while. Okay, I guess we've got to wait for it to time me out then. It has been about two to three hours since the last time it crashed me, so it is kind of expected at this point. This is no, um, this is no, what's the word I'm looking for? This is no reflection on uh, my mod pack making skills, but this mod pack in particular, the one that I forked, um, is brilliant. But my fork of it tends to crash uh, every four hours. Mainly because it's very unstable. The original one, all the mod six, mwah, amazing. My one, kind of cringe. So, let's see. Got a large backpack. Let's throw some stuff in there to clear some space out. I doubt we're going to need those anytime soon. All right then. So, philosopher's stone. Stick, stick. Uh, iron, iron, iron. Iron pickaxe. Lovely. What do we get next? Growth two. Okay, not great. So let's throw growth two up here. Next up, philosopher's stone. Oak logs. Stick, stick, stick. Take these back. Stick, stick, stick. Iron, iron, iron. Bam. From there, let's see what we get. So, iron pickaxe one. Growth two. Iron pickaxe two. Efficiency three. Iron pickaxe three. Efficiency three. Iron pickaxe four. Nature's mend. Iron pickaxe five. I'm breaking three. Iron pickaxe six. Experience boost 2. I'm pickaxe 7. Growth 2. I'm pickaxe 8. It would have been unbreaking 3, but we ran out of fucking lapis. God damn it. Right, then let's uh, let's put some of these in here. So, uh, there we go. There we go. And let's grab the lapis that we put away in here. Four lapis. Right, then let's go turn some of the iron that we've got making in here into... Well, lapis. Like so. Just give it a second. There we go. 64 lapis. And let's just put some iron back up at the top here. There we go. Oh, right then, so... Plus for stone. Uh, stick, stick, stick. 
Nein, nein, nein. Pickaxe. Boom. Right then, so. <sighs> Pickaxe one. Oh yeah, Lapis. I'm breaking three. Pickaxe two. Fortune one. Pickaxe three. Growth two. Pickaxe four. Growth two. Pickaxe five. <laughs> Efficiency three. Pickaxe six. Soulbound. Pickaxe seven. Experience boost two. God damn it. Uh, and yes, that is a lot of iron. That is the power of a energy condenser. This on its own wouldn't do anything without this. This is the energy collector. It converts stun sunlight, or in this case glowstone, into EMC, which then in turn feeds into this, which counts up until it hits 256. Once it hits 256 EMC, it generates one iron. So, let's try and let's, let's put these in this chest. Like so. And let's try again. So, Philosopher's Stone. Sticks. Iron. Pickaxes. Pickaxe one. So, so mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Finally, <sighs> I had to stop myself from screaming. It is 4 a.m. <sighs> so touch, and it has unbreaking three. There is no better combination. Let's go. <sighs> Right, now, right, I f fuck the rest of these. The rest of these can go in here. Right, so. After all of that, all of that, all of this, and all of this, I finally got it. Oh my god, I can finally move on with the rest of this fucking thing. I'm looking at the time I've been live. This has genuinely nearly been two hours that I've spent searching for this pickaxe. Right, let me take that. Let me take this raw coal ore and finally feed it to the machine god like it asked for. Now what does it want? Nothing? Good. It can fucking run. It wants something now, doesn't it? Spruce logs. I can do spruce logs. I can do spruce logs. I know where to find spruce. We can get spruce logs. We can make this nice, quick, and easy on the machine. Which is brilliant. Right, so, let's just, since we haven't touched this quadrant yet, we can just quickly steal the spruce from over here. I thought these were spruce, I'm gonna be real honest, most of these are oak. Let's find some spruce logs first. Let's quickly find some, these are spruce, I think these up here are spruce. Yeah, spruce logs, here we go. Let's just uh, grab some of these real quick. And now, now that all of that's done, if you want, you can actually stick around <laughs> to see what we were all, what we were doing all of that for. Uh, which is this machine thing. Basically, I built it so that I wouldn't have to build the rest of this place. But in order to balance things out, it still asks you to get the materials necessary to build it. It just does the building for you. Um, so right now it's asking me for spruce logs. So what I'm going to do, just because I don't want to have to go out and get more, is I'm going to quickly pop them in this EMC generator up here. Oh no. Oh, thank God I kept some. Jesus Christ, that could have been bad. But yeah, I'll just pop some up here, and then I'll pop these spruce logs into the chest down here, and it'll fire them off whenever it needs them. Like so. What is it wanting now? More mud brick slabs. We can do mud brick slabs because we kept some mud brick slabs. So let's just grab some of these from out of the condenser, drop them in here, like so. There we go. Now it's missing. Oh, I don't need to do that. Now it's missing some pear fruit. Now, pear fruit is exceptionally hard to come across. So, instead of sitting and watching mind-numbingly, as we have to, like, enchant pickaxe after pickaxe, for this one, we actually get to go on a little bit of an adventure. For this one, we have to go, well, when the sun's back out, I'm using a watch of flowing time to speed up the day and night cycle. But, um, once the sun comes out, we can get, we can go around and basically try and find, hanging from the bottom of oak trees, pear fruit. 
and then using the silk touch pickaxe that we just got our hands on that if it breaks again i will cry we can then grab that pear fruit bring it back to the machine and place it into the chests for it to fire out there we go so let's just put that up there now that the daytime's come out and let's have a quick look around and i think we just found well that was embarrassing That, less so. I think we just found some pear fruit, actually. Yeah, we did. Nice. Let's just deal with that threat before it becomes a threat. Right then, let's just take these. Nice and quick. Not at all awkward, just waiting for it to break. There we go. Right, so, let's uh, grab this, move the cobblestone out of the way, move the cobblestone out of the way. Pear fruit, hopefully... 12 will be enough, because if I'm correct, yeah, we're not in this quadrant anymore, so that shouldn't need to be replaced in the future. So now, let's just drop the Inferium, because we don't really need the Inferium right now. Look, it's starting to build the entranceway, it's starting to take shape! Although, I think I will need to manually come through and put water down um, in these holes. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm going to have to come around with some water. Um... So, do I have a bucket on me that I can use? Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think the schematic cannon actually handles water very well. Um, so, yeah, I, I am going to have to... Yeah, I, I nearly missed that. I am going to have to manually just go around and put that water back in. Because otherwise, these crops just... They're, they're not going to grow. That's it. Let's just take the water from the well. Plop that one down there. There we go. Ah. I am a little worried that the cannon will go so quick that it'll miss and cover up the spots where water is supposed to be, so I might miss one myself. But I don't think that will be too big of an issue. I am all. You know what I could really use right now? One of those chalices. Yeah, here we go. Emperor's Chalice. How do you get a Void Tear? Ooh, slime pearl. Uh, I would have made one, but these slime pearls, we once spent three hours looking for one. And I don't fancy doing that right now, so... Future note. Emperor's Chalice. That'll be very helpful. But until then, I think we can just manage by hand. Right then, so, this one goes back here. Then, back to the well. Ooh. Grab us some daily water. And then we can work on this side. So, yeah, you see, it's already starting to uh, brown out. So let's put one there. And let's put one over there. And I think that'll be the... L oh. oh, I thought I missed a hole. I guess not. Oh, did I? Over here? Did I miss a spot over here? I'm not sure. Just in case, I think I'm just gonna do that. If not, it'll fix itself. But I'd, I'd, I'm, I'd better be careful than sorry. Right then. So, back to the machine. Heading back on over to the machine now. What did it want? It wanted... Pear fruit. That was it. So, we can take the pear fruit and plop it on in there. Now it wants... More wheat seeds. Okay, so this is why it wants wheat seeds, because it is planting the seeds for us. For us. Now, we don't have wheat seeds on hand, but what we do have is an abundance of raw grass, because it needed raw grass in the past. So, there we go. I can now put this back up into my thing, and, oh, I think it gave me hemp. I need regular seeds. Nope, that was hemp again. Oh, come on. At least these seeds aren't as rare as the fucking silk touch. There we go, wheat seeds. So, wheat goes into the condenser. Gives us a bunch of wheat seeds. We then drop the wheat seeds into the chest. 
and it fires off. Right then, what does it need now? More mud brick slabs. Before it does that, I want to go check on the seeds to make sure they're all getting their water. There we go, they're doing fine over there. Let's see, what about here? Yeah, these lot are doing fine here, which is good. These lot are fine. Okay, so they are getting their water. The mountain is hurting you. <laughs> what mountain? This mountain? Oh, by the crops? This thing. Or this thing. <laughs> or this thing here. Yeah. Any number of things. The small one, this one. Yeah, don't worry. The machine will clear that out. The way it works, it's it's almost like a printer. It scans in lines. Hmm. It scans in lines. And uh, then it erases from bottom up. So eventually, when it gets high enough, that will disappear. Um, unless you mean this one, in which case this will also disappear. Alright then, so next up, it wanted more mud bricks. So let's give it more mud bricks. What now? Frost garden. Right, okay. So. Now the frost garden, I don't think can actually be, like, a got, for lack of a better word, in survival mode. We've tried with shears. I want to try with silk touch. If this doesn't work, this is one of the very few blocks we have to make an exception for when we head into creative mode. But I just want to test first. Silk touch. It gave you spinach. Okay? And just to prove that I'm not, like, BSing, if I can find my pair of shears, or you know what, fuck it, I'll just make a new pair. We'll find another frost garden, and I'll show you that it can't actually be picked up. So, we've seen a ton of frost gardens around, I just need to find a second one. Is this one? This is one. Yeah, and when I broke that, it gave me juniper berries. So, I am going to have to give myself a single frost garden in order to progress with the cannon. Unfortunately, it's just how it is, but at the end of the day, it's kind of a useless plant. So it's not really giving me any sort of advantage. At least that's how me and the team have been justifying it in the past. So if I just grab a frost garden. There we go. Head back into survival mode. Drop this in. It should shut up without it. It wants another frost garden. Let's give it another frost garden. Okay, now it wants avocado, which we can get in survival mode, so we can just uh, forget that that ever happened. You can close your eyes and pretend that that didn't happen. And we can go and find some avocado. Now, we do have avocado plants nearby. Uh, we haven't encountered them very frequently, but we do have some in the area. So if we just go around now, scanning the bottoms of trees in order to find some, then we, we should be able to silk touch them. Uh, off the bottom of trees. That's not an avocado. That's a hazelnut. That's it. That's a peach. Yes, I'm, I've been, I've spent that long looking for them, but I can I, died, I can identify them by sight now, which is kind of sad. Uh, let's see what else is there. That's not hazelnut. That's chestnut. That is p pine nut. You don't encounter that one too often. Uh, let's see what else have we got. What else have we got? Is there anything down here? Let's see. This is another hazelnut. Midge fly, get out of here. And then back here, we've got a peach and... Okay, so, no avocados back here. We're gonna have to go in the opposite direction and check just past quadrant four to see if there's any avocado plants left in that direction. So, if we head on over here, unfortunately we can't go any quicker than this, but we can play a funky little running animation while we fly, which is pretty funny. Um... We can have a look on the other side of the uh, mountain in the forest to see if there are any avocado plants in here. So, looking around, we're not going to find any near the entrance because all of that will have been picked clean in my past attempts to uh, get a hold of some plants. So, let's see, let's see. I'm going to check in this direction as well because this direction... Ooh, oh, uh, those are plums. Plums... I knew there was one back here. Hang on. I missed this last time. Either I'm taking these with me. We don't need them right now, but I'm taking them with me because I, it, 
really hard to find plums. Um, and we're going to keep looking for some avocado. So, do these trees have any avocado? No, they do not. How about over here? No, those are the pine nuts. Uh, no avocado. No avocado. No avocado. Oh, no, that's candle nut. Um. Okay, if there's none back here, we can check in this direction, I believe. Oh, hello? Ah, more pears. I'll take the pears anyway. Never pass up a good pear. Pears are very juicy. Juicy pears are fantabulous, my dear. Right, let's collect those pears. There we go. And be on our merry way. Or actually, before we are on our merry way, let me uh, do the time thing. It's like the fucking Moon Knight scene from the MCU. Or Doctor Strange. One of the two. Pick your favorite. If you had a ton of these, it would stack and the fucking day-night cycle would spin like a fucking washing machine. Oh! I'm so a there's, a, there's a furry trying to trying to get me. Oh no. I, I didn't expect there to be a tree there. Hi! Bye! America! Fuck yeah! None of the free and the home of diabetes! Oh. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Is that the Hulk? Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. Right then, so... Avocados. I nearly completely forgot what my mission was then. Oh, shit. Wait, I need to take that out of my... Ooh. Ooh, it's midday. I left that in there a little too long. I let that cook a little too long. Someone should have told me to stop cooking. Right, paw paw. A... Hard to find, but also pretty common in this area. Uh, nothing over here. What about over here? Do we have any avocado over here? Skim the outside first. Avocado? No, chestnut. Avocado? No, walnut. Um... No, it doesn't look like there's any on the outside over here. Over here, mayhaps. No, that's chestnut. Uh, up here? Any up here? Oh, oh, no, those are lemons. Those are the, uh, candle nuts. <sighs> Itchy back. Um, is there any over in this direction, perhaps? None on these trees. That is orange? Peach. Okay, I couldn't see the green top, so I couldn't be sure. Not that one. Avocados are long and green. They look a lot... No, no those are lemons. They look a lot like zucchini. Um... Maybe if I check this forest over here. It's not very often this forest has... Uh, plants with things growing from them. Those are oranges. Zucchini. Not zucchini. Fucking... Ah. Oh, poor, poor. These are avocados. Here we go. So, we can now, um, silk touch the avocados. Nice and quick. Nice and quick. There we go. We can, uh, store the avocados up there. And then we can head on back over to the machine. Now, if you're wondering why we don't EMC the avocados, it's because they don't have an EMC value, okay? There's no actual value assigned to them. And while we could manually assign them a value, uh, we don't like to do that too often because it has the side effect of sometimes uh, crashing your game. And I don't particularly want to deal with that again. So, let's throw the avocado up here. What does it want next? It wants purple sand. That is something we do have a chest for. So if I grab just a stack of purple sand, put that in here, we should be golden. Until, of course, it asks for... Another fucking frost garden. So, let's grab a frost garden. Let's feed it in. And then let's go back to survival mode. There we go. Now, it should, probably shouldn't be asking me for a frost garden. Um... Ever again.
Yes, the explosions. Normally, okay, gooseberries, we have these. Normally, the explosions are a lot more doo, 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 doo. Um, but uh, because we've got all of these watches of flowing times, it's extremely quick. Uh, gooseberries. Uh, gooseberries, uh, we needed a lot of last time. So I managed to collect quite a few over here. 24 of them. Uh, so if I just throw these in this chest here. Now it should be going. Spruce leaves. Regular spruce leaves. Again, something that I can actually get my hands on. I just need my... Did I make a pair of shears when I had shears in my inventory? God damn it. All I need now is a set of spruce leaves that I can then just chuck into the box. And it should use them, but I'm not sure what for. Because it should only be asking for the orange spruce leaves over here. Not the regular ones. Um, but I guess we'll find out in a second. So if I just, uh, yoink these, and then head back over to the box, I'll let it keep running. Unfortunately, this is one of the ones that is going to require high maintenance. Uh, this middle one required barely any maintenance at all. But the reason this one requires high maintenance is because this actually has a lot of man-made buildings within the schematic versus the other ones, which is natural natural terrain generation so stone sand dirt grass stuff like that so i can't really just leave this one on its own what next book fence again another man-made structure let's pull out our philosopher's stone let's stick it up in this his house i've completely forgotten how to make fucking fences uh god damn it right let's do that and then I think it's one on either side, and then stamp. No, that's a fence gate. Okay. So it's actually sticks in the middle and wood on either side. So if I just. If I just do this. And then wood on either side and stick in the center. There we go. That gives us 21 fences. So. Let's get these fences in. There we go. And now it wants snow. Why do you want snow? Okay, you know what? Fine. You want snow? I'll get you snow. You can pick up snow with a shovel. I'm pretty sure you can still touch snow, but I'd rather just get the snowballs and craft, craft it. Ooh, it's getting dark. Let's fix that with a control truck. Bam. Right then. So, snowballs into snow blocks. Into no. No pun intended. How do I create flat snow using this? Is there a way to create flat snow? Oh, you can. You need the snow blocks to create the flat snow. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. So if I do that, and then I do that. There we go. And then I head back to the machine. I can then pull out the Philosopher's Stone. And then I can turn the snow blocks into the small snow, just like that. And then I can take the water flow in time and swap it out with the small snow so that it doesn't overshoot. Right then, snow in the crate. Orange spruce leaves. Again, something we can do because we have quite a lot. So let's just uh, bish bash bosh that. Let's just uh, grab some of that. And then let's put some of that and some of that. And let's top it up on gunpowder while we're here. More purple sand? Doable. So, let's just... Uh, oh, wrong one. Let's just do that there. There we go. And then we can drop that there into uh, there. There we go. And what next? More orange spruce leaves. Okay, so let's just grab a stack of those. In fact, let's grab two stacks. And then let's put one in, just in case we need the others. Candle nut fruit, right. This one, not a very common choice. So in all my time doing this, I don't think I've actually manually picked up any candle nut fruit. So we're going to go do that now. Let's just take a wander over and have a look at the progress in the meantime. Hmm. That's a bit weird. Usually it would ask for lanterns on the bottom of these. I, In fact, it would, it would ask for lanterns inside of these. I'm not sure why it hasn't yet, to be completely honest. 
Maybe, maybe it skipped them? It shouldn't have done, but there should be lanterns in these trees. If it skipped them, I might have to re-go over this, just in case. Right, either way, candle nut, and if we re-go over it, instead of collecting all of the resources again, I'll just use a, uh, a special crate that will basically just ensure that everything works properly. The way I see it, I've already collected the resources once. If I have to go over it again, it's, it's fine. Right, um... Candle nut. Right, I nearly forgot what I was going for. So if we just, uh... Slalom our way through here... Ow, ow, ow. Right then, candle nut. You're not candle nut, you're goose... Ooh, goose breeze. Don't want to leave these behind. These are very hard to come across. And yoink. There we go. Right then. Candle nut. We saw some candle nut over in this direction. If I just fly over the trees. Up top over here. Down through here. Lemons. Okay, there were lemons near the candle nut. Over here, I believe. We saw candle nuts around here, didn't we? Mm, there, candle nut. I knew there. I knew there was some around here. I knew there was some around here. I mean, I would have. I would have eventually started mapping them out after fucking visiting this place so many times. There we go, candle nut. Lovely, 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 lovely. We can actually move on that now. Although White's asking me for candle nut, I still don't know because there should be no candle nut on any of these trees. <laughs> Sometimes I swear it just asks for random stuff to stress me out. Right then. Candle nut in you go. And next up it is more orange spruce. So let's get that. Orange spruce. And orange spruce. Lovely. Actually, let's grab some uh, gunpowder while we're at it. There we go. Oh, you want more snow? We can do that. We can certainly get you more snow. Uh, open this up. Nope. Open this up. Let's drop this in there. This in there. Uh, let's drop this in there. Let's drop this in there. Let's drop uh, this in there. Grab some space. Right then. So, snow time. Ah, that was a pun. I didn't even realize I made a pun. It's snow time. Right then, so, let's gather the snow. Oh, what do you snow? Soak touch doesn't work. Right then, snowballs, snowballs, snowballs. Right then, so. One, two, three, four. Let's grab all of this. And then, one, two, three, Four, and then let's grab all of this. And then... <laughs> one, two, three, four. Let's grab all of this. 48 snow blocks. Not bad. Right then, so. With the snow blocks, let's quickly eat so we don't starve to death. With the snow blocks, we then turn them into snow... Uh, Slots? I don't know. There's no way I can make that rhyme. And then let's throw these up here. And then let's throw these up here. There we go. Hopefully by now it's focused on just building up the mountain. That's lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Although I think it's stopped, and I'm not sure why. I better go have a look, just in case. Uh, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? It is... Chains! Yes! I knew it would ask for those eventually. Chains. Right, so. In order to make chains, I need iron nuggets and iron, which, uh... Well, I mean, thanks to our previous escapade with the uh, Silk Touch incident, 
Um, we now have quite the abundance of iron. So let's just grab some of that. Let's turn some of this into nuggets. And then let's turn the rest of that into chains, like so. There we go. 50 chains. That'll be enough. I like the cool little texture they have. It's very 3D. It's nice. Alright then, so, chain goes up here, like so. Gun continues on like normal. Hi, I'm Barry Scott, and welcome to Shillit Bank. Oh, it stopped. Oak fence. Okay, oak fence is doable. We can do oak fences. Uh, so, oak fence was wood on either side, and sticks in the center. Like that. There we go. 24 probably isn't enough, so let's just EMC it real quick. There we go. Yoink. And let's drop these in. And now it wants an aura bloom. <laughs> I'm gonna be real honest, I don't think I've seen an aura bloom in this whole time. Um, ooh. Yeah, you forgot about that. Aura bloom, aura bloom, aura bloom. Where am I gonna find an aura bloom? I don't even know how they spawn. Um, are they aura blooms? They're aura blooms. Okay. So, I'm gonna assume silk touch. Yep. Yoink. 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 Big McYoinkies from McSplinkies. Like Zoink Scoop? Ruh -ruh raggy. What am I doing? Right, so let's put these up here. Now will it continue? Purple sand. Okay. Fixable. We have one of those for a reason. There we go. Hopefully, I can leave it alone by now. It'll keep placing stuff. There we go. You can actually kind of see it building now. Moving in layer by layer. Which is nice and pretty. And also very satisfying if you ignore the giant gaping hole in the side of one of the mountains. Um, the construction process of this mountain was not very pretty. I'll give you that. It, um... I got quite angry with the mountain a few times, so that's why it's kind of hollowed out. <laughs> uh, but from below, it looks alright. I wish I didn't... I wish the shapes used to form it weren't so obvious, but... As someone who's not really that well acquainted with World Edit, I mean... I'd say I did an alright job. Alright then, let's just check down here. You shouldn't be there. Alright then, as for the rest of this... Yeah, that's got that's that's got its water. That's got its water. That's got its water. I am still very concerned about the missing lanterns, though. Out of gunpowder. Okay, well that's an issue I can actually fix. There we go. Just stop, buddy. Candle nut. More candle nut. It's always candle nut with this thing. You know what? Let's try and find where it placed the candle nut last time and steal it back. <laughs> Instead of going on this massive journey to try and find some more, let's just try and steal the candle nut it placed down. Uh, yep, right here at the top. Uh, hello? Excuse you? What the fuck are you doing here? You're dead either way, but I don't expect to see you here again, mister. Right then. Candle nut. Let's just be a little bit of a thief here, shall we? 
Save us, save us some time. And yoink. Hmm. Bit of a weird setup. Right then, so. Oh, I've got a basil shard. Nice. Ooh, health crate. Yummy. And just sort through all of that. Oh boy. Right then, so. Now that that's done, the top of the mountain clearly isn't, which means this thing stopped again. Oh yeah, it wanted candle nut. What am I talking about? That's why I went over there. Uh, pistol ammo. Interesting. Right then. Candle nut. And this should be it. Never mind, it's never it. Walnut. Wants walnut. Okay, you want walnut? You can fucking have walnut. Let me find some walnut. Uh, is there any up here? I could have sworn we had some nearby. I mistook walnut for something once, didn't I? What did I do with that? Chest, chestnut fruit. Garlic. Soursop. Oh, guess not. Guess it just goes to show you should always be prepared. Nice, my crops are already growing. Although from the looks of it, it's not actually started placing in uh, the water around the edges yet, which is something I need to fix. If I want these things to keep growing as they are. Right then, so walnut, 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 walnut. Are you walnut? No, you're pine nut. Pine, 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 pine. I need walnuts. I need walnuts. Right, let me check back over there. I know there's got to be some over there. Right then, let's check around on ground level. We've always had some eyes in the skies. Maybe it's time to check around on the ground. Ooh, you them? Eh, oh, you're not Meg. Fucking clickbait fucking nuts. We need walnut, 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 walnut. Wait. Was it walnut? It wasn't walnut, was it? If it was walnut, then I know what we're getting. What mod pack is this? Um, this is a custom fork of all the mod 6. Um, this one has been forked to include quite a few more mods. Um, but the base, if you want the base mod, is all the mod 6. Yeah, it, it's walnut. If it's walnut, then I know what I'm looking for. Why, did I, why does it look so different than when it's fully grown? Whatever. Right, if it's walnut, I know exactly where I need to go. It's fucking over here. Over there. Hey, piggy. And then let's just... Uh, oh, 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 chestnut. Okay, no, we need the wall variety, the darker variety. Is, this, is there any still over here? Uh, no, your lemons. There we go. Oh, these are chestnuts. Walnut! There we go. I knew we'd find some over here. I'm gonna be real honest. Usually ours is good enough. But for the past two live streams today, ours has been absolutely shitting the bed with this mod pack. I've even had to turn my shaders off. Because it's just not been showing up like the the frames have just been out for breakfast i guess they've been kaputskis they've been gone um which is not great but i mean as much as it feels like it'll be forever one day you will be able to uh, get that brilliant computer and you will be able to play this mod pack even if it just takes that little bit longer than you think it will that's all Hey, it's touching tips. It's nearly complete. Uh, 
And I think that signifies that it's finished. So I just do that. Yeah, done. All right then, that's another empty schematic stricken off the record. We only have now, if I look at the map, one, two, three, four. No, not even that. One, two, three and a half sections left to do. Three and a half sections, that's it. So if I put this with the rest of them, uh, up here, and I take this, and I put it in here, at the 9 hour and 15 minute mark, I'm not ending the stream, however, I am going to take a quick break, because I am going to the bathroom. So, um, Mizu Chirich, you may have picked a bit of a bad time to show up here, uh, because I am about to disappear for a good five minutes. But, um, yeah, I will be back very soon to finish off what I started. See you in a second.
Hello, hello, hi everybody. I am back. Nice to <laughs> see you all. Right then, so swapping back over to the gameplay now. Oh, it just started raining as soon as I got back. What is my luck? Alright, so let me rejig my brain for a second, figure out where we were. Right, so when I left, we just finished with that part of the base. I remember now, we were coming to grab the part two, I believe? No. What? That doesn't make sense. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is section eight. We just did section eight. That is section eight. But it didn't do the first half. The first half is missing. Because that section... Huh. So if that was section 8 part 1, or part 2? I am thoroughly confused. Okay, so we need section 8 part 1. That was section 8 part 1. Where's section 8 part 2? What have we got left? We've got shit shire segment, shit shit shire sh segment 3, which is this bit here. This is 3. We've got 6 1 and 6 2, which is 6 1 and 6 2. And we've got 9 1 and 9 2. Which is 9 1 and 9 2. So where the fuck's. Th it was in my inventory. It was in my fucking inventory. Okay. You know what? Let's just pretend that that didn't happen, shall we? Now, before we do uh, do all of that, I do very, very, very quickly. And I mean very quickly. want to turn these off. Grab myself a schematic table from... I thought I had one in here. Hmm. Grab myself a schematic table from wherever I last put one. Or if not, you know, I'll just fucking build one. It'll be quicker. If I build myself a schematic table... Which is two smooth stone and... Uh, planks. So, there you go. Regular stone. I'm guessing it needs me to smelt it. Yeah, and then regular planks. So, let me just throw these in the furnace. Like that. There we go. Throw these in the furnace just like that. We can then add... Well, when it finishes burning. The last plank in there that we should need. When this comes out. There we go. Oh. 
bit of a leg spike there. Right then, so these go across, grab the slabs, cross the top, and then bring these down here. There we go, schematic table, lovely. So, schematic table, um, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, guys view segment eight part two. So if I look for Shire segment eight part two, and then I put in uh, one of these empty schematics. Just to make sure. Because I think it might have missed some lanterns. And while I'm not entirely sure, if it has, then they need to be replaced so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick this inside of the uh, schematic cannon again and then i'm going to give it a creative crate which technically it's cheating but the way i see it if it has missed nothing then the creative crate will provide nothing if it has missed something it will provide the lanterns because that's the only thing that i can think of that it might have missed and in that case, I can then build the lanterns and then throw them in the lava just to say that I've actually built them. Seems fair enough. So, let's quickly just wait for this. Well, I say quickly wait for this. There's no such thing as quick waiting. It is waiting, no matter if it is quick or not. I have no other option. I, I wait, and I wait some more, and then I wait some more until it is done. But thankfully, it shouldn't take too long. It's not like one of the huge fucking ones that we've got. <sighs> oh, it's done. I didn't even notice. <laughs> right then, let's take this out. Now comes the hard part. Placing it down without crashing the game. So, since it's already built, we can just match it up like that when it loads in. It'll just be a little pain in the ass uh, beforehand. That's all. So give it a second. There we go. All, uh, all ready to manipulate Jeffrey Epstein, 2008. Right then. So. Let's get moving this thing around. Well, first things first, obviously, it needs to go down, so let's do that. Right then. See, there are lanterns on the end in the schematic. And there's supposed to be lanterns inside the tree as well. I should know, I built the fucking thing. So the question is, why aren't the lanterns there? Either way, let's bring this down, let's line it up. Okay, let's bring it this way. There. Now it's inside of itself. So. 
what did we miss? The lanterns for one. Aside from that though, I'm pretty sure everything's where it's supposed to be. Ignoring that I just hit a creeper. Let's go plug this back into the cannon and figure out what the fuck went wrong with it. So, let's uh, let's do just that. So, in the cannon, let's uh, give it some gunpowder. Do this, let's prep it. Tell it not to skip anything. Because last time we used it to skip plants. We didn't use it to skip lanterns, but it skipped lanterns anyway. Because, you fuck if I know. And from there... Let's go. Why did you not prop? That's weird. Right, it was missing an alm. That was one of the things we used it to skip. Oh no you fucking don't. Bitch ass. Double kill. Nice. Okay, let's very quickly uh, just skip the night. And let's go find an Alm. There has to be one around here, right? I mean, I don't know what it is, but there has to be one. Come on, hurry up and pass. I want to be able to see again. Where's the moon? Is that no moon tonight? That's kind of fucked. Well, is the way to check the time? Yeah. Oh, don't need to. There we go. I guess it's because it's snowing, you can't see it. Alright then, so. We need to find an alm. I don't know what an alm is, but I'm going to try my damnedest to find one of alm. I'd assume it'd be low on the tiers, right? Yeah, it has to be low on the tiers. Is it over here? No? No alm. I wouldn't have broken an elm. I don't know what an elm even does, so it should still be here. And it's not a frost garden, because we can't give it frost gardens. I'm going to have to go into fucking creative mode to give it a frost garden. Um. I mean, elm. It's not a soggy garden. Not down here either. Okay, I give. What the fuck's an elm? Can I make one? Nope. You can only store them in botany pots. Of course. Weird-looking fucking plant. Is it... No, that's an orange mystical flower. It's not a blue mystical flower. Creeper. Oh, my man. So we back in the mice. Got a pickaxe swinging from side. To side, side, side to side. This task a grueling one. Hope to find some diamonds to night, night, night. Diamonds to night. Heads up. You hear a sound. Turn around and look up. Total shock fills your body. 
Oh no, it's you again. Half a heart is left, but don't die, 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 baby, tonight. A creeper's trying to steal our stuff again. Baby, tonight, grab your pick, I'm a rumbo. Take your revenge. Oh, and fight, fight, like it's the last, last night of your life, life. Show them your strife, baby, tonight. Creepers trying to steal all your stuff again. I did not know that this was here. Stuff again, again, again. Oh, um, you've got to be kidding me. Where the fuck is this thing? Unfortunately, I don't feel like there's a way for it to skip the elm without it skipping the lanterns. So unfortunately, I think we're stuck with looking for one of these things. Thing is, I don't even know where they spawn. And my frames keep dropping for some fucking reason. Shaded gardens. No. You know but I'm, I'm just going to Google it. Where do Alm spawn? Minecraft. Alm can be found under witchwood trees. What is a witchwood tree? Oh, it's from Ars Magica. Okay, I know what it's fucking after. Right, it can only be found under witchwood trees. So, any luck of finding it out there in the wild is no use. We need to find the witchwood tree in the area that it needs to spawn underneath. Thing is, I don't think we have a witchwood tree in the area. Which is why I'm more confused than anything at why it's requesting an owl. There is no witchwood in this area, right? Except for maybe over here, but I doubt this is witchwood. Is that which wood? No, that's fucking Aspen. Is is this which wood? No, this is fir wood. Yeah, there is no witch wood in the area. I don't know what it is going on about. As far as witch wood goes, I'd have a better look looking over here, right? <laughs> Right then. I'm guessing that's a magical tree. Let's go find an elm. I see no elm under here. Only me. Um. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a case of run until you find one, which isn't going to bode well for us, considering our track record of running and finding things. Is there any way I can skip the alm at all? I feel like we might have to skip the alm. It's such a specific flower that only spawns under a specific tree. And I have no idea what the fuck this specific tree even looks like. Which wood trees are white? They have white leaves. Spot a tree with white leaves, everybody. In this massive sea of very green, very yellow leaves. Spot the white tree. Spot the tree with white leaves for me. I'll wait. Spot the tree with white leaves in this area. That's funny. I don't see one. So if Alm only spawn under witchwood trees, and witchwood trees are literally white-leaved... Why the fuck is it asking for one over here? Hmm? 
Where is the witchwood tree? Where do you see a witchwood tree? I'm spawning in a fucking elm. I don't care. I do not care. It is one flower, a flower that we will probably never use, and it is what is stopping me from getting in my lanterns. So slash spawn. Alm. I don't know how to use slash spawn. Slash gift. The 13th Drifter. Ars underscore novo. Novio. Alm. Give me an alm. What do you tag it as? What is it tagged as if not an alm? What is this alm tagged as? Because it's certainly not tagged with a fucking A. I was looking at the elm from the wrong mod. Wait, what? No, this is... This is Ars Magica, and it's got the same fucking texture. Wait, did Ars Magica become mana and artifice? Oh, you are kidding me. Ars Magica was the original. Ars Novo. Wait, what? I... Ars Novo was inspired by Ars Magica. Manor and Artifice is the next step to Ars Magica. So the reason it's coming up in Ars Magica is because they both came from the same fucking mod. So... Mana and Artifice. Aum. No, not Ars Magica. Mana and Artifice. I need to get this out of the way to let it continue. What do you want now? Do you want another alm? You want another fucking alm? I'll give you another fucking alm. Here's another fucking alm. What do you want now? Now you want more seeds. Because of course you want more seeds. Because you are a greedy fuck. Why do you want more seeds? What purpose could you want more seeds for? It's all planted. It's all planted. It's Nice and ready and waiting and planted. <sighs> right, whatever. Okay, so if I bring my watch of flowing time out, I can see the fucking stars. You want so I can't see the fucking stars again because I want to see the fucking sun. We are nearly at ten hours in, and we are still stuck on this fucking piece of shit. Right, so, now that they've been placed down, I want to see where the fuck they've been placed. Because I don't see any elm trees. Where are they? What did you do with them? Why did you make me plant them? What purpose do they serve? Where are these flowers? They haven't asked me for things yet, so they have to be on this level. They have to be on this level. They've only just started asking me for seeds. So where's the owl? 
What have you done with it? Where have you put it? Why did you need it? After all of that, why did you need that stupid fucking flower? Where is it? I want to see it. Where is it? Where have you put that flower? Because it's certainly not down here. Hmm? Hmm? Where is it? Where have you put it? What was the point? Where did you put the elm? It's certainly not around here. It's not going to be in a fucking cave. Where did you put it? Huh? Where's the elm? Nowhere? It's almost like... You didn't fucking need it! Anyway, so it wanted, um... Seeds. It wanted wheat seeds. I'm guessing to replace these. So, you know... Whoops. Anyway, let's go take this. Let's go plug it into the condenser. Let's take this. Let's go plug it into the machine. What now? Uh, inferior more? You know what? Fine. Right here, buddy. Just, just, just right here. Doesn't even have an EMC value. Just take it. I don't care. Just take it. Boom. And what next? Frost Garden. Okay, another one that we're going to have to cheat in. Because my reputation and self-esteem hasn't already been tarnished enough for today. You know what? Let's just give it four. Why not? Have four of them. What could you possibly want now? Mystical lime flower. You want a mystical lime flower? That's okay. I can get you a mystical lime flower. No problem, really. It's truly easy to get a mystical lime flower. It's not like it's got mystical in the name, meaning it's really hard and spooky and ancient and magic. I also did find one, but shut up, my coin still stands. Right then, let's, uh, over the wall. Down we go. And into the chest. What now? What now? What now? You want another one? Okay. Coal ore. Lovely. I can get you coal ore. That's no problem. Let's get you some coal ore. There you go, my wondrous machine overlord. What could you want now, my friend? What is it now? More coal ore. My, my, my. You are one greedy piece of technology. Well, it's luckily for you, I can provide that. So, allow me to provide you, my grace, with some more coal ore. There you go, my liege. I hope you enjoy. Oh, you used it already? Well, please, allow me to get you some more. Because I'm sure you're putting it all towards a good cause. Let's find you some more coal ore. Yay! Right then, let's put this down here. In you go. And wow, that still wasn't enough. How much do you need?
let's find you some more. I'm sure you are very deserving of it. Down here. Now this is a good spot for it. Mine. Ooh. You know what? Why don't we gather some more while we're at it? There we go. Even more. And look, even more. I'm sure 45 will be enough to appease you. Am? Take the fucking all. Jesus Christ, you needed a lot. Right then, next up, pear fruit. Yes. You need some pear fruit, don't you? You need pear fruit. Let's get you some pear fruit, shall we? I'd love some pear fruit. Hmm, there's some pear fruit. How lovely for uh, the machine to get you some pear fruit. Okay, so having gotten the pear fruit, we may now return to the machine overlord to feed it its desired snack. So dropping down here for a second, let's just go on in. And let's head in with some pears. There we go. What next? What does it want? It wants plum fruit. Let's get it some plum fruit. Now, we saw some plum fruit on the way back. In fact, I saw it in the area, which means it's probably trying to place down the same fruit that it asked for to begin with earlier. Hmm. So let's just take this, shall we? There we go. And while we're at it, just so that we don't have to deal with this shit again, let's take some fucking whatever this shit is. I, I can't be bothered to remember the name. Gooseberry. Right, yes, gooseberry. The one I like saying. Gooseberry. 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 Could you pass the jelly, please? Right then, so... Gooseberry, let's put this up here, put this in, and then it wants a plum 